Welcome retired filmmaker, George Lucas. We're having some technical difficulties. I promise, I promise any moment now, this will be the real introduction to the show, but these are complicated times. Can you hear me? Can everyone hear me? Patrick, can you hear me? Yeah, what are your technical difficulties? I mean, it's just the industry's falling apart, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's not surprising. So this is not. That. So this is not the beginning of the show. That's what you're saying. Uh, I, I'd say it's a it's a very cold open. Okay. And normally the cold open would go before the crawl. That's how cold it is. Sure. Um, but pretty right now you can see I'm filming on my second unit. Patrick, why don't you join? We don't need to be audio only. Okay. Hello. Yeah. How are you doing, Patrick? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. It, 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 it's a terrible time, isn't it? Yeah, not great. Not but great. We're getting out of the country in a couple days, George. That's right. But we're not fleeing the country. We had planned this before. Yeah. Anything else? We're getting ready to go to the Edinburgh Fringe. As as for any of you who are just tuning in who don't realize that that's about to happen, uh, Patrick and Watto and I are going to be going to Edinburgh with yes. a. a a play and with our show and we're going to be doing uh i'll be doing 30 shows in 27 days mm -hmm. and uh it's a lot thing is, it's a lot of shows yeah. and uh this live stream this is a patrick and george george and patrick live stream yes. uh, was a reward for people uh for when we raised money on star wars day to help us dig ourselves out of the financial hole that fringe has <laughs> has put us in mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's it's that rare reward where we keep uh, asking for help even when you get the reward, <laughs> uh, which I think is innovative in a way that, that maybe the industry could look to as a way yep. of, because uh, everybody's struggling right now, right? George, I now I should show some things that we're uh, uh, selling, auctioning off tonight, uh, because mm -hmm. I have a bunch of them and I think people would like to see it. Can I do that? Yeah, I, I think this is a great time to do it because uh, pretty soon you will we'll be cutting to the standard shot. Yeah. Uh, this is this is the second unit shot. This is not. Yeah. Uh, that's partly why I'm so relaxed is I know that there's the stakes are even lower. Yeah. When I'm in the second unit. So this is a great time for you to show these off. So we have some. Okay. You have some goodie, goodies. Yeah. So the first thing we have, and I have 15 mm. of these. So if you donate uh, fifty dollars towards the show. I have these that are signed by George Watto and I. Uh, this will be mailed. This will be shipped to you. I've only got 15. So if you PayPal, I'll put it up in a minute, but uh, bit.ly slash Baron Junk. I will mail that to you in September when we are back from Edinburgh. Um, would love to, to get them out of my house and into your house. The other thing we have, and we showed this on Instagram a couple days ago, we have this art from the play that we are doing. Uh, this is by uh, Steve Dressler. Um, and if you donate $35, we will sign this and I will mail it to you in September. Um, and I have a lot of these. So if anyone wants to uh, donate $35, this will get mailed to you. That includes shipping and handling. That includes everything, all that. Uh, I'll show you again later that's, throughout the show. But that, 
That looked like it was a glossy print. Very exciting. It, it is a glossy print. It's glossy and it's uh, it's like cardstock. It's a good print. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's a little bit of a um, classic homage to your former employer. Yes. Yes, it is. Right. Um, right. George, should we gotcha. should we bring in? We, what? I you're almost ready. I, no, no, I'm nowhere close to being ready. Everything was ready. And then Patrick said, why don't we adjust one thing? And it's uh -huh. a house of cards that went falling down. Yeah, uh, it was very reasonable. I, I needed you to redo your router because your Wi-Fi was bad at Skywalker Ranch, George. Skywalker Ranch has perhaps the best Wi-Fi. Uh -huh. um, so we have one guest right now. We have another guest who's going to join us in a little bit, hopefully. And uh, let's bring in the first one, right, George? I, I want to I be clear uh, right at the top yeah. of this show. There, yeah. we will not be mentioning any films, yes, any TV shows. We will not. Yeah. This is not a normally this this show is where people come to promote product. It's yeah. where they come to sell their wares, show business wise. Yeah, yeah. we're not doing that tonight. Uh, there shall yeah. be no mention. I can't. I there's a movie in theaters. I'd love to be able to mention. It's got my name on it. I'd love to promote it. I didn't do anything on it, but I would love to be able to promote it. I won't even yeah. tell you what it is. You can you can guess. You can guess. I bet you'll never guess. Yeah. But that's just the way things are. Not going to happen. Right. So, um, so now, no yeah. Normally, the way that we bring in a guest is we have them write their own intro. But yeah, it's pencils pencils down. That's true. So we're not going to have any. We're not going to have anyone write uh, their own intro. Patrick, you just introduce the guest and bring them in. Should I just bring them in with no fanfare, or should I say the name? Say the name because that's not writing. That's already that was written before the strike. The name Melissa wasn't Fumero's here. Melissa Fumero's here. Here we go. Apologies to anyone who has no idea who I am. You'll have to use uh, uh, Google, the internet, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. Now, Melissa, pretty soon, uh, very exciting. Uh, we're, we're perhaps minutes away from my actual camera. Um, uh, normally, this is, this is a, I'm not wild about this low angle. Well, I, I have to say, uh, Mr. Lucas, first of all, I'm a, a huge fan. Um, and secondly, you look great in this angle, and perhaps you should experiment in this angle a bit more. I don't mean to overstep. Uh, I'm just saying not everyone can pull off a B camera. And I, I appreciate that so much. Uh, I, I also am a big fan. I can't tell you of, of what, <laughs> because that would be promotion, but I'm a fan of your work. Thank Tonight, you. here's a... Here's the things that we can talk about tonight. We can talk about anything outside of show business. So yeah. real life stuff, things happening in the world, politics, whatever we want to get into. If we want to, those are areas we don't always go to, but they're within the industry. I think we can talk about craft. Yes. As long as we don't name specific products mm -hmm. and uh, or projects, mm -hmm. and uh, and I think we can talk about the issues that uh, are being that 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 people should be uh, talking about in in times like these. Yes. And and George, something that I mentioned before the show, we can do blind items. We can absolutely do blind items. We can talk about something uh, as long as no one can guess what it possibly is. Because yes. even if 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 people can guess, it's almost promotion. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wild times. Wild times we live in. This is going to be great uh, because we're going to learn a lot about you as a person, Melissa. <laughs> as a product, this is a person. We are finding out what makes you tick. What wakes you up in the morning, you know? It's going to be great. Oh, great. I'm so that ex the exercise ball behind you. We're going to learn about so many things. <laughs> uh, yes, I am. Um, I live with tiny humans who are very impenetrable, mm -hmm. so I am in the uh, child-free zone. Yes of my house, which is the garage. And is that, a, that's an exercise ball? It is an exercise ball, or it's a child's play toy to bounce on and almost break a bone. And uh -huh. um, yeah, it, it serves so, many uses. To, just to give me an idea of scale, because I'm a parent as well. How, um, is that bigger or smaller than a child that you it's have? You know, it's almost the size of a child. I'm gonna, I wait, I'm gonna grab it and hold it up. Yeah. So it's like, oh, now we have a real sense. Okay. This is good. Yeah. And is that, is that, what does it say on there? Does it says, say, say something on there? It says bouncy band. Okay. Bouncy band. Bouncy See, band. that's, and we have nothing. I mean, this isn't an <laughs> infomercial, but we can talk about bouncy band all we want because yeah, they're not, 
Presumably, I assume they pay their workers. <laughs> Fairly, so. maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. It could be getting into a you never know. You never know in area. these times. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. You're right. That's a good point. I don't want to speak. I, I don't want to uh, endorse a company I, I've just heard of that we yeah, yeah that we haven't yeah. done our research on. This is unvetted. Yeah. But now, now that we're on this topic, what is the the painting behind you? Someone asked, "Is it two horses boxing?" I don't think it is. No. It's two uh, men boxing. Okay. My brother-in-law painted this. He's a very... Uh, oh, that rules. Painter. He doesn't work as a painter. He works uh, for Stanley Tools. But um, he painted this. Cool. Wow. Um, wow. And I, Melissa, I'm, I'm building a museum in Los Angeles. Oh. And uh, um, the, <laughs> this is true. This is true. This is true. The... It's it's not open yet. The Lucas Museum of Narrative Art. Oh, it's down near USC. Well, if you if you have some walls to fill, if you're you know you've got extra space. Uh huh. Because can... that because that tells the story. They're boxing. One of them's winning. It yeah. looks like. Oh, but <laughs> the other guy's yeah. really really struggling. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, just yeah. Either way. First Do you thing. have a favorite museum, Melissa? Do I have a favorite museum? Ooh, yeah. that's a good question. Um, probably the MoMA in New York, mm -hmm. um, because I went. Uh, I grew up in New Jersey, so I went as a as a as a wee one many times. Yeah. And um, and then I went uh, as a young adult on my. That was like the first museum I went to by myself. And the first time I saw Monet's water lilies, I got very emotional. It was the first piece of art that made me like have an emotional physical reaction because i didn't know yeah. how big it was um yeah so i would have to say that's my favorite George, yeah. Do you have a well museum? yeah the, Lu <laughs> the lucas <laughs> museum of narrative art i can't Naturally. i'd be pretty pretty foolish to try to open up my second favorite museum i was, I was setting you up for a plug that's what i was trying to do when Great. when does the museum I open well, it was supposed to open a few years ago. Instead, um, it's going to open a couple years from now. It's going to open 2025. But it's all being built. It's very, very big. Looks, uh, I'm going to show you a picture and, of it. Hang on one second. Yeah. Um, it's down near USC. It's near the football stadium. It's near the Museum of Natural History. There's a lot of stuff down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you, it's a, what happened to you a second ago with the painting where you took it off the wall and then you couldn't rehang it. That's like, uh, that makes me so nervous. What if that happens in our museum? Yeah, I mean, it might, it might, it might. What do you think no. of that? Wow. Yeah, what, you what do you think this looks like? What is, what's your first impression? Um, People say sneaker. Okay. Say a lady's sure. razor. A, a lady's razor. Uh -huh. yeah. I was thinking uh, possibly some other lady personal tools. Okay, well. sure. yeah, like a hairbrush. That's what you're saying. Mm hmm. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. Um, a brush in the hair. Yeah, I guess yeah. Uh, maybe kind of like a spaceship. Sort of. I'm getting. There you, there you go. Yeah. Like an art, like an art spaceship. Like an art spaceship. I'm. I yes. I am getting does that those look vibes. like does that look like a place you might go like say you're going to one of the big games in that that stadium over there and then you get out of the game you think maybe you'll go to a museum i love to go to museums after games just personally mm -hmm. that's a good day <laughs> to me all mm -hmm. the yeah. uh, sporting events that i attend on a regular basis <laughs> how much it's how much do you think that museum oh oh oh, oh, oh. There he okay, is. Hold on, Patrick. No, no. Bring in. Oh, okay. He's got... oh. Oh, oh. He wants to start the show. Hang on one sec, Melissa. I'm going to pull us off. I'm George Lucas, creator of. Well, I can't mention it. It'd be a specific, uh, specific project. Uh, there. There right, we go. All right. Nor can you hear me? Yep. All right. Normally, I would mention a specific work, but it that would be playing into the hands of uh, mm -hmm. of the bosses. Of the bosses. Mm -hmm. And I used to be a boss. I used to be a boss, and I am the boss of the museum to some extent. Uh, but I'm retired, so I'm I'm out of the game. But I I I my sympathy is with the artist, even though uh, if you Google my history with 
unions and guilds. Uh, it's a little weird. It's a little weird, especially yeah. considering how, how absolutely gung ho I want to be clear. I am tonight. Uh, <laughs> that, mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. I've never been in. I've never been one who liked uh, exe greedy executives who don't pay people fairly, um, sure. and and I also I don't think I think AI is a tool for artists to use, not a replacement for. Like that's always been my thing with technology is that these things are tools for artists to tell stories with, and stories are human, and I am human. Mm -hmm. I side with the humans mm -hmm. always. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, absolutely. It is. Yeah, it's it's real. Uh, all these issues. I feel like uh, we've all learned so much about AI in the last few months. And it's been particularly the last few months. Yeah. So I feel like earlier in the year when all of this started rumbling, I was just like, yeah, but is AI like is are we there yet? Like, I feel like I just started hearing about AI and then I quickly learned. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is, yeah. they really, yeah, yeah. And you, and, and you see why, obviously, you know, uh, for greedy CEOs, why it would be so appealing. Um, mm -hmm. But, uh, oh, God, it just, it just turns it all into um, like a theme park ride. Yeah. Is what it feels like to me, you know? Yeah. yeah. It, it, it also, to me, very much feels like... Uh, some people who don't fully understand the creative process are getting ahead of themselves. It's almost as if the, the inventors of Tang thought, let's just get rid of all oranges and orange juice because we don't need it now. We have Tang. We don't need uh, it. It's better. It's better. It's easier. We can make this orange drink out of these little crystals. <laughs> and now we don't need juice. We don't need orange juice. No, we don't need oranges uh, for anything. Yeah. That's, that is what it feels like. I like that. I like that. Um, now, yeah. George, there have been, there's a lot of uh, picketing going on at different locations, New York, LA, everywhere. A lot of people have yeah. been sending like food trucks to help feed the, the people picketing, but I haven't seen one from you, George. Do you think you'll do that? Do you, I mean, who the... knows? I, I'm full of surprises, aren't I? Uh -huh. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. It would just be really fun yeah. if. Food truck yeah. would you send? Great question. It would be very nice. It, um, at the moment, it really does look like I'm spending my time begging for people to just help me bail out uh, this Edinburgh fringe disaster. <laughs> because that's the one thing that's stopping me right now is the fact that, Liz, I, I don't know if you've ever had any experience with, have you ever been to Edinburgh? I have not. Well, be wary of this. I thought as a billionaire that uh, it would be perfectly fine to spend billions of dollars bringing uh, three shows to the fringe. It turns out it costs trillions of dollars. Yeah. So you don't have a lot of experience with uh, theater festivals. Yeah. No, it's way more expensive than I thought. We had to find a place to live. It's okay. just to be in them. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's really, it's really a true, a true nightmare. Uh, <laughs> even for someone who you'd think was comfortably well off. Yeah. But see, I got all this money put into the, the museum is a billion dollar museum that I've gifted to the city of Los Angeles. No, I'm paying for the whole thing. So it's a basically a museum that is just, here you go. Are you going to charge um, admissions? Uh, I think so. There'll probably be yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, There's merch. There. There. You got to maintain it. We got to maintain it. But you know what I mean? Yeah. You got to pay the people who work there. So, yeah. I mean, we've, we've personally on this show hired two people to work there. We've hired That's two great. docents. Rob Hubel. Rob Hubel. Rob Hubel and Richard Kind have both agreed to be docents at the museum. Yeah. So uh, for at least one day. Okay. Um, which I think will be a lot of fun. They're just they show up at the museum, they say George sent me, the people there will understand, mm -hmm. and then they'll do their job. That's great. That sounds amazing. I mean, yeah. I sign me up if you need another oh, you know. I'm there, I mean, I'm very good with people. Okay. I mean, You're you, you want to be a docent? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. All right, that's three docents we have now. Can we, to the people watching right now, I would love some fan art of Rob, Richard, and Melissa uh, docenting at a museum. Hopefully we get that soon and we can show it in the and, and what would be great is if we could, in the photo, have Melissa's brothers painting on the wall. Yeah, Like yeah. they'd be docenting at the painting. And you know what? Let's get that exercise ball in there too. 
It, can we get it, a clean, it wouldn't be right without the exercise ball. Let's get a clean shot of the painting again. Can we do that? Sure. Just so yeah. people can put it in? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. Because I feel like that that exercise ball does feel like modern art to right. some extent. Yeah. Look at those calves. Good calves on both those boxers. Yeah. Faces and strong. the strong there. Yeah. Yeah. The, the all of, and uh, and I like the texture of is that the the crowd? The way yeah. the way they did the crowd. It, it's it's a really lovely brushwork there. Just the suggestion without it being too it's a little abstract, but it's it's very clearly faces reacting in shock. Yeah. They're all open mouth. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a that's a knockout. Just very good we yep. did uh we did get some fan art already and it's from uh eric germ who did turn it into a painting of two horses boxing oh yeah so, yeah yeah it's great two um, horses boxing feels like we're <laughs> on our way to a secular non-holiday version of that song <laughs> um melissa have you done theater uh yeah i well uh uh no <laughs> that was quite a journey that answer uh, let's unpack where we went in that <laughs> i want to be clear you're not you're not under oath there's no penalty for for starting out with a lie and then finding your way to the truth well, okay. So You've done I, plays in school. I, I, I've done plays. I've I studied yeah. theater. I did theater in college. That I did counts. shows there. That count. that uh, I did something off, 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 off Broadway. I did something in a festival. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's about it. And then I started. How? In let's get into the specifics of how far off Broadway the off, off, off. Like literally what uh, neighborhood mm -hmm. was the off, 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 off Broadway production uh, at? I want to say, where was that theater? It was like, I want to say it was like somewhere around 23rd Street or 23rd, West Side, East Side, somewhere in the middle. West Side, I think. Okay. West Side. All right. Near, near the Sinopolis movie theater? Maybe. I don't near, remember. It was okay. Really All right. So, yeah. I played a nun. But here's the thing. I, it does. You have done theater. Don't don't hesitate to say you've done theater, just because the credits might be old. Right. Well, right? I, I, my, my hesitation was like, you know, when you say, "Oh yes, I've done theater," people like immediately assume like Broadway or off Broadway or something prestigious. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, this isn't a gotcha show. We're not gonna try to. We're not gonna try to then call you on it if you'd mm -hmm. said yes i've done broadway and then we come to find out that this thing was on 23rd street mm -hmm. west yeah. 23rd then we then we'd have you yeah then you'd have me you know yeah, yeah. but that's why that's but, why i was like Whoa. yeah yeah did you have a favorite play that you uh either as a either as a, a fan of theater or um a favorite play that you've been a part of Ooh, it comes to mind yeah, I did uh, Andrew Lippa's The Wild Party in college. Uh, and it's a beautiful musical. It's just like really fun and like um, kind of like set in the 20s. And it takes place over one night of a wild party um, in the name, on the mm -hmm. nose. And, uh, and it was really fun. And I played uh, a mute dancer. So I didn't have any lines. Uh, I had a great dance solo. Uh, well, that's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, listen, I heard you expressed interest in acting after seeing Broadway's The Secret Garden at the age of 10. Yes. Now, that's what that I with, heard. Was that with Mandy? Was that when Mandy Patinkin was in the, the cast of it? Oh, gosh. Uh, maybe. He was, I don't remember. God, I don't remember. Because he was, I was like such a Broadway nerd, like musical right. nerd. So yeah. I know Rebecca Luker was in it, and then um, let's find out. Let's. let's, let's, let's I'm, I'm seeing Mandy Patinkin. It might I'm, have been seeing, I'm seeing John Cameron Mitchell. Yeah, I'm seeing Daisy Egan, Rebecca Luker, Robert Westenberg, Allison Frazier. So it was Mandy Patinkin because yes, it was Daisy Egan, the cast. Yeah. 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 So you saw the original Broadway cast. I saw the original Broadway cast. It's pretty yeah. I was years old. My parents took me. And then I was just like, oh, that's what I want to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this uh, is doing a fun thing. 
Okay. Yeah, you, you have a, a visual effects that you're doing there. Is that, that's, yeah. you know, just trying to keep it interesting. That's that time of day. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I've, I've been familiar with that musical. Uh, and it's, uh, it's got some very sad parts in it. Yes. It's got some very, very sort of like, uh, enchanting parts in it. Very whimsical, very, yeah. uh, yeah. Yeah. And what's the thing that John Cameron Mitchell sings like a song that's like, uh, oh, like a Irish guy or something wick when things are wick, when a thing oh, is oh. wick it has a something to it. Oh man. Uh, memory. I love yeah. it. Here we go. You ready? He sings a yeah. song called it's a maze. He sings winters on the way. Show me the key. Show me the key. Wick. He sings a song called wick. Yeah. Yeah. Good memory. That's impressive. Yeah. That is why well, like, I, I remember there's I remember there's a part of my life, but I cannot tell you a single song from that show. To be fair, you were young when you saw it. You were a child. I, I was. I was pretty obsessed with it for a long time, but I have yeah. a, a embarrassingly bad memory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm getting there. Uh, <laughs> I uh, is it still something that's on the horizon for you? Would you like to do musical theater? I don't know that I would do musical theater because uh, I'm not a great singer. Um, but I would, I would, yeah, be do, doing a play at some point is definitely like mm -hmm. on my actor bucket list for sure. Had a couple uh, of almost close calls, but then yeah, we'll see. What if someone built? What if someone came to you and said, "We want to build a musical around a non-singer, so everyone will sing except your character, and your character will have like patter." Done. All right. So, I mean, let's Talk put the sing. word out. Let's put the word out to the theater industry that you are a veil and actively looking for to be. Uh, um, do you have to be the star, or would you settle for like a, an ensemble where you're in the mix? Or, I mean, let's shoot for the stars, right? Shoot you want to be the central character with who does the, uh, but not singing. The romantic co-lead. Sure. Sure. Let's say main lead. Yeah. Whoever's romancing your character can be the co-lead. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, do you, you still want to dance? Yeah, it'll hurt, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, no, we'll we'll design the we'll we'll, we'll specifically say choreography. painless choreography. Painless choreography that exists. That's a that's, yeah. There is a kind of dancing. There is a kind of dancing um, that uh, my buddy Steve. Uh, I think I can I can't really mention it. I can't mention it. <laughs> All right, this is a blind item. This is a blind, blind item. item. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's a there's there's a project. Mm -hmm. All right, in the world of theater, uh -huh. but I'm not going to mention it because it's being made into something else. Sure, I'm not even going to say. I'm not even going go that close to. It. I'm just going to say my buddy Steve's connected to it. He's he didn't sure. actually work on the production, but he's connected. Sure. Yeah, and there's a person in this production. It's a musical production who has a main sort of character who sort of has some dance numbers mm -hmm. and uh, the other dancers do the real dancing where they all have to mm -hmm. match. And then this person sort of stands at the front of it and kind of does close to what they're doing, but not exactly what they're doing. Mm -hmm. There's like mm -hmm. some, some leeway mm -hmm. where as long as you're getting close, you're kind of like doing your own thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's what like pop stars do at their concerts. Yes, yeah. that's what we're looking for for you on yeah. Broadway. But also make it clear you're willing for it to be on 23rd Street, West 23rd. Yes? Oh, yeah. Still open? As long as the production is right, uh -huh. it can go. It can start on West 23rd and work its way to Broadway. Maybe. We could do it in Union Square Park. We could do it in cool. front of the LACMA. Cool. That's right. Both of those would be cool. Really cool. If you blocked off Washington Square Park said we're doing a play here tonight, you guys got to come. That's awesome. Yeah. That'd be pretty dope, actually. Um, yeah. I love that. I, I mean, we're... Watto, uh, who is striking and uh, mm -hmm. and also is on strike, um, yeah. uh, he and I are going to be doing this play in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I... I can't I can't go through my credits with you. I've done a few acting gigs over the years, even though it's not my main jam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this is the first time I've ever really done a, a full length play. Uh, and I think it's the first time a fully CGI uh, character has ever done a play. 
to the best of my knowledge. Probably. You know, I, I mean, yeah. there have been animated things that were turned into plays, but like right. Lion King, it was all like puppets. They just did it with puppets. This is the real CGI character is going to be on stage with me. And it's exhausting. It's exhausting. I'll, t- I'll tell you this, Melissa. Can I tell you this in all honesty? We're not ready. We open on we open <laughs> on Wednesday. We open on Wednesday and we are not ready. We're Can not I ready. Something yeah. That makes you a real theater production. Uh-huh. It, it's, it, you, it, it must be so real. That's how not ready we are. We haven't, really, we haven't even really talked about this, George. Like, are you scared about this? What is the, what's your emotional no. state right now? No, what's, what, what are people not going to like it? I've no, had that not. before. Yeah. If people don't like it and it's a terrible experience, who cares? It's not going to, I've already lost all the money I'm going to lose on this. <laughs> you know, like I'm already uh, in such bad shape financially yeah. and this is yeah. someone who should be comfortable financially i should yeah. be uh because right. they've done quite well over the years sure but this one this one move who would have thought the theater would have been the thing that would have brought me low um it's a but it's i'm gonna a endeavor i'm gonna be doing this play all month we're gonna do a couple of, of the talk shows uh while we're there we're gonna do those once a week and then at the end of the month i'm gonna be doing um a one person um, improv- fully improvised uh, hour-long shows, as just as myself, it's just a pure theatrical experience. Um, and won't so won't that be something? That will be incredible. I wish I could go and see it. We well, can. I, I, we've not been blocked from it. Uh, we are. We actually in, invite you. I know that you might not be able to make it. I yeah. I'm. You might so, not be able to. I might. I might not be able to. But I'll look at my schedule. I just noticed you said, I wish, and I just, wouldn't it be so inspiring if you could just prove to the world that wishes can come true? I mean, which right now would be like, grant your own wish. I don't know, Melissa. I just feel like this is the perfect month to go because you're not, you don't, you're not working. That's you true. Know? It's, like, it's the perfect time to just take a crazy trip to Edinburgh. It's like, take a crazy trip. You yeah. Know? Take, a, take a crazy trip. Yeah. I'll just like tell my husband, like, peace, peace out. Yeah. Yeah. I Don't think you can, do, you can do the whole tr- the whole trip in three days. You can fly there, watch the show, get back in the plane. That's fly. reasonable. It's it's well, one of the more reason. It's one of it's certainly you know it's certainly right. uh, it's certainly more reasonable than some of the things that the AMPTP have been saying. <laughs> the late guy, <laughs> Mr. Lucas. Hello. I am so embarrassed, Mr. Lucas. Why? Why are you embarrassed? It's lovely to see you. Well, it's nice to see you too, um, Melissa. Pleasure. Pleasure. Patrick. Hello, Colin. charmed. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm- I am so late, <laughs> and my best excuse is my calendar notifications didn't happen in the email that I just got. I got, I got no good excuse. Mm-hmm. I, what I, I'm so sorry, okay. uh, but I've loved all the Star Wars that you made, not those <laughs> shitty other ones. Well, we're not. No, we're not going to mention any. Well, who knows who made them? Who knows well, who made what in this world? Uh, nobody knows. Uh, oh, we're being very careful tonight about what we talk about. We're not going to talk about. We're not going to mention yeah. movies or TV shows. I uh, think I feel like. Do you have a piece of paper you can put over? The thing behind you. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Oh, it's a defunct. It's a dead streamer. Nobody know, even knows what that is anymore. That's true. Oh, yeah, that's it's true. Oh, yeah, it yeah. might as well be. It might as well. Be a, I, I, I don't. I have no idea what. <laughs> I, this is why I'm not a weatherman, by the way. <laughs> right. We have a storm coming in through here. I, I don't have. I, yeah. That actually yeah. might as well be a picture of a tombstone that says, uh, here lies HBO Max. What a good streaming service it used to be. Um, I, I, hardly I, have a, I have an excuse. I have an excuse for you, Colin, if you, even if you didn't have one prepared. And I'm so honored that you were not willing to, uh, you, you had planned this special tribute to me, that you were going to grow a beard in my honor. You were just yes. waiting this final few minutes for it to fully come in. You know, these gray uh, hairs didn't pop up until this morning. <laughs> and then they really filled in when I realized I was late. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
I did just well, get a, so... Colin, can I talk about the email I just got from you? Because I yes, do love please. it. Can I read it out loud? Yes, please. Okay, this is all in caps. I think I could just, I'm not, I, there's nothing, you can't see anything on it. So I'll just. No, make sure you don't, don't show that. Okay. Holy shit. I am so fucking sorry. I'm mortified. My calendar reminder did not go off and I just received this email. I am beyond embarrassed. Hopefully the all caps is expressing this again. I am so sorry. Ah. That was a good, scene. good all okay. caps apology and reading. And that email is a great example of something that I do not think an AI would have been able to write such a sincere <laughs> email. There's actual hu human emotion and panic. And there's there's none of the, that. There's not a, not a false note in there. I, I did not do a pass. That is literally, <laughs> that is what I wrote. That's the vomit? That's that. the vomit pass of that? That's fantastic. That's I good. wrote that. Yeah. Oh. So what are well, we talking we, about, y'all? Uh, well, what were we talking about? We've been talking theater. We've been talking art. Uh, we've been talking about museums and uh, exercise and uh, children and um, paintings of else? Oscars. Paint paintings of yeah. There's Oscar. a painting of uh, <laughs> Melissa's brother made that painting of the boxer knocking out another boxer. Impressive yeah. book collections and uh, uh, rugs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. It's a, it was a IKEA rug. That's nice for IKEA. I mean, that's I know, a right? nice yeah. rug. Look, you spend the money, you can get st good stuff at IKEA. That's you true. know, yeah. I have a and great meatballs. That's true. Which I just had for the first time, by the way, and they yeah. really were delicious. They're not a joke. They're not, you know. Hype. They live up to the hype. They really do. I saw them into an IKEA one time, and I was like, let me try these meatballs. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then I was like, yeah, they're fantastic. Everyone's they're right. Good. I was I was ready to like hate on them and I was like nope they're really good. Yeah. My wife and I had a few hours to kill as I was trying to sell a car at CarMax mm -hmm. and we were hungry and we were in a no man's land of like just no good food options. Yeah. And I don't even know if a meatball from IKEA would be considered a good food option but it was the best we had and we make do with the best we have. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hunger is a good sauce, as they say. Who says that? That's an old saying. Is it? From the, old, from the olden days, yes. Oh. Patrick, um, you weren't around. Patrick, you weren't around. With that, with, uh, I wanted to, to say, George. What's it from? Who said it? George Bernard Shaw? Who is it? Oscar Wilde? It, it just says it's an old Irish phrase. Oh, well, fiddle dee dee. There we go. <laughs> George, uh, we're both from the same region uh, of Northern California. You are from Modesto. Yeah, yeah. I am from Sacramento. You, Modesto has the Modesto B as a newspaper, mm -hmm. and Sacramento has the Sacramento B as a newspaper. Yeah. So if you could have just been late to your own show, we could have had the trifecta of things in common. That's right. I was but a little bit late. You were late. I was late. late. I, I was I late. Was. He was? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and although I will say, I, I don't call them trifectas. I call them trilogies. <laughs> that's right. That's how, that's how I, I wish I could tell you some of the trilogies I've done. Oh, God. Did these come as promotions? I know. You should flip those. I was thinking that a minute ago. <laughs> Hold on. Hold um, on. The titles. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, he's still on with audio. Colin, uh, have you did you spend time in Modesto? Did you ever visit Modesto? Oh hell, hell no. Oh, okay. Uh no, I don't have anything yeah. against uh Modesto. Yeah. Modesto was uh it's a little, no a little bit of hard, to go like, to hard times in Modesto, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just look at who's representing them in the Congress. Um sure. I have no I don't either. I, I, yeah, I'm good. I, I don't know. Might be someone really good. Look why, uh, may I ask, why the B in both those newspaper titles? I have Ooh. no idea. That's a fabulous question. I don't, I wish I knew. I, I, uh, someone is lazy. And I'm like going to say Sacramento, it's Modesto. Like there wasn't like a Sacramento A or like just a Sacramento newspaper. No, it's B like the insect. Like Buzz Buzz. Oh. Okay. Also, it was not always called that. It's I'm on their Wikipedia page right now. It started in 1857, and it was called the Daily Bee. 
So they kept the beat. So I love that we are now officially at the part of uh, a podcast. Every, every podcast has got it. Uh-huh. If someone has looked something up online. We did it. We're here. We did it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, George, we were talking about Modesto. Colin says he has not spent. Uh, I heard you. I was. I did not leave. I just was turning these posters around. <laughs> Patrick, do you even watch the show? <laughs> trying to catch you up. Yeah. What an incredible special effect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is what Practical this is what effects. Yeah. You went old school. Yeah, it's right. I should have a digital background, but I'm 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 not, you know, for a guy who has revolutionized the technology of of the industry, I'm not I don't know how to use my cell phone. Mm-hmm. Huh. You know? Yeah. Same. Yeah. Uh and I, I said that. I, I went on the record in the in a in a documentary that is available on a streamer that I will not plug. Mm-hmm. I will not promote. Do mm-hmm. um, you guys know that I'm Ficor? I just learned this recently. Yeah. Yeah. What? So Ficor, uh, which is a very weird designation in the Writers Guild. If you look up Ficor on the WGA website, there's a very small list of people who are. It's 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 a. I don't want to get too arcane here. Too in the weeds. But basically, it's where you're a dues-paying member of the guild, but you opt out of the responsibilities of the guild. Uh, but then you can't ever vote on anything. You can't become a, a president or a, an office holder within the guild. Uh, but it's basically like the people who are currently perhaps writing on certain daytime soap operas are FICOR, mm-hmm. right? So they don't, they, don't, they don't participate in the uh, strikes. Mm-hmm. And there's it's a it's a short list, but it's an interesting list. And my name is the first one on the list. Like chronologically, there's the Writers Guild has like a list of what an unusual person I am. To be fair to Biff Bam Pow, though, Ficor does sound like a Star Wars character. It really does. It although yeah. let's not mention Patrick. Right. I'm sorry. Like you don't need to. I know you're not part of any of the guilds or unions, but don't come on here and chill for uh, yeah. movies and TV shows. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Don't be. Am I? Am I... Sorry. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, is FICOR, do you know if it's, is it something that is um, uh, voluntarily elected or chosen or is it like something that is given as a punishment? No, you choose it. <laughs> but then if you, but then if you ever decide you don't want to be FICOR anymore, you can't. It specifically says on the WGA website, FICOR is forever. You cannot come back. Oh, Patrick, I don't know if you want to read any of the names that are on that list. Oh yeah, sure. I don't want to know any of these names. Hold for, hold for you will, you will know some of the names. Uh, yeah, it's, 1981, it's... George W. Lucas. I'm going to skip to the <laughs> you know, the second person. A few years later, if you look at their credits, um, there was a a a, 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 a blind item. A, a, an old sitcom, an old situation comedy. Yeah. The title reveals a preference. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it so you can't guess the old sitcom this was. Uh-huh. Imagine if it was a title that basically the title expresses aliens exist, and I am partial to one particular alien. Uh huh. Okay, I know which what it is. Great. You have it, Colin. <laughs> I, I I think I got an idea. Yeah. You got it? Okay. And there was a writer for that was the next person to go FICOR. Then, Patrick? Uh, then Francis, Francis F. Coppola. <gasps> yeah. Which everyone yeah. knows. Yeah. Everyone knows is the middle initial for uh, Chevy. <laughs> yeah. But then 1990, Bob Gale, who created Back to the Future. I don't, <laughs> don't say what they did. I'll believe it. I'll bleep it when it goes on YouTube. I'm Patrick, sorry. do not come on here and promote movies and TV shows. We are on strike. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm retired, but I'm supporting on this during this broadcast. 1995, Steven Soderbergh. 2001, Robert Rodriguez. 2007, George Clooney. All Mavericks. Mavericks. Yeah. Mavericks. Yeah. All Mavericks. Gavin Pallone. 2019, though, a big one in 2019. 
Sylvester E. Stallone. The E is easy. Who would have thought that? The list and was like, you know what? You know what? I, I gotta be on that list. Be, Join this gotta be, uh, Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Uh, when you said FICOR, I honestly, I had no idea the words that were coming out of your mouth, and I thought I was having a stroke. So I'm very yeah. glad that we cleared up what It's that short for means. financial core. Gotcha. And it means that you, you pay dues, but then you're like, I'm not going to uh, go along with anything. And yeah. you're also not a member of the producers skilled, right? Uh, I don't want to get into everything because... I was given an award by the Producers Guild uh, not too long ago. Uh -huh. uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. I dropped out of the DGA uh, because they wouldn't let me do uh, credits for a particular... I did a space movie, and I wanted That's to right. put my name at the end of it with all the credits. And then I did That's another right. space movie, and a different person directed I said, I want his name at the end of the credit, too. And they said, That's going to cost you $25,000. I said, Here's a check, and here's my membership card. And I ripped it up, and then... Uh, that's why eventually, eventually, that's why I end up going to make uh, space movies in Australia. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> Not great, but what are you going to do? Uh, I would say, but I'd say this. I think I've been a good boss. I think I've compensated people fairly. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's the case for a lot of bosses. A lot of billionaire bosses. I think are really out of touch. And I'm not saying I'm completely in touch. I'm not. But I think I'm a little, I think I, I don't see a lot of those guys making making billion dollar museums and giving them to the city of LA. That's true. That's yeah. True. Although I seem to remember when you sold uh, your company, mm -hmm. you said some rather salacious, horrible things about the company you sold it to. And then you very quickly had to backtrack. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got, I, I, I don't hide the fact that you, I'm gonna, you I'm, basically called that company. Yeah. Essentially. Watto the flying uh -huh. fly, but without the, uh, I said, part. I said that selling my, my selling my stuff was kind of like when you sell your kids to the white slavers. Yeah, I believe slavers were the word, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. I, I have never hid the fact that I'm a very emotional guy. And it was a Tuesday, so I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing that you, people associate with me is like, that guy needs to get his emotions in check. Yeah. He's flying Tuesday. off the handle. He's this guy. Yeah. Um, let me ask this. Uh, uh, how, has, how has your strike been going so far? Mine? Yeah. Yeah. I'd say, uh, well, you know, hor horrible. Horrible. <laughs> horrible. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I, I'd be lying if I, if I, I, I didn't admit that I was just, uh, I just came back from a vacation. So that was nice. Great. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, that was just because we we got to keep these kids occupied. These 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 children aren't going to entertain themselves. Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, you talk about what I would really love to strike. Having to plan everything around my children, I would love to plan a strike about that. <laughs> oh wow, you can. What if, all, what if all? Can you imagine if all the parents or, got organized? Just ripped up my ripped up my my card and said, "I'm uh, what is it?" FICA? Until until Who these children, we we have a list of very children. Yeah, we have a list of very reasonable demands for these children, and they won't even come to the table. No, we, we yelled out their names. They wouldn't we even yell at their names a million times. They we, don't come down to the table. We yeah. cooked we cooked a full meal for them, we and they wouldn't come to the table. The table. Yeah. They don't care. The, the few times they do come to the table, they won't tell us about their day. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> that they gobble down the food and then they just want to go right back on their phones. At best, they'll belly up to the table but not sit down. Oh. Just like the AMPTP. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is, I do want to say this is a good pitch. We're not pitching it to any studios. 
it, but it, independent producers. Yeah. If you, you want to have deals with streamers, I'll buy it. If yeah. that's what we need to do. Yeah. Well, don't like shop it around. There might, you might be able to get some people that have fine, real financing, but uh -huh. keep Patrick on the hook. Yeah. Just let me know. Um, Colin, have you ever done theater? I have. Yes. What, what was your experience with it? Do you like doing theater? Is I love lot? doing theater. I did yeah. um, a play uh, in the West End uh, in London. And then I also did uh, a, a big Broadway show but it wasn't singing and dancing it was in fact the opposite of singing and dancing it was about beethoven and als so oh yeah not like the jazz hands version of broadway no yeah uh the real theater credits the, the real the the theater the real theater with an h at the end did you ever uh, do theater on 23rd street i did <laughs> not no well that's where melissa did yeah. i know well, he so. knows. <laughs> now, one thing that we can all bond on, uh, uh, not Patrick, I don't think, but uh, the three of us, we're, we're all directors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True. Mm -hmm. That's right. True. And, and uh, I won't mention it, but Colin, I'm a big fan, particularly of a documentary that you directed. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. The I've produced some documentaries. I, I've directed some short documentary works. Um, some experimental films, I believe you call them. When I was men, when I was being mentored by Francis, I would make a couple of things when he was making movies, and I did some, a couple of things early on. Uh, but mostly, you you you've directed some uh, things for television. Yes, and uh, directed a couple of episodes of a show I'd love to be able to uh, mention that I really enjoyed, mm -hmm. uh, but I can't in a good good conscience right. because. You know what people would do the second I say how much I like this very funny show? Mm -hmm. They go watch it, and then you'd be playing right into the hands of the right of the hands. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even know it. That it's a hard one to do blind item on because everything kind of gives it away. Yeah, think, yeah. There's only one that I did. Well, no. Uh, I guess there's two that I did a couple of. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's your, what's, how do you, how do you prep? This is a question for both of you. How do you prep when you're, uh, when you're directing something, when you're in the early stages? What's um, your, what's your, what's your approach? I usually start with a panic attack and yeah. then um, <laughs> kind of move through that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then I just kind of try to go at everything from like very small baby steps maybe have another panic attack kind of on the second or third day of prep. If that panic attack doesn't happen, I might have a panic attack about not having a panic attack. Mm -hmm. Now I just think it's part of the process. Uh, how, how do you calm yourself? Do you, what's your, do you have any tricks, any uh, helpful hints? You know, some stretches some deep breathing, some affirmations in the mirror. Those always seem to do the trick. And then, uh, so and then not I, hard drinking. Uh, sometimes if I have the next day off, yes. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it can help. Yeah, yeah, because then yeah. and then you're like, oh, that's what the blocking is, right? Freeze it oh. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should do that more. Uh, Colin, do you do you panic, Colin? Uh, I do. Uh, but you know, the the doc world is is so much different because. Really, I mean, we have years of prep. <laughs> Basically, from yeah. the moment you have the idea and you're going out trying to sell it, you're just talking about it and talking about it and talking about it, and then stumbling across eventually what is the the sort of streamlined best version of describing what it is you want to make, and then you know either you tap dance for money or you you know already have financing, and then. You, you do actually start making it. And that's when sort of panic attacks kind of come in. But, but for, epi, you know, for episodic, it's totally different. And, and even for, for docs, it's different because you're, it's just interviews really and, mm -hmm. and verite stuff at, at most. So there's a, there's a pressure to, you know, get what you need, but it's not, quite as the same as trying to 
like finesse a performance. It's more right. like trying to draw out what you want to use. Yeah. Well, I mean, speaking of getting what you want and getting what you need and, and a performance, uh, my first film credit was working on a documentary about mm -hmm. the Rolling Stones. Mm -hmm. And I was a, uh, I was a camera person on this. It's a very famous and, and uh, 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 important documentary. Mm -hmm. uh, and because they were doing a concert at Altamont. And I was on a hillside with Walter Murch uh, filming like uh, B-roll footage basically. And my camera jammed. And so it only shot like, you know, a couple dozen feet of film. None of it was usable. And then of course people were murdered, mm -hmm. uh, which is a pretty, it's about as, as uh, uh panic inducing a beginning to a professional film career as you can imagine where none of the film is usable and people died uh and the uh but the songs were great um <laughs> killer soundtrack we still have the music don't we it's always as, as you uh so eloquently put music telling you how to feel music telling you how to feel mm -hmm. music telling you how to feel yeah and then you don't have to uh, think about how you feel because you're already feeling it. That's right. Colin, is there a trick when you're doing a documentary, you're interviewing someone and you're like, I really need this person to say this one thing so we can, you know, this is very important. I need them to say this. Is there a trick to get someone to say something that you've employed? If it's something very incredibly hyper-specific, yeah. I'm not against just asking the person to say it sure but i'll always give the context of 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 why why um yeah and it's it's really just sort of putting yourself like kind of just like begging like i know this is weird but right there's a very specific thing that we're trying to do here and it would be great if i could get it from you yeah. you know um yeah. but i generally try to just uh, be as kind of open and not necessarily act, ask like direct questions, but more sort of try and, and keep it more conversational. Mm -hmm. Some, one of the best tricks I have is, um, is sort of uh, asking a very, uh, explain this term to a teenager. Uh, you know, what was, you know, and I'm not pushing my documentaries at mm -hmm. all, but I, mm -hmm. there was a musician and I said, could you explain this one store mm -hmm. to a teenager who never set foot in that store? Sure. How would you describe it? Mm. And that musician ended up giving me about 10 minutes of, you know, really great stuff, almost sure. all of which we used. Um, yeah. And that was kind of, pretty much all we really needed. Um, we, yeah. I think we can say who the musician was because that's not, that's not promoting. That's true. Uh, okay. It was Bruce Springsteen. I mean, Lost. heard of him. Yeah. Heard another, of him. another good example. Cause I was trying to say before I've been a boss, but I was a good boss. Bruce would be another example of a good boss. <laughs> they do exist. Probably the boss. Yeah. The boss. Yeah. A friend yeah. of the working, a friend of the working man. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, he would be definitely picketing. Yeah. 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 Um, Melissa, do you have do you have any interest in the documentary space? Can you imagine yourself making a doc? Uh, I uh, yeah, do I do. do. It. I have. Um, I actually uh, recently was thinking about one because my uh, son just finished swim classes with this like amazing swim instructor in LA. Swim to Bill. Swim to Bill. Swim to Bill. Swim to Bill needs a documentary. Swim to Bill definitely needs a documentary. That man honestly changed my life. Right? <laughs> this feels like are we are this feels like this could are this we feels, packaging something? Is that we, what this is? This is, is right now? Okay. <laughs> this is a hundred percent true. <laughs> He honestly changed the way I dealt with kids having meltdowns, especially at a very, very young age. But I'll do you one further. On the last session with, I think it was the first kid. It might've been my second kid. 
he told me that prior to his uh, job as the the child swimmer instructor whisperer, because he never yells, he literally just says, swim the boat. That's it. And then they do, even though they're like, ah, oh God. Um, he told me that his previous job, he was an actor. No. And he was actually in Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> and I said, are, what? What are you talking about? And he goes, yeah, I was, I was an actor. I'd been an actor for a long time and I was uh. in London and it was just not really sort of working out. And so I had this really small part where I was just around, I, you know, I don't think he had any lines or anything. Was he in the swimming scenes? That's the most uh, uh, excruciating. He was not in any swimming scenes, no. Was, I mean, it, it was the end. It was all the uh, Matt Damon part. The, the How do you think they get from the boat to the beach? They swim, right? I think There's got to be at least a little bit of swimming. Yeah, I saw some swimming. needed to do it much, much quicker. So it's not necessarily the same. I, I think some of the most horrific, and I mean this in a good way, swimming scenes in the history of cinema. There, there we is. go. There he is. Swim the there we, go. we love yeah. it. Dude's a genius. He is. I mean, yeah. That's you need to make the Swim to Bill documentary, Melissa. I, I would watch that documentary. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's great. Oh. Uh, and... Uh, oh, and the, the crazy, the, I forgot the, the craziest yeah. part, which oh, yeah. shows how cool Swim to Bill is. I said, well, what happened? Like, you, did you, 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 I mean, obviously at some point you quit working. Like, what happened? He goes, yeah, I just sort of figured like that was, it was never going to get any better than that scenario to be around for a few weeks getting to watch them make that he goes i didn't i didn't think there was going to be anything that would would top that so he he stopped and then he discovered uh another swim instructor i believe when he had children and he was so blown away that he became his his i'm not joking he became his his padawan his his yeah. his protege mm -hmm. and that's how swim to bill uh gained his magical powers Mm -hmm. And very, in hindsight, incredibly smart, as it is one of the few industries that is not at all threatened by AI. Uh, teaching yeah. children to swim, I'd say that might be, like, if you were going to list all the different industries that are going to be really rocked by AI, it might be the last one that would ever get, a, like, it might be the, the one left, like, we're not going to let an AI teach our, our children to swim. Yeah, no one's putting their two-year-old in the pool with a robot anytime yeah. soon. Well, it's hard to replicate all that water. Water is the hardest, one of the hardest things to replicate. We, we spent a long you time in ILM. You yeah. Can yeah. Uh, but, but also just like, uh, just the stakes. The stakes are incredibly high and people are not willing to risk their children on a, on a thing that might get it wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, but they will risk the first few drafts of a screenplay or, <laughs> or, that, or, that, an, or that an actor won't actually look like themselves uh, in a movie. Mm -hmm. They will risk that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they shouldn't. No. Um, do you guys, do you guys want to be uh, brought back as CGI characters in fifty years? I want to be brought to, not back. <laughs> I would like to just be brought. I've been having a very hard time being brought anywhere. Yeah. Right. So I'd be just happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> Although I guess that's what they want. They want you to just be brought once. They can pay you that one time and then use yeah. it forever. Yeah. But maybe I don't want that. Well, I mean, My I could just imagine got really difficult in bad all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could imagine a scenario in which everybody probably has a number, whether mm -hmm. they like it or not. They probably have a number that is like, if I'm going to come in for one day, and this is the only day I'm going to work the rest of my life. But I think that number is so much higher than what people are asking for. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like that is, the, that seems to be the more oh. expensive option is. The most expensive. Cause like <laughs> to me, it also just really feels like you're kind of selling your soul a little bit. Like, yeah. I don't know what you're going to put me in. I don't know. You know, I'm, I think I'm too much of a control freak to be okay with the unknown scenario of what my, what would it even be called? My 
AI self to mm-hmm. bring in things in the yeah. years after I'm dead. Um, well, I will say this. I am the only one on the show who doesn't have the letters A and I in my name. All right. I guess that's true. I, I just got a very creeped out feeling. Like, are you all even real? Or am I already talking to people who've been replicated? replicated? Well, that's a very good question. And, and we're not going to answer it. So it can haunt your dreams. There's one thing, though. You're wearing an ABBA shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And have you heard about the ABBA show that they have in London? <laughs> Great movie. Have I heard about it? That's where you think I got this That's shirt. What it is. Have you guys already discussed this and, and its connection to AI? Well, or this connect or its connection to Industrial Light and Magic, who designed the show. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. So, uh, is that Melissa, AI do you know? Is that just, I don't. I, don't. I need to be caught up. I'm, un- okay. I'm unaware. So, uh, I think I can pro- promote this. I can mention this You're because it's a live show yeah. in London. Yeah. It's a live concert show. Okay. So, ABBA, ABBA basically, uh, uh, ILM, which is the company I created, um, went to ABBA and they said, um, "Hey, we just made a. We've been working on this this technology where you can take." actors who are in their 70s and just make them look like they're in their 30s and everyone Mm -hmm. and and it looks so perfect Mm -hmm. and um the and we said how about we film you abba you get back together in a motion capture studio and do a concert and then we will have that we will create avatars that's what we call them avatars and people will come and watch these. We'll de-age you. We'll project you. You'll come up as these holograms with a live band. And you can do multiple concerts every day in a sold-out arena. But you only have to do the concert basically once in the motion capture studio. So they wrote a bunch of new songs for it. They got excited. Because basically, you know, this is a band that didn't just break up. There's divorces in the band. You know, that like, this I'm is a band... Tired. And this is a band that does not want to do a world tour. They are yeah. at the age where that's not fun, and nobody wants to do that with their exes. Um, <laughs> and so this is really the dream scenario for this specific group. And they also are a group that has... Um, <laughs> <they are. laughs> Why did anyone let that photo out? Why would you let that photo out? Oh my god! I, oh, I love that two of them are wearing skirts. Oh, it's the best. So oh. this concert is just sold out every day. It's just a, a never-ending concert. It's going to start playing around the world. Um, and the the other thing is um, that. As you know, when you're in a motion capture studio, they're not, it's the equivalent of having a million cameras on you because they're getting, they're just getting all the data. They're not, it's not picking camera angles. It's just Mm -hmm. all the information that a camera could. So you can pick whatever angle you want if you want the camera to start here and then move over there. So unlike a normal concert where you're sort of relying on the cameras that you have in a few places to get whatever is happening live what you're seeing on the big screens is sort of these, this perfect variety of every, Oh, Melissa, you're really going through it. The, the, the the (laughs) dusk is really punishing you. I know. Well, we, I'm sitting in front of a window that right outside is one of those like sails, you know, and it's, so it keeps blowing. (laughs) (laughs) This is a very harsh key. I'm just going to try to slide over. Nope. I'm going to, um, yeah, the, the uh, so what what do you think about this? What do you th- is, is it scare you? Or does it inspire you? What do, that what do you think? Scenario is kind of sweet because yeah, uh, I yeah, I mean, when you start first started describing it, I was like, oh, could someone put me in a rom com when I'm seventy? Um, <laughs> but looking like this, uh, that could be you know, and just like, yeah, I don't know. Me, I think I think I still need to be alive. I think I would still have to be, you know, like them, be able to consent and and say yeah. But I could imagine a day where I'm just tired. I don't want to do a six a.m. call. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they do they do come out at the end, also, like as their as their um, actual current day age and wave. Their avatars come out at the end 
Okay. So there's a reveal not in those outfits. outfits. Not in those outfits. No, not in. They don't come out in the full motion capture outfit. Thank God. Uh, have, have either of you done video games? No. Uh, -uh. uh mm, yeah, I did do a video. I did a uh, a, a video game. There was a King Kong. Sure. Video. The Peter Jackson's King Kong. Oh sure. And we did. Yeah. I did some voice work for, for like character voice work. You didn't have to do yeah. like motion capture stuff. No, no, it wasn't like they could. It wasn't like you could do now. You uh, you weren't in the game. And I think we can we can talk about this game because it's not a film or TV project. It's a video game. That's true. Right. Um, no, there wasn't any uh, motion capture or anything that I needed to do, but they had all it would. It, apparently, the way it was described to me, that it was kind of revolutionary because Peter Jackson gave so much access mm. to the computer, the, the 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 developers. So they all, so they had like the body scans in costume sure. that all that that we had all done for Weta Digital for all of the special effects, and so yeah. they took all of that information and put it into a game engine and we're able to do it there. But I mean, th this is already almost 20 years ago. So it's changed but so can much. Can I ask you, are you, can, are, is there a part of you that's concerned at all that you've been scanned? The, I, honestly, the thought had crossed my mind. Um, like if, if the, your digital self lives in some, somewhere. No. Yeah, I, there, I, I honestly was thinking about that because once the conversations really started coming out in terms of how AI could possibly affect working actors, right? Never mind, you know, hey, we got the dude who played Moff Tarkington and we put his mm -hmm. face on somebody. Um, uh, 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 you know, I feel like th that is a different version of it. But I, I did realize, like, well, technically, all of my information is probably maybe still on some server um, down in New Zealand over at Weta Digital, but I don't, you know, would that be property of, of Universal who, who was the studio on that? I, I, I don't know, but I'll be damned if I'm not going to go ask a representative at SAG about that. <laughs> We're also, you know, there's sort of this assumption in play that, uh, you know, if you're scanned by a company that, and you've signed uh, paperwork of that company that everyone's going to abide by the rules. There is also a scenario in which uh, somewhere down the road, some pirates get a hold of uh, the scans. Mm -hmm. They start making their own Colin Hanks's. Mm -hmm. Hackers. Are a hacker, a hacker pirate could get that scan, start, start putting out new Colin Hanks stuff. You have 2000, 2003 Colin Hanks stuff. 2004 Colin Hanks stuff. I just want to refer to hackers as pirates from now on. <laughs> That's what they are. They are. Scoundrels. Scoundrels. Modern, modern day pirates. That's why it's called piracy. That's why. The high seas are digital now. You know? And... Well, you know, I, I do I do wonder, you know, the because it's at a certain point. Well, I'm the, the one of the shows I'm doing in Edinburgh, which I was talking to Melissa about uh, earlier, is uh, I'm going to be doing four solo shows. And the exciting thing about those shows, they're one person improvised shows, is that I already did all of the improv uh, back in the spring. ABBA style, I used the motion capture mm -hmm. studio. So I did about a week where I did all of the improv moves, all the things you need for good uh, improvised scenes. And what you'll be seeing, what people will be seeing on stage will actually be, there'll be an analog stand-in with a digital skin projected uh, using just state-of-the-art technology. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, that version of me will be able to just interact with the audience. It'll seem like it's just a guy on stage making things up, but in fact, it's a fully responsive, uh, interactive motion capture uh, um, scenario like the, the theater world hasn't seen before. It's exciting and not at all confusing. You improv? I yeah, I, I did improv. Just a, a Marin County uh, motion capture studio. I spent about a week doing all the improv, did everything you, you need. When you, you did the dialogue, did you just do it faster and more intense? I, I would try to. I try to give all the options so that I can do any kind of scene. So if somebody... 
four examples of things. Okay, but I'm, this is me. This is just gonna be yeah, natural yeah, improv. Yeah. Uh, well, give me give me a word, Colin. The Kessel Run. <laughs> the Kessel Run. Thank you. That's all we need. Um, uh, hey, uh, do you know uh, do you know how to make this Kessel Run? Hey, well, what's a Kessel? Hey, stop asking me so many questions. Mm -hmm. Now oh, you cool. already have two characters in there. That's just a few seconds. But you already have the potential for uh, a, a real scene between two characters. And I, as I said, I did a full week. So imagine mm -hmm. just that for a, a, a full week, nine to five, Monday through Friday, and a little bit on Saturday, just to do some pickups. <laughs> there were a few things we hadn't gotten yet. A few transaction scenes, a uh, couple, couple of scenarios that are a little outmoded, but might come up like returning a video, you know. Mm -hmm. Occasionally it happens, even though it's not a relatable scenario anymore. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really happen very much anymore. Although, God damn it, we I, I, there's a show that Melissa did that we could have talked about, but we can't talk about it that relates to that. Uh, AM, AM, BTP, do you see what you're doing? Uh, we, all we want to do is promote stuff. All these dead ends. And <laughs> we just keep hitting up against the fact that it's just like, come to the table and talk. You know? George, George we did get some fan art. Can I show it? Absolutely. Okay. I'd love to see this. Now, Colin, earlier we talked about how George is opening yes! a museum, which is true. It's down near USC, the Lucas Museum of Narrative Art. And we'd already recruited Rob Hubel and Richard Kind to be docents at the museum. And Melissa said she would also like to be a docent. So this is, uh, 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 Jenna Hotchberg made this uh, image. Wow. Um, of the that, three of them. Uh, is, uh, yes, that is amazing. Whoever, to the artist, yeah. bravo. Yeah. And, and that so, looks like uh, uh, George's fellow uh, 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 person. Uh, mm -hmm. What was it? Uh, uh, ficus? No, it wasn't a ficus. That's uh, uh, Sylvester Ficor. Stallone in the background, clearly. Oh, sure. Oh, right. Fellow Ficor. Sylvester E. Stallone. Yeah. 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 E for easy. And, yeah. and here, you know, and this is just for the independent producers out there, but I don't, to the best of my knowledge, I don't think anyone's done a situation comedy called Docents. Mm -hmm. And isn't that just crying out for like a, a, a sitcom set in a museum? And you it's all about the Docents? That we pitched during this podcast. <laughs> but right. you know that, that you know the first note is going to be, we can't call it Docents because then what if it's not good and they'll just say Docents is decent? It's too easy of a headline. We can't give them that. Decency is wonderful. <laughs> what if we call yeah, the show Docents is great. Those it needs to be decent. amazing. Decency I, is just what I, I strive think, for at all times. I think decency is highly underrated. I think a couple of those executives saying no should try a little bit of decency every now and then. Yeah, it's decent. Colin, have, have you ever met George before? I have. Yeah, we can, met. Can we I, talk yeah, about we that? met. I, uh, I uh, actually, we, we, we met on a few occasions, but the first that, that I recall, uh, we met at Skywalker Ranch after a screening of S Star Wars episode. <laughs> oh. um, space space One of the space big ones. Space, One of the later ones. The space skirmishes, uh -huh. volume sure. two. Uh huh. Conflict <laughs> of the, the identicals. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Now, I'm wondering if there's going to be an explainer video that comes out. It's like you can't even promote stuff in puzzle form. <laughs> yeah. We we see a lot of actors have started showing up, and they're promoting their new works in riddles, puzzles. <laughs> we various, have, various we codes. Have, we have this and running this is, joke. In, this in is my not. Movie. Movie. Melissa, what is happening to you? Very windy. My goodness. Every now and then I look down and it's just just hot white, just blast of, of sun. You know those that Michael Bay, those Michael Bay movies that used to be a cartoon about mm -hmm. robots that could turn sure. into other right. things? Sure. In our family, my dad actually once, he, he couldn't think of the name. And so he was just like, you know, um, uh, robot head smash them up. That's the so that's what we call those movies now. Uh -huh. Robot that's Head great, Smash Them Up. It's a great title. So, so you're at when, Skywalker Ranch. We we used oh, yeah. in a movie that I made. Yes, and uh, it was it was uh, I was invited because MTV. This is this shows how long ago it was. 
MTV was filming some sort of special and I was asked, Hey, do you want to come and do this? And I said, yeah, sure. Cause yeah. uh, I had been in a movie that was produced by MTV. Yeah. Right. Um, not, well, I'm not even going to say that joke. Um, uh, and so I went with, let's see, Seth Green was there and Donald okay. Faison, who of uh-huh. course I saw earlier when I would do voices for, for uh, Seth's show that he mm-hmm. made. Yeah, I worked um, on that. Too. I remember meeting one. <laughs> I remember meeting one of the guys from Papa Roach. Ring a bell? Papa yeah. Roach? Yeah. yeah. Throwback. Oh. I got to see George meet one of the guys from Papa Roach, which was a yeah. very surreal experience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you remember our conversation? Did we talk? Uh, we uh, we had a conversation in which, yeah, you were convinced that you had met me when I was a young kid, and right. I didn't necessarily feel it would have been appropriate to say, uh, "Sir, you were uh, uh, mixing me up with my uh, my child brothers." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oops. Which happens quite a bit, actually. Right. <laughs> and, my uh, youngest brother is in a photo with my dad. They he, they went to a Benihana once, right? And they took a photo, and then that photo is now in every single Benihanas, <laughs> right? And so, whenever I know someone that goes to a Benihana, I inevitably get a photo, and they go, "Is this you?" <laughs> and I tell uh, you what. I, I tell I tell them what I couldn't tell you, George. No, that's not fucking me. I like that story so much. I'm going to see if I can get that photo hung up at my museum. Because it has, yeah. if we get you to record that story, they press a button, Ooh. and then you tell the story, and that way it's narrative art. This mm. is the time where you would Google Tom Hanks Benny Hanna photo. I, I did look, and I could not find it. <laughs> I already did. Hey, that is a good scrub. That's a good scrub. <laughs> you already did it. You already did it, you professional. Wow. Uh, well, I'm I, I'm embarrassed in hindsight because I, I I now I'm remembering and I was so confident that I had the you know I had this thing that I could say to you. I, I I've met you before. You know. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I, just, I wanted to let you roll with it. I I didn't want to. Do you remember what you thought of the movie? Pleasure to see you again. Did you, did you fact, remember? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, please. Here we go. Uh-oh. Here we go. What is this is going to be hold something. Please. Let's see. Oh, we got to ask about that case when he gets back. I, to I'm not going to show the book. Uh-oh. But that. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's my signature. Look see, at that. It says to Colin. And then it so obviously is, is George Lucas. Wow. That says, that says George Lucas. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. What I'm wondering is, I'm not gonna make you reveal the book, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make a guess. I'm gonna make a wild guess. Uh yeah. let's let, here, but put me on the screen. One, two, three. Uh no. was it this book? No, it was not that book. Oh, I was really hoping it would be this book. This is my uh book I did with my buddy Steve about Norman Rockwell paintings. No, this is a book all about the art from that one Mm -hmm. uh, space skirmish. Gotcha. And and did you buy that book and then I signed it for you or I gave you that book? I I I want to say it was a gift. Yeah, I think it was a gift because that was literally the movie that we we saw. Like that was the whole point of it. Yeah. Was it a gift um, where we had a pile of them there that night for the I thing? I believe so. So I, I believe the lead you. singer yeah. of Papa Roach also has this book. Oh, we got to get him on, George. We got to get yeah. him on and find out. Um, find out if I signed his book. And uh, the point is, is years later. Uh, yeah. How many times, gosh, it's been, I, I can't even imagine how many times you've watched that film since that screening, because so many years have gone by since then. I, I would imagine it's at least once a year. Um, Probably like I will say this, it was pretty magical. Yeah. Knowing like I was at Skywalker Ranch watching yeah. that. <clears throat> yeah. I actually had a very cool uh, full circle moment 
there is a documentary that I did that is in no way in poster form above one of my shoulders. Uh -huh. And we did uh, the sound at Skywalker Ranch. Yeah. And I got to uh, watch a sound mix of, of a film that I produced in that same theater. I'll ask you this. What do you think of the chili? Uh, it's delicious. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. I got to spend the night and everything. It was, it was Ooh. awesome. I want to, I honestly, if I could do post for every film I, I am responsible for actually making, I would, I would do it there. It's, it's make, a, make, can I, George, can I tell Colin about the chili? Oh yeah. I mean, I'm sure he already knows, but go ahead and, and share this. Yes. I mean, we, I've been working with George for years. This show's been going on a very long, eight years, nine years at this point. And finally, he brought us up to Skywalker Ranch in January. This is true. But I, I wouldn't let them in any of the buildings, just on the property, <laughs> one said, building. They said, yeah, George said, we can walk around the yards. You can't go in the buildings. We can walk around the yards. One building. So we, we go to the, the lunch, uh, the restaurant, and we get in there. We get the chili. We get the hamburger, all this stuff. This is great. The person who is also bringing us around says, oh, do you like the chili? Is it good? And we said, yeah. And they said, when you drove in, did you see the cows up on the hill? And we said, yeah, we did. And then they just looked at us. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I don't get, to, I don't, I'm not at the ranch as often as I used to be. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Look at these docents. Oh, and there you are. There I am. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm getting to pop in there as well. Yeah. yeah. Bob, look at the painting in the background. Uh -huh. How do you? I'm sorry. Can I address the audience, Mr. Lucas? Mm -hmm. How yeah. do you people do this? How do you do that so quickly? You can just sketch up something by by hand with pencil, and then and then we can show it. And then what? How long has it been? Five minutes? Uh -huh. Not long. Five minutes later, that's uh -huh. done. And this here's is why we're striking. Because yes, you have to get that done in 30 seconds. The 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 speed that a talented human can work and get it done right. Mm -hmm. Get it done. Like that that art we has heart and soul in it. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's and, true. And 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 yeah, that you can shop can... really screams made by <laughs> <laughs> it's Watto. Wow. Yeah, it looks wow. like Watto if Watto that is had been in a Dick Tracy comic. Yes, it's pretty good. Powerful image. Red Hawk way, we love it. It's um, interesting. Well, I will say the lightsaber that I use for the show is not uh, telescoping like that. It's just one unit. Because <laughs> the thing is, I'm going to cover up the thing so you don't know what it is. What's mm -hmm. funny about this one is that uh, when we made these toys... It used to be that the, the, the thing about these toys in the space movies are from is that they start out and there's no sword. Yeah. And then there's a, a, an electric light thing that comes out of it. Mm -hmm. And normally it comes out and it's huge. But if you want it to really be hidden in the hilt, it has to be shorter than the hilt. So, so it has this. <laughs> very funny. I think light, it's very funny. Not many people know about the light daggers that the Jedi <laughs> yes. also carry. This is, for, this is for like up close killing. Like this is a very... <laughs> Like you gotta like look them in the eye. Yeah. I remember Patrick when you were the day that that you and Watto visited. There mm -hmm. was a the clock in the in the rest in the place where people the canteen where people go eat was stopped. And I remember telling them specifically instructing them that if the clock is stopped, it should be stopped at eleven thirty eight. As sure. a joke reference to a movie I won't name. Or yeah. you, you can mention the the student film that you made that it's yeah. based on. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That is still yeah. shown at USC every yeah, semester. Right. Yeah. yeah, Electric Labyrinth. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, that well, was the yeah, that's that one the is, post. That one is yeah. Well. yeah, yeah. Um, um, but yeah, I, I, uh, I'm so glad that you had the sound work done at Skywalker Sound. That makes us. That makes that just deepens our connection. I feel like. Absolutely. And it's very cool that they uh, they wanted to do. Oh my oh! god! If Fam Pow in the chat found it. it, that is hilarious! <laughs> wow! Oh, August, August, I'll say this: August twenty seventh. That's not my birthday, but it's somebody's birthday. It's somebody's. What? Birthday. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand the August twenty. 
1977 because it makes it look like it's that's when the photo was taken and I was born in 77. So but this is clearly it was like March. No, it, maybe the next photo is March 19th. So that's just undated. But this is just a timeline. This is like a Benihana history timeline. Is that what this is? It was an integral uh, moment in Benihana's history. <laughs> love it. I it love was it. in. It was an integral if, moment because if it you, was if, a you moment. if you cropped, if you cropped it tightly enough, it would make it look like your father's doing stand up in the eighties. That brick wall background there. Yeah. Oh yeah. You could easily you could easily say like, oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. Yeah. Dropped in for a set. Yeah, he just dropped in. <laughs> Still don't understand why uh, the chef thought it was a good idea to put uh, his hands on my young brother. I don't. <laughs> we'll never know. We'll never know. We'll never know what 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 they were thinking. Because that chef lost that hand in a tragic accident, and that's why yeah. that photo is on the wall. History. He's chopping so much he missed one time. Unless I, I have a question, know, gentlemen. Yes. I have to go. I have one quick question for you. Is that a garage door at the side of your screen? It is. I keep moving away from the sun, and so yeah. it is a garage door because I'm in my garage. And and what's the seat that faces out? Is, oh, that's a, that? it's what I'm sitting on. It's like a floor cushion. Oh, that, it, oh I just, it was facing the door, so I thought maybe is that where you have to go and think about what you did? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's why it was there. Melissa, well, one thing before you go. The chat has been asking all night if you can bounce the ball. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's give Melissa the full screen for this. This earlier is that um, for uh, all of you bouncy ball uh, aficionados, uh -huh. uh, this has a bit of sand in it, which keeps it from uh, <laughs> too bouncy. <laughs> How did you get sand in it? I don't know. Oh, I hate, <laughs> Melissa, I hate sand. <laughs> oh, Melissa, thank you. You're the best. Thank you so much, Melissa. It was so fun, and it was so nice uh, to meet you all officially. Yes, yes. I'm a huge fan. And um, yeah, have fun. Enjoy. All right. Sam Strong, Melissa. Happy strike. Colin, I'm surprised you never auditioned for George. I did audition for George. Yeah. But not for, well, not for George. Okay. Right. Well, no, technically, I guess he would have seen the tape. I'm yeah, assuming. I saw the tape. It was good. Did you no, see the good. tape? Yeah, it was good. Thanks. Not good enough. Sometimes it, sometimes, no, no, it's not that. First of all, um, sometimes I'm looking for something very specific. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes it's a matter of you got multiple combos. Sometimes it's a matter of you are the perfect person if we go, if you, you are person A, if we cast B and C, but if we cast person D, they fit with person E and F. And sometimes you're looking at those combos and it's a matter of like, we can really get E and F. So that means we got to go with D because, and if we'd gone with B and C, we would have gone with A and the, uh, you know, it the it's not an area I uh, talk about a lot casting uh, and whether or not someone gets a part or not because I just don't know that there's a lot of mileage in that area of discussion uh, for a show. Uh, but I will say I'm a fan of your work. I wish I could plug some of it. I, I wish it. I could. I wish I could plug any of it. To be honest, yeah. Don't you? Um, do it. Don't you? Do, don't do it. <laughs> and if I, if I wasn't re God, if I wasn't retired. What I wouldn't, what I wouldn't cast you in. I would cast you in so many things. All the things that you're making, all your experimental films. It's possible, you know. It still might happen, you know. Uh, I, I do make films just for myself. Experimental films. Personal films, art films, and you know, sometimes I'll just grab whoever's nearby, and that's easier than doing a full casting process. But I, I. I feel like you are a very uh, nimble and nuanced actor. You do a lot of different kinds of acting. I, thank you. I and do. I also I also feel like you be, because of that, I get a few takes 
And if I really like what your body's doing and take one, take the face from take three, put mm -hmm. them together. And uh, <laughs> which that's, I'd love to do that. I'd love to do some mixes and matches. Uh, is there a kind of role? If you were gonna, if you were gonna be in a movie by me, what kind of movie would you like it to be? Because I'll do sometimes I do space movies set in the desert. Sometimes I'll do uh, uh, like archaeologist goes to the desert. Like, what kind of film would you like to be in if you were gonna be in a George Lucas? Sometimes I'll do like, hey, it's nineteen, it's not early nineteen sixties. Feels kind of like the fifties, but that's because that's what the early nineteen sixties were like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, creating essentially nostalgia. In that's a right. Yeah, cinematic rock scene. and roll is here to stay. Things like that. Um, yeah, gosh, I mean, probably one of the the space skirmish movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, that's kind of hard to 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 top. Yeah. Right. You like to be a good guy or bad guy? Probably a good guy in a robe. Robe guy. Robe. Good robe guy. Yeah, the, um, the, robe, the robe man. You know the yeah. road men who use the the laser yeah. daggers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, funny, it, it occurs to me now that because I'm Ficor, I probably could have just been plugging stuff left, right, and center this whole time. But I'm not. You going could. To. Yeah, I, but you're, I could. You, you're standing in solidarity. I'm trying works. to be. I'm trying to. I'm trying to put myself in someone else's shoes and say, "Gosh, couldn't someone else really get in trouble?" You know, sure. uh -huh. uh, it really could. And uh, but yeah, I could picture you being. Uh, would you like to be a good guy who's just pure and simple good or someone who's like, this is a dangerous guy, but he means well? Hmm. Uh, well, yeah, I'm not really interested in just being just the good robeman just for the sake of goodness. Yeah. Um, but I sort of feel like if I had a shot in mm -hmm. one of the space skirmish films, mm -hmm. it would probably be one of the the good robemen yeah, as yeah. opposed to the bad, which is why you didn't cast me because it was it was for the role of the guy that was the good uh, robeman and then turned to the, 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 the bad, bad robeman. robeman. I, uh, I'd almost be tempted hearing you say that to challenge, to give you the challenge of the thing that, that you don't want, which is to be the guy who's good just for the sake of goodness. Oh boy. It sounds so boring, doesn't he? But then I'd be, I think you'd be fighting against me. And I think that might give it a little interesting tension. Cause I'd be like, this guy is just so good because he, all he wants to do is for make people happy. And boy, that doesn't give you much to play with, does it? Which is what that's all the road men do. They yeah. go throughout the galaxy just saying, I want to make this person happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And and the and I give you a, a silly name. I'll give you a silly yeah. name. I'm not going to do it now because pencil down. Pencil's down. I'm not going to write a, a silly name for you. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, I could. I take I take root words like happy, happy, good boy or something like that. Uh -huh. Maybe that, that might be just be the name. Like if you spell it. <laughs> If you spell it different, like maybe put like happy is spelled H A P dash E, capital mm -hmm. E, mm -hmm. and then good boy is like G U D uh, B O I. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like the members of Outcast with a K. Um, yeah. I, I, do, uh, I'm sure you probably are into it, uh, retired uh, Mr. Lucas. Um, mm -hmm. But I just recently uh, became a Formula One fan. Well, I love it. I had a, a realization that there are so many planets in the space skirmish films that are the names of cities where they hold Formula One races, but they just, he just changed, you just changed the first letter. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, one way to write stuff. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that would have been something Lawrence and JJ would have done, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because there's, you know, they do the, the Formula One race in Baku. Yeah. There's the real photo. Look, at there you are. Is that the yeah. Pro-Am down there in, uh, in Long Beach, or is that? I got some more pictures. Let's pull up some other ones, George. Hang on. Yeah, I've been to a like bunch of them. Luna Seca, which would have been closer to you in Northern California. Look at them. Yeah, but I'll go wherever. Oh, yeah. Toyota. Um, thanks, Alamy. Um, and uh, the 
yeah, I love I love when cars go fast. I love when cars go room. Uh, fast cars going fast. I'm not the most eloquent person on this subject, but I do like velocity. I like speed. I like Is, fast ships, fast cars. Would you say that your favorite Tracy Chapman song was Fast Car? Yeah. Um, yeah, I sang a spoof when we did an Oscar special a couple years ago. I did one of those uh, medleys of all the... Uh, uh, all the best picture nominees, and I believe I did uh, Tracy Chapman's Fast Car uh, for Kenneth Branagh's film what? that has the word what? "fast" in the title, uh-huh. but it's not Fast Car, the movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. The they had a love... race in Baku, and it's literally Jakku is one of the mm-hmm. names of the planets. So I was like, "Oh, interesting." I wanted to be a race car driver. I want. I love. I am a fast driver by by nature. Uh, but I got into a horrific uh, oh, automobile awesome. accident when I was younger, and that pretty much put an end to it. But then I was able to transfer my love of speed and velocity into, you know, recreating it in ways that are much safer. Mm-hmm. But I do love watching the the train drivers go fast. That is pot racing. <laughs> What's pot racing? Uh, mm-hmm. Look at this. <laughs> 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 the likeness is uncanny. And this is, from, <laughs> and this is from eight minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. Uh, Colin, what you do? The internet Everyone wins works. again, except it's not the internet. It's a person behind it. It's a real right. human being named Eric Germ. Uh, Colin, have you ever worn prosthetics? Uh... I have n- oh prosthetics. No, I haven't worn prosthetics. The closest I came to it, uh, the one, of the actually the last job I was on. Yeah, no. Well, I did a job, uh, and I uh, I had to play a, 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 a balding uh, mm-hmm. individual because it was based on a, a real. A real life person and so i had to uh have my head shaved the top part of my head shaved and every yeah. morning they would paint it like seven different layers of paint and then they would put a wig on top and that pretty much made me say yeah i don't think i ever want to do prosthetics like ever yeah um what, how long it's something that i reiterated the other night because i was watching pirates of the caribbean with one of my kids and uh-huh. Stellan Skarsgård is in the craziest prosthetic, like yeah. the craziest prosthetics. And he had to do, he was in the chair for like four and a half hours every day. My kids, because much like podcasts, at some point during the film, my kid just Googles information <laughs> about what it is that we're watching. Uh-huh. And yeah. um, she Googled that it took uh, Stellan four and a half hours to do his makeup. But Bill Nighy, who was doing a, like a digital face, he just like 10 minutes to put the dots on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, it's quite obvious who got the short end of the stick there. But yeah, yeah just just the, the bald wig work alone, it made me never really want to do any anything like that. I'm going to yeah. ask you kind of an intense question. Uh, I'm a Sagittarius and never on Sunday. <laughs> All right. The when you shaved your head, yeah. Do you notice did it grow back different? Uh, it's hard to tell at my age because mm-hmm. all you see is it. Um, the differences you see the well, differences. All you see are the differences. Yeah. So um, it. I just it, wondered. I always wonder that if if people when they shave their head, if it grows back and it feels different in a way that might look the same, but it feels like this is definitely. No, no, it didn't necessarily. I was uh, told that it was going to like grow back stronger because it was shaved so many times that it would initiate more uh, growth, I guess, you know, that idea of like, that's why 15 year olds are always shaving their face, even though they have no facial hair yet in the hopes that it will like (laughs) kickstart facial hair. Mm-hmm. Come on. I mean, this is just dudes with beards, right? There were just some right. dudes with beards just talking. Three about. guys with beards. We're on the beard cast. So. Three Robomen with beards. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, George, someone uh, made you and Watto at Benihana. <laughs> That's great. 
<laughs> Patrick, will you do me a favor? Uh huh. Will you tag Benny Hanna when you retweet that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Tell, and tell them to put it up in their in their shop, store in their yeah. restaurants. Sure. They'll do it for you, Mr. Lucas. Always. Okay. I love that. Um, the uh, so you just came back. You just had a vacation. Mm -hmm. uh, so now the rest of the summer, it's going to be an unusual. Uh, uh, we're we're in an unknown period for the the industry. I mean, Patrick and I are essentially fleeing the country to go to Edinburgh. So we'll be out of it for the next month. Smart. Um, and uh, which is just a pure coincidence. So we weren't anticipating uh, uh, any, any uh, work stop action. Better uh, to do it now than in February. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, the, uh, do you weather. have. That's a weather have, joke for those wondering why. Okay. It, Cause it's okay. cold in, in, in Edinburgh. Yeah. Cold. And have, you been, have you been to Edinburgh before? Uh, no, but I have been to, uh, Scotland and Scotland. It's, yeah. Where Edinburgh is. I only just found out that the sunrise is currently the sunrise is at five 30 in the morning. And the sun sets at nine 30 in the evening. That's pretty that. intense. Pretty wow. intense, Patrick. I'm sorry. I interrupted your question. What, what, what were you saying, Mr. Lucas? Oh, I was just wondering if you had a sense of, you know, uh, the life of a creative is unpredictable at the best of times. Um, and you're always essentially, especially as a, a working actor, you're always sort of looking for the thing that will sort of disrupt your, your uh, rhythm in a way, right? You're, you're, uh, or create a new, and you know, I guess for some, for some actors, the dream scenario is getting a, a steady gig where you can find, where you can sort of like uh, uh, acclimate to it. But at a time like this, uh, do you have you found a daily routine that is helping you get through it? Uh, that is a good question. Um, you know, it that um, as sad as it may be, I spend uh, I, I'm used to spending uh, <laughs> large chunks of time unemployed. Mm -hmm. um, it's different uh, only now because uh, no one is making anything as opposed to everybody making everything and just not being invited. Um, right. uh, so I, I'm pretty good at, at sort of keeping myself kind of busy. Right. Um, and to be quite honest, uh, I am fortunate in that my documentary uh, film uh, career right is untouched by these events right now very smart and so uh i'm hoping to be able to be starting a, a, a documentary very soon um to be actually like in in proper uh pre-production and uh and then i'm uh, in talks i'm developing a, a few others because uh we have the time so yeah yeah. I mean, sw swim to build just got uh, added to the the plate tonight. Yeah, totally. As a potentially totally. in a pre development. I really want that to happen. Yeah, pre pre, I believe it's called. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I I'm the same way. I've always I'm you know creatives are restless. We want to we want to we want to generate that project and not wait around for uh, someone to hand us something, you know, or or to constantly for actors to be in a position of the little amount of acting that I've done has usually been, you know, a fun cameo here or there where someone will ask me to be a version of myself more often than not. Um, but, you know, I've always been looking for what's that next thing. And I would imagine like for some actors, uh, you're always in the position of trying to be a part of something else that's going like, can I be in this? Can I be in that? You're looking to hop on board vehicles that are already moving very fast. And sometimes you want to, you know, it's good to be able to also, well, I can build a little vehicle and maybe this can go fast. So I don't have to always just be jumping on uh, and falling off of the sides of fast moving vehicles. If you, if, I really like this metaphor a lot. Yeah, I can tell. Are you really, uh, I, I'm not sure exactly what the metaphor is at this stage. I'm still, I'm, it's just being fast, totally honest, fast cars. You seem very, very. Just about it. Yeah. I'm just thinking about it still. Yeah. 
Uh, do you drive? Do you drive fast, or are you a safe driver? Uh, I'm pretty safe driver. All right. Yeah, I I, I like to 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 keep it. Uh, That's smart. A safe driver is a smart driver. Um. Yeah. I I I, uh, I uh, in fact uh, very early on in uh, the courting stage with my wife, mm -hmm. I told her straight up, like, look, if you're looking for the dude that's like drives recklessly. That's not me. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I wanted to petition like the DMV to just have a, an advertising campaign that's just like safe is the new sexy. Uh -huh. right. um, but I don't think they, uh, I don't think they would actually go for it. But did you I, actually? But my wife did because I married her. That's well, see, and that's how you make a difference one person at a time. But you never actually gave this pitch to the DMV. No, no, I just no. sit, I like to sit on pitches. Like I have like ideas for things that I could pitch people. So like, with, like, so that I'm ready. Con, right now, all right, the, Dep the California Department of Motor Vehicles is not a struck company. They're not a struck organization. Like the work that you, they're not part of the MPTP. Now is the time to make your pitch to them because you have the time and no one else is pitching to the DMV, this kind well, of thing. So I'm so glad that you mentioned this because this actually speaks to one of the, the ones that I, I've been sitting on for so long. And it's actually the whole reason why I want to do this is because you know how Barry Manilow has written so many jingles for commercials mm -hmm. yeah. that he could be i mean he is an extremely rich guy just because of the jingles never mind right. everything else um is it barry manilow or am i yeah he did it he is did barry manilow, right yeah, yeah. McDonald's, right yeah and uh yeah yeah, yeah. okay farmers bum, bum, yes bum, it is barry manilow yeah yeah, yeah. for a second uh, for a split second i thought I, I i thought i was mixing barry manilow up with uh with barry Gibb. Mm -hmm. uh, forgive me. Uh, mm -hmm. Sure, it happens to him all the time. Um, but what I want to do is I want to come up with a, a, a jingle and I have a jingle, but it's very specific to only one company. Okay. Um, and that company is Visine. Mm -hmm. Now, just hear me out, mm -hmm. Mr. Visine. You already have a great product and you already have a killer slogan. And I just want to augment and build on all of the great work that you and your team, uh, Mr. Visine, have already done. Mm -hmm. Their slogan is it gets the red out. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so what I want to do is I want to do a ode to Bob Seger's Like a Rock mm -hmm. that Chevy does. You know, right. you already know it. You, as soon as mm -hmm. I said it, you hear yeah. it in your, yeah. in, your, in your ear. I want to do an ode to that, but for Visine, uh, and it basically is just the smallest little jingle uh, incorporating the tagline, uh, Visine, it gets the red out, and uh -huh. um, I would I would love to 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 audition it right now. I'm assuming you could send this tape to yeah. Mr. Visine. Yeah, we can yes. clip it, clip it, yeah, whatever. We can ship it. Okay, so uh, uh, just if you could forward this to to Jim Visine, that would be Great. that would be awesome. Yeah, okay. yeah, I can send it to James. Here we go. <laughs> okay. To James, to James. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been so long since I've acted, <laughs> and it really wasn't that good to begin with. Okay, here we go. Vazine, it gets the red out. We have it, Patrick. Good. We have it. We have I it. I think we have it. We have it clean. We have it clean. Awesome. We have it clean. It's we all have it clean. The, the real, the thing I'm most proud of is the, the hard T at the end. Mm-hmm. Out. Right. Out. Out.
And the now I'm just looking to confirm the Visine Corporation. How long have they been around? <laughs> right. That's great. The Visine, George, yeah. George, look up really quick. <laughs> oh, I mean, keep is, them coming, Glee Keep them coming. <laughs> this is great. This is great. Oh. Uh, the uh, now, I believe Visine uh, was introduced in 1958. This is a company mm -hmm. that's been around a little while, but not forever. It's not. They they weren't back in the frontier days. There wasn't. Uh, they didn't have a back in uh, you know the uh, in Tombstone or there wasn't a there wasn't a little shop. Mm -hmm. People weren't um, concerned about bloodshot eyes back then. No, no. no. Uh, Gutshot cowboys, more likely to be a concern. <laughs> life. Yeah, just, mm -hmm. just yeah. not, not uh, getting the pox. Mm -hmm. And they wouldn't say concerned back then. They'd say concerned. That's, that's true. And, uh, and, but I believe, uh, I, I think that song would sell more eye drops, fundamentally. Like, uh, bottom mm -hmm. line, because people are not talking about Visine. I no, guess. in fact, I know a lot of people that d don't like Visine. They prefer Nafcon. And like, I don't want to make a jingle for Nafcon. That's Nafcon cool. sounds like the worst of the of the cons. And it's very, they sting your eyes. It really, Visine doesn't really sting. Visine's just like, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm like super yeah. crying. But yeah. Nafcon like stings. Yeah. I also it's think it's great. It's really also, good. It does a really also, good job. But I also like it when people sort of reclaim, uh, you know, when you take something that has like an unsavory history and then you sort of take ownership of it and reclaim it. Mm -hmm. Because I believe, I believe it was also the the slogan for the the McCarthy hearings, the the House on Un American Activities uh -huh. back in the early 1950s. I thought it was. I think it's inspiring. The Visine was like, no, let's take this phrase and make it stand for something that helps people instead of hurting people. A lot of people in the chat asking if NAFCON is FICOR. Do we know NAFCON, if NAFCON sounds is, is NAFCON FICOR? This is the kind of script writing that an AI would do. Can I just pitch one more thing to you, Mr. Lucas? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Can NAFCON FICOR be the bad robe man that I oh, battle? Sure. Sure. Absolutely. I think uh, uh, dagger? I think Happy Good Boy easily bests uh, NAFCON <laughs> FICOR in a in a head to head bet matchup. Oh, look at this with, with lots of rain, and I we can get we can get uh, Jimmy Visine to just give us like fake yeah. drops. Yes, people yeah. will say, "How did you do the rain uh, in that battle scene?" I say, "It's actually not rain. That was very expensive to film that scene because all <laughs> of all of the rain in the scene was pure Visine, mm -hmm. which is you know it's expensive for a little bottle of it, yeah. and in order to get it to show up on camera, you have to have a ton of it, you know." Big, fat, but the streets look so much better in a movie when you soak them in visine. Better yeah. than better than regular tap water. Oh, it's tap, regular tap water. That's too hard. Yeah, it's way too hard. Um, yeah, I uh, I definitely. And if we get some fan art of of uh, of Happy Good Boy uh, fighting Nafcon Ficor, mm -hmm. please try to remember to make it look like it's not from any uh, known IP that we could be promoting. Yeah. So. Whatever you have for the fan art, just take it a few few steps away. Uh, so just that take the time. Mm -hmm. take just the give time. yourself a little bit more time. Buy yourself you time. Yeah, yeah. Colin, I gotta ask, what's in that case behind you on the ground? Uh, oh, uh, that's just an empty guitar case. Great. Who stole your guitar, Colin? <laughs> uh, no one has stolen my guitar. That um, is actually a, uh, it was like a time capsule. It was a, a bass guitar that I had not uh, seen in about 15 years. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, and I just got it back. And uh, I don't know if you can see like the dust. Yeah. Crazy amount of dust. Oh yeah, that's really oh a lot. That's so much. It's that's so much. And and as we said, really for it to show up on camera like that, it's even more dust than we think it is. It's real dust. Yeah. It's not fake yeah. dust. And so, why why were you separated from this for so many years, decade and a half? Uh, I uh, so um, one of my uh, one of my uncles is a musician, and mm -hmm. 
uh, I would, uh, I collect guitars and I play bass and I have instruments and, and whenever I would be moving around uh, a bunch, like moving houses when I was younger, he would hold on to all my gear for me. Um, and so he finally cleared out uh, a storage unit and he gave me a bunch of gear that he had been, uh, been sitting on. Um, so I'm, I got that bass, which is actually a fabulous uh, bass guitar. Um, but then he also gave me like a huge uh, cabinet that I played out of um, back when I used to do that. And uh, yeah, so now I've got a gigantic uh, bass, bass <laughs> cabinet uh, 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 and I have no use for it. <laughs> the, uh, what do you think is going to happen to it? Do you think it's just going to sit there? It's going to sit there until uh, my wife says, no, seriously, you must get that out of here. And where do you think it will go then? We could speed this up. I'm really hoping that uh, my uncle has got a new storage unit. Sure. Wow. Well, rebellions were built on hope. <laughs> rebellions. It, some, some would say that is, is, well, it's not a new hope, but mm -hmm. it's, it's it one. Is, of them. I mean, it's new to me. I didn't know you were hoping for this. That's true. It's new to you. That yeah. Is, so technically, that is uh, that is a, a new hope. What's something? This makes me think. Because if you were to deal with it tonight, like get it out of there, would your wife be impressed? Like I didn't even have to ask him; he just did it. Uh, you, you, mm, I think she would only have been impressed if it was in a space where she actually has to see it more. I think it's because this yeah. is my office. It's kind right. of. It's 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 hidden in plain sight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I was hoping um, we could really help you out. You know, like I make know. you a hero I for a day. That. Yeah. I appreciate that. Maybe maybe can we just like along with the base? Uh, can we just like delete that in post for this? Is Absolutely, that Patrick. Is that easy to erase? Yeah. Sure. Great. I'm gonna want you to blur the posters in the first hour of this. Can you do that? I mean, it'll look bad, but yeah, sure. No, I want it to look good, Patrick. You didn't understand what I was asking. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was my fault. I, I should have communicated more clearly. I want it to look fantastic. Uh, I mean, you have a, uh, Patrick, you have a wonderful uh, background because of all your physical media. And nobody can see what they are, though, which is great. Yeah, that's why it's so, that's what I like about it. Yeah. Is it just you you show off that you have a lot, but we don't yeah. know if it's good stuff? Yeah. It's not Can I show you guys something that you can't that is just next to mm -hmm. my uh my uh my desk but you you actually can't see? Sure. Yeah. Cuz this is the one that my wife really wants me to get rid of and you'll know exactly why. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, because it's not Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's That's not... a holiday lamp and a it's major wild. award. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, it's it's a holiday a, a lamp. I don't I don't have many awards. Um, but yeah, now, that, uh, we normally put that in like a, a, one of our windows at mm -hmm. Christmas time. Uh, but the place that I've been storing it in the garage, we had to uh, put it, it got replaced. And so I've just put it in my office. And yeah. that that is the thing that I think my wife would be like, yes, thank you. I can't believe you got rid of that without me having to tell you. And what are the, uh, but you don't want to get rid of it. Weirdly, it gives really good light. Uh, oh, when, this, is, this is like saying you read it the, for the articles. <laughs> well no like uh right now i've got the harsh overhead lights because yeah. you know, i wanted you guys to be able to can we can we see what the light is when it's just the leg light uh yeah sure hold on uh pause for mood lighting absolutely I tell everyone else we only have six large glts posters left let me show you one more time while we're here okay or, oh wow look at that Hold on. Okay. So that's when ju that's just the leg. Yeah, it's just the leg. That is just the shade. Uh huh. 
And that is the leg and the shade. And the shade. That's a nice amount of light because it's not too bright. It's not going to hurt yeah. your eyes. It's, this is really warm. It's a little bit warmer, right? It's yeah. nice. I, and you've got, cabin. and you've got an interesting, because the, the light outside now kind of has a cold quality mm -hmm. uh, to it. You know what I mean? That the outside sort of has this, the, these cold blue green. Uh, uh, it's a nice contrast. Makes your the light that's that you're basking in looks particularly warm. I you like could, this look. Your, I was gonna. You could do uh, all of this in in post, but I'm. Oh yeah, you can fix all of it. Just, yeah. yeah. But I here I was gonna like see if we can make you a household hero by having you get rid of that lamp. <laughs> but I I have to say you really won me over with uh. The functionality. I'm of glad it. I was finally able to get a part from you. Finally, this is this is a big day for me. The role of the of the husband who is right about the lamp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we never learn his name in this <laughs> particular story. We never learn. We never learn his name. We just know what he's all about. Is that is that because we can't like publicize? Like why can't no, we? No, I would. I, I would. No, no. This is something because I'm not selling this to a streamer or anything. This is just an independent oh, okay. story notion. That's yeah. that's. Uh, this popping is just into one for one of your experimental. Yeah, this is experimental. That's the reason we're not going to find out his name. It's, it's more. Just You're just throwing stuff at the wall, seeing what sticks here. We start out telling with this story where we're clearly not on your side. We're thinking, why does he have this lamp? He should just get rid of it. And then we see the demonstration. Of um, of how well the lamp works. Um, like, forget this late guy. <laughs> he showed up late. This late guy. This late guy. We find out this late guy is a lamp guy. We like bring him even less. Bring me on, Mr. Lucas. Yeah. The late guy shows up, and everyone's like, "Boo, hiss." That's our uh, villain. By the end of the project. Mm-hmm. You see the late guy in a new light. Oh, oh, well, hold on. That's so good. I almost passed out. That's so good. That is such I a good. We, we see him in a new light. Wow. And that might be the title of the film, A New Light. Because the double meaning is there that we first we think it's that, oh, it's just a literal reference to this lamp. It's actually the, the way that we view our our what begins as our anti-hero. We think, oh, this guy this is a guy we love to hate this guy. So at mm -hmm. the end, it's like, no, we love to love him. We respect him for his ideas. Uh, he suffered. He, he this, suffered in your IMDb. This in <laughs> just because someone like suggested it. it. Uh-huh. Right. Now I'm the leg guy. This is oh. great. Now, Colin, the, you said you said you don't have a lot of awards, but I Google Colin Hanks Awards and I see Young Hollywood Award for One to Watch Male 2002. Is that true? That is true, okay. although <laughs> that is true. Um, but what was uh, when I went to accept the award, <laughs> the person that was giving it to me was saying what the next project that I was going to be in. Uh -huh. And it was a project that did not actually exist. It was, <laughs> I had never heard of it before. And it was, it was literally, it, it had a title. It said, he will next be seen in space uh, skirmishes. Uh -huh. The tale of a Robin uh, fighting uh, the evil NAFCON uh, yeah. FICO. Um, it was literally like the full thing. And uh, when I went up, they actually wanted me to like say something, which I thought was very weird. Right. Um, well, so if you I see said, something, well, say I, something. I said, thank you very much for this one to watch award. I, I hate to inform you of this, but you will not be able to watch me in uh -huh. that project that was mentioned because that actually doesn't exist. I have no idea where that came from. And that was how I learned um to uh, never believe anything you see on IMDb. Wow! I'm going to put a challenge out. I don't know if I don't know if if the Georgie Porgies in the chat. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh no! Holy shit! Oh, Holy shit! God. Holy shit! I'm oh, sorry. Holy God, shit! No! Oh my God!
What was this? Was this before or after you bought Tesla? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, this, is, this is you winning one to watch. <laughs> I'm going to put a challenge out to the Georgie Porgies. I don't know if anyone will be fast enough to be able to do this, no but I want a little, an, I want a little, anim, I want a little animated GIF. You can use that photo, um, and I want you to set it to the um, that song from Greece. But I want the lyric to be, "You're the one that I watch. You are the one I watch. Who, who, who?" And I, that's all I want is a little animated thing with that photo and oh. scooting past, getting the award going off. And I want, yeah. and and what the yeah. time right now? It's forty five minutes past the hour, fifteen minutes till the hour. My mm -hmm. challenge is: is that possible within fifteen minutes? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Oh, I found God. another one. This oh. one is it, this one is it's it's good, but you look fine. It's not one to be nervous about. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think that last one was one to be nervous about. I've never seen a more powerful picture of a young person. <laughs> look at this! It's a group hanging out with the rewards. Oh my God! What? Look at what is going on! Oh my goodness! What is going on? You and what look at the doing? attitude there. <laughs> like, what do you think you were thinking there, Colin? I, well, clearly, I'm too hot, uh, <laughs> and I'm not thinking at all about you know double chins or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. And and that's the box that the the award comes in that purple box. That yes, interesting. Interesting how everybody has a different way of holding the award. In that photo, I, who else was it? So that was Mila Kunis, Mila, Evan Rachel Wood, Evan Rachel Wood, uh, Evan, Gregory, oh, Evan Rachel Wood, Gregory Smith. Is what it says. Gregory Smith. Yeah. You're the only one who chose to use the box to rest your arm as an arm. You're like, Ugh, just oh, set Gregory. my arm down on a comfortable box. Gregory yeah, Smith. Notice how everyone else, everyone else, everyone else is um, an Everwood. That's what Gregory was saying. Oh, okay. Notice how everyone else is a normal skin tone, but I'm uh -huh. clearly very hot in my horribly baggy leather jacket. <laughs> yeah. The, the now, do you do you, you, uh, sell, do you remember oh, no. owning that jacket? He's finding the award. I do remember owning that jacket. He's got the award. I hope so. Oh my gosh! There it is. <laughs> I am oh, so no, thrilled. No. I so wanted to get rid of this. No, I really did. Because I recently cleaned out my office. And but it's I from mo movie, this, movie phone? And my, what? What does it say on this? This is Movie Line. <laughs> movie Line. Young Hollywood Awards 02. Oh. One to watch. Presented by... Ch Cheriel? Oh. Colin Hanks. Um, wow! I'll, I wanted to get rid of this because it's just a little plasticky. Thing. I'm so glad you didn't. It's an honor because here's the thing: they were right. They were right. Mm -hmm. You were one to watch, and people are still watching. It's true. Decades later, it. and, and my wife wouldn't let me get rid of it. So no, she was. She, you know, you were. Here's the thing: I don't think. I think this one, your wife's going to win. Hands down, I don't think there's a single person watching the stream right now that isn't thrilled that that award got to make a little cameo here. It is true. I mean, you kept it for this moment. This was the reason why you kept it right now. I'm glad nothing else in that photo was kept. <laughs> you don't have a leather jacket. Do you have a similar jacket? What's the closest to that jacket you have? <laughs> the, this is true. The only reason why I was wearing that jacket is because uh, it was like a freebie. Someone said, here, you can have sure. this this leather jacket Three. so i wore it i think i think i wore it to another event i think i wore it to um an mtv movie awards <laughs> and i, I see patrick's arms immediately go into like give me one I bet second you you could find a photo 
Uh -huh. And Patrick, I'll, not, I'll ask. This is not the kind of time travel I thought I would be doing with George Lucas. There it is. <laughs> yeah, that's the movie yeah. awards. Still got the uh, weird, uh, like, I'm still sticking my chin in my neck for in some this strange reason. In this photo, the vibe is very much that this is perhaps the part in Sprockets where you dance. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This was uh, actually, I have, I have a funny story about this. So I was asked to go to the MTV Movie Awards because I was nominated for Orange County. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they said, look, um, they really want you to go um and th they know who wins mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. but they don't they they don't want to tell you and i sure. said what do you mean they don't want to tell me and they said we well they they don't want to tell you be in case you don't win uh then you won't go oh, sure. and i said well i have to anyways because this was to uh this was all because of the MTV, the movie that I did that MTV um, released, which is the other movie that I did with Jack Black, not the monkey one, but mm -hmm. um, the other one that was also the a name of a TV show. Um, anyways, yeah. so none of that is important. Jack was hosting, so I was going to be going anyways. Mm -hmm. um, Oh my God, he won it too. Uh -huh. <laughs> he won one as well. Patrick, check, check your tax. Check your tax. He may have gotten the part, but we both got the award. Yeah. Um, anyways, forgive me. I, I went on a weird tangent. Anyways, I, I, I showed up anyways, even though I knew that I was going to lose. I said, just tell me, I, it's, I don't want to sit there wondering, just tell me I'm going anyways because I want to see Jack and support the movie and all that sort of stuff, which I wouldn't be doing now because we're on strike. Mm -hmm. And I, as I was sitting, I was sitting next to your good friend, uh, Ewan McGregor. Mm -hmm. And I was really blown away by uh, how much makeup he was wearing. And I was like, why is he doing that? And if you look back in the photos of me, I look incredibly red. That's why he <laughs> was wearing, so that you don't look like that, like right. this idiot. But I was sitting next to, so Ewan McGregor was on this side and I was sitting next to um, a seat filler. And for those of you who do not know, at award shows, they literally hire people to sit in empty chairs, empty seats to make it look full, right? Mm -hmm. So if someone goes up to go to the bathroom, then someone sits in their place. So that's why like all of a sudden there's like, you know, Morgan Freeman is sitting next to uh, 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 Steven Spielberg. And then all of a sudden some rando is sitting in Morgan Freeman's chair. He's a seat filler. Um, yeah. So I was sitting next to a seat filler, but because it's the MTV Movie Awards, it, she, she never left. She was just kind of there. <laughs> um, she didn't like buy a ticket or win any, you know, on a, a radio contest. That was just like, I'm like, what do you, she, she was talking to me and I was talking to her. And uh, uh, I said, what are you, what are you, are you, where, why are you here? And she goes, oh, I'm just, I'm a seat filler, but you know, they, they just told me to sit down. Anyways, she spent the entire show saying so what do you like very like so what do you do are you are, are you famous are you an like are you an actor and i go no i'm not famous they're like oh, do you, are you like who are you like you gotta you have to be somebody you're sitting next to you and mcgregor and i was just like no no uh -huh. and then um and then when i lost the award to the late uh paul walker she said oh oh you are an actor uh, and I went, yeah. She goes, huh? Oh. And then she didn't talk to me for the whole rest <laughs> of the show. <laughs> didn't talk to me the whole rest of the show. Oh, uh, oh, that's another jacket. Me. Yeah, that's me in your jacket. Oh, that's amazing. That's a good uh, picture, George. That's a good jacket. It's yeah. a good one. Yeah, you know, you, 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 as long as it's a warm choice, you know. 
Yeah. Like, but it's a, it, you always look cool. Like you always, I, I think, don't you feel like when you see yourself in a leather jacket, like look, that's a cool guy. I don't know if I thought that when I wore that horrible leather jacket, mm -hmm. but. Well, I thought you looked pretty cool. It was the early aughts. It was a very weird time. Patrick, did you get the other one? I did get the other one. Hang on one sec. I'll bring it up. Yeah. There's, the, a, there's a second George jacket photo. Uh, I, I, do, I, I do think the phrase. <laughs> there he is. There, there. But look, I'm doing the same. I'm rocking the leather jacket and jeans. Look, hand in the pocket, same way you had hand in pocket. Yeah. There's a lot going on in that. There's photo. so much going on. George, I don't know who that is next to you. Yeah, you well, you weren't there. Arm around George. <laughs> yeah, you weren't there. That's why that's a good friend at the cool. time. Okay, all right. Yeah, I've lived a full life, Patrick. I know. It's just I, I met you so far into it. I know. Um, that dude I likes think, to go fast. I do think the phrase "Oh, oh, you are an actor" sounds like uh, sounds like a very uh, sad children's book. <laughs> well, it was funny because she just said, "You know, are you an actor? Are you famous?" And then she just went, oh, you are an actor. But yeah. it was, it's like she, it's like she didn't what was left unsaid was quite obvious. Yeah. She was yes. disappointed. Uh, someone she, did send in some take happy, this away from me. happy good boy uh, concept art. Well, would you? Um, oh, a Robeman. Well, I'm yeah. like, are you kidding me? Yeah. You drew this this quickly. Mike Lowndes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about how we spell it. Oh my god! <laughs> That's wow. right. Um, and are you checking to see has anyone uh, done that little? Uh... Oh, there's a few. There's a few things here uh, that people have submitted. Here you go. Here we go. Oh it's my over. God. It's over. Nafcon. I've got the red out. Oh! My... <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> are you kidding me, Lauren? Lauren Damon over here. Oh, the best. Lauren. You, the best you Picasso. You look at that. <laughs> I do like Nafcon's little friend over there. Is that Nafcon's like? Uh, Is that did, Mac, did they have a Mac and me? It does look like Mac. Uh, he is a cute little guy, though. Whoever he is, so funny. Um, yeah, I. I mean, that makes me want to uh, buy some eye drops. I'll tell you what. I think it. W I think it would be a great hit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I feel like uh, even though it's a very uh, um, confusing time to be in an already pretty confusing industry, mm -hmm. big changes, big. It feels like everybody, because like regardless of of what the specifics of the outcome are, I it feels like <clears throat> sweeping changes are going to happen, and. Gotcha. Uh, and I hope I, I I'm hopeful that there'll be changes for the best because it does seem, from my point of view, that there's some very logical outcomes that everyone benefits from. You know, it's a very without mentioning names, it's a very big time for movies. We're having a big time for summer movies. The the, the things that are happening now are sort of like proof of the value of uh, these stories that people. The, the the if you look at the recent box office and the variety of stories that are people are going out to the movies to see. Uh, it's just a testament to the power of human storytelling. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I do, I do hope that uh, someone will be able to figure something out soon. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm going to be distracted for the next month doing things in um, very good toy. <laughs> it actually has the name in there. Amazing. Uh -huh. Amazing. <laughs> The uh, I mean, we're going to be off in another land for um, yeah. for the next month, and it's going to be very. Uh, I'm already pre exhausted at the I'm thought of it. Yeah, it's well, you it's know? a long, it's a long flight. I do feel yeah. like you'll like this, Colin. A guy named Steve Dressler made this for us to promo the show that we're doing next month. Yeah, and uh, this is what we're selling for people. But isn't that amazing? And look, yeah. people, if you're watching. If you donate $35, we will sign this and mail this to you. Uh, just send it to the PayPal, and I will get it off that to you. That is incredible. Isn't that That's amazing? Incredible. Wow. It's so cool. Wow. Yeah. Uh, How good are you at memorizing lines, Colin? 
Uh, not that great, um, but it is a muscle. So yeah. it, you know, it, it takes me a while to sort of get in the rhythm of being able to do it. But uh, once you've been doing it for a while, it, it becomes a little bit easier. But it is, it, it is a, a muscle memory. It, it, does take, uh, it does take time. Have you ever gotten uh, sides for a thing and really panicked at how much they'd written for you that you had to learn in a short period of time? Uh, we, no, nothing too bad. There, there was one time I went, I was going to go do like a web series and I showed up on set and the script that they had given me was totally different mm -hmm. from what they were shooting and had right. been shooting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was, that was a little weird, but luckily I, I actually I don't think I had any lines to be quite honest, or if I did, they were very, you know, like one word things. So yeah, um, that's as close to, uh, to that as, I, as I've, I've gotten. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's a, uh, it's a mixed blessing because it's, you know, you want to have a lot of lines, but then when you get a lot of lines, they go, yeah, there's a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, I remember one of the first lessons I, I learned, um, what you know i was on a tv show where i was you know the guy that pretty much just reiterated everything to the audience you know like you're you mean we're gonna fight the fbi you know i was just sort of doing those kinds of lines mm -hmm. and there was i was also like the the tech dude so i would like be saying like oh yeah we're gonna do you know this there's a term for it. it's like you know te technical yeah. blabble yeah. Yeah, and I remember having a really hard time trying to say this one little bit of, of techno blabble and uh, a very sweet script supervisor said, um, if I could just give you a little advice, I said, yes, please. And she said, um, you're the way you're saying it. I know that you're trying to make it uh, understandable for the person that you're explaining it to, but really like on star trek they just oh the other show i'm not publicizing it so i can no. say it, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 on star trek they just say it as quickly as possible so that it just sounds like you know what you're talking about and if you just do it like that it'll, yeah. it it actually is better than if you're trying to like act you know sure. act the dialogue yeah. and she yeah. is absolutely right so in a way faster yeah and more intense was, was better. Mm -hmm. It's always the right note. It's always the right note. Unless you, I mean, I was going to say, unless you do a turtle movie, but hypothetically, uh, you could do a turtle movie that was very fast paced. And not that there is one. Not that, no, there isn't one. <laughs> there might be, I don't know. Uh, uh, but this yeah, wasn't, I wasn't saying that to promote anything. I'm just saying I was using turtle movie as, a, as an example. Cause I, cause they go the flush. first thing on my mind was that a turtle mo movie would be very slow. I yeah. thought, wait, there are turtle movies. Sometimes they are fast. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's actually, just to avoid any confusion and just make it really easy, let's just refer to it as a tortoise film. Tortoise film. <laughs> That's right. Because there well, are no tortoise films out not there. I, no. I, I don't even think there's any in development. No. To be honest. Not, not which, yet. Not yet. Which, but someone's going to come up with a drawing of a tortoise film in about... Mm, <laughs> Five minutes. It definitely could happen. Uh, uh, George, we did get another piece of fan art, but it takes a little bit of explanation to call okay. in. All Do right. you mind explaining uh, your favorite Norman Rockwell piece? Oh, yeah. Uh, my favorite Norman Rockwell? Yeah. Okay, so I'm a, as I showed with my book before, I'm a big fan of Norman Rockwell. Yes. Um, and I own a lot of Norman Rockwell art. I've original. seen some of them at Skywalker Ranch. Yeah. yeah. And one of my favorites uh, was a, is a piece called Butter Boy. And Butter Boy, uh, as you can see, he's got a, a utensil. He's dressed up in a suit. He's got a block of butter, and he spreads some butter. Or he's either spread some butter, or um, or maybe the b b butter was spread by someone else. But he's very he seems happy about it. He has one piece has no butter on the side that we can see. So he's yeah. Butter Boy. This is the point of the show. Someone said we're excited that this is the point of the show. Okay. And sometimes it, it, when we hit this point, it's there's no going back from it. You know? I love that these are all plates. Yes. 
This is Butter Girl. In these paintings. As far as we can tell, these were created specifically for plates. I can't believe it's not butter. Yes. Well, look at look at her method is pure chaos. (laughs) I mean, that is a lot. That is there's only one set of people that put that much butter on on bread. Even like are the French. To put a block, a full block of butter, and then not even attempt to spread it. Just go right to block number two. This one this tablespoon, illusion, not enough. Collision force waiting to happen. D- mm-hmm. Tablespoons of, of butter. So is that enough context? That's enough context. Colin, I also do want to say this show specifically caused the price of Butter Boy and Butter Girl plates on eBay to go up because so many of them were selling. So I the people on eBay were like, well, we need to raise the prices, I guess. There are that many plates of Butter yeah. Boy and Butter Girl? Yeah. Well, I believe they were limited anyway. edition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I'm new. Uh-huh. I so appreciate this. I, <laughs> I really... That it's, is... almost like, it's almost like getting a second award. Can I tell you something? That's yeah. better than the photo. That's better. Can I, I tell you something? Better as Butter Boy in there than that's that is such a vast improvement from that photo of me. My God! Not, not only is it better, Colin, it's butter. It's butter. <laughs> it's butter, baby. Um, what a and 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 what a what a glorious work of art. I if I wish Norman Rockwell could have seen what happened <laughs> to that painting. He would have been uh, very confused as to why his work is on plates. Yeah. And that is the, the, the way human art works. Like, if you're not going to find an AI that you could tell, give me a Colin Hanks late 90s award with a Norman Rockwell Butterboy flair. You're going to have to be prompt jockeying that machine for a week to get something that good. <laughs> oh, man. Because uh, and we, we already are, know what's going to happen the next episode of your show. <laughs> we will you're not. Coming ba- you're coming back with the leather you jacket. No, no, I'm not. But you better <laughs> not show it. You better not show. You better not show it. But someone we will not. It to you. Someone we will is not. It to you. We will not be feeding those images into any AI generators. We at the George Lucas Talk Show withhold permission. Mm-hmm. We withhold permission for them to feed on that art. Yes. When they, you, back when I was on social media, you know, when they would have those crazes where you would like put a picture of you into this website and then it'll show you what you look like when you're older. Yeah. Yes. I remember someone asking me like, you know, oh, well, you, you should do it. And I'm like, why? It's just going to tell me I look like my dad. I already know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> uh, but they're like, oh, and I'm like, no, I just like you're just putting your face into a computer AI machine, and it'd be yeah. like, oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's not gonna is be that, fine when they all nice? become butter boy. It is nice that you don't have to do it though, because you're like, I, I, I know what it's generally gonna look like, you know. Um, I know what it's gonna look. Like. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Except I'm younger and much better uh, looking. <laughs> That's a win. It's a win. Um, yeah, you're going to get some AI, uh, butter boys. Well, they can keep their AI. The only AI I'm interested in featuring on this show is the, the movie that my buddy Steve made many decades ago. Mm -hmm. And I won't feature it during the strike because that would be promoting it. Mm -hmm. Rest (laughs) in peace, Stanley Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick. It was just his birthday the other day. Not rest in peace, happy good boy. Unbelievable. Happy yeah. good boy. Really, this looks like if you had a feature in like the New Yorker about this character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. The Robeman. The good oh. Robeman. My That's goodness. So My so goodness. Um, Guys, I'll stay for another hour because I was so late. You stay however long you want to stay. stay. However long you want. Now, we do have a short film that we're going to be premiering tonight. Oh yeah, uh, really? it's, it's only a few minutes long. It's only like two, three minutes long. Let, um, me, let me show these posters yeah. again, George, and then we can show the short film. Okay. Yeah. So as a reminder to everyone, 
We have two posters that we're selling. I, uh, hang on, Dave, are we out? Are we out of the big posters, Dave? Uh, we have two Wait, left. Who the fuck is Jersey Dave? What the uh, fuck? Uh, we're freaking out. Who, who are you? <laughs> My name's Dave, and I live in Jersey. Hey, Dave. That's all you need to know. Where have you been? Uh, I've been behind the scenes pulling levers <laughs> and counting posters. <laughs> Man, you are quiet. <laughs> yeah, the mic was on the whole time. I just didn't wow. say that. <laughs> I didn't even think that that would be a jump scare. That wasn't the purpose. That I mean, we so haven't scary. met each other yeah. yet. Yeah, so. that was so scary. And there wasn't even any music telling me how to feel. Which mm, is really shows not at all. No um, intro, no, just no, all of a sudden, three, three people warm, became four people. people. Yeah. Uh, so, Dave, do we have any more left? What did you say? Uh, yeah, we have two of the large posters left. That is we, it. We still have the um, Baron and the Junk Dealer. We have a bunch of those, so those will be there throughout the entirety of the night. But this one can only – there's only two left. So if you want it, hurry up. Look at that. And if you donate $50 to the PayPal, we will ship them out probably in September when I'm back. Um, mm -hmm. If you donate $35, you will get this. We will all sign it, and you will get it in September when we come back. Um, got some more of these. So if 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 you would like to donate any money, we would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you want to donate five dollars or two dollars or ten dollars, that's also great and that rules. It's all very helpful. Thank now, you. Now, Colin, Colin, are you wondering now how many other people could be hiding? Yes, in this scene? yes, I am, Mr. Lucas. Uh, now, Patrick, I'll ask you: Is there anybody else hiding in the in the? digital green room now i'm not seeing anyone in the green room that doesn't mean there's not someone in one of the rooms that you or i are in though is that what you're setting up no no uh oh i thought you had a friend you were going to introduce or something no i don't have it no oh, okay. uh, i'm just genuinely asking because you I, I don't look in the uh in the green room yeah yeah no that's it does jersey dave um what happened during his skirmish with uh with mike over this over the the sandwiches Oh, I mean, you can question. ask him yourself. Great question. Did you and Mike ever resolve your your quarrels? Uh, that guy took everything from me. That is such a that's so. Yeah, do you have Mike's way? Who do you think taught him the way? You know, if Dan knew, he wouldn't be on all of those commercials. Yeah, Danny DeVito's hawking subs for him. Danny, you have no idea the guy. It's the camera that me. That's so. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. You're doing fine, though, Dave. I'm doing pretty well. You're doing pretty well, <laughs> Dave. Do you have any creatures? Any creations? I do. I've got. I have. Uh, I have some friends. Um, yeah. Colin. This is a whole other thing, but I, I make. I, I mean, make little I... friends, and we auction them off. Uh, usually for charity. This time for. For poverty. <laughs> yeah, for a, a, a play. Let's auction, let's auction off a friend, and then we'll show the short film, Dave. Sounds great. Uh, Jer okay. Jersey, is it, it, he is a very uh, handy and capable uh, artiste. Mm -hmm. uh, and he likes to sort of mash up different uh, characters to make new characters. For example, this is uh, O Behave Kenobi. It's it's okay. an Alec Guinness Obi Wan head on an Austin yeah. Powers yeah. action figure yeah. body. Yeah, yes. Yeah. One uh, of one of the greats. Here we go. So uh, we all know Anakin Skywalker's mother. Yes. Shmi. 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 S H M I. Yes. Shmi Skywalker. Well, I got some Smi Skywalkers. <laughs> I was just. I was. I was going to say it. Now, do, now, are these coming as a pair? Or are these coming separate, Dave? What is the thought? I was thinking that I would only sell only sell this one because yeah. the craftsmanship on this one, it, you can see when I drilled it, I made a little, uh, like I actually had, had to drill the, the bottom of it like that. Sure. And I and I cut through it and it's uh, it's an embarrassment to to what, I, you know, who I am. But okay. um, I mean, I'm willing to part with it. I just don't, it's just not up to the quality. Sure. I'm usually. Quality and, but this, is important. This so little man. Let's start the bidding. Let's say twenty bucks, Dave. Right? Yeah, let's say twenty bucks. Twenty bucks for SME. For SME. And if you're interested, put it in the chat. Skywalker. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play this short film while the auction is going, just so we can combine these two. Oh, and we're already up to fifty we bucks, got, Dave. We got a fifty. We're already at fifty. Cool. 
Oh, Dave, good news. We're already at 75 bucks, Dave. That's great. Um, uh, so- I'll give a little context for this film before we show it, because this is a world yeah. premiere. Yeah. Um, so there's this play we're going to do uh, in Edinburgh called The Baron and the Junk Dealer. Completely original. It's a George Lucas talk show original play. Um, it's not connected to any uh, existing IP. It's just George and Watto are going to do a serious piece of uh, theater. Mm-hmm. And I started doing some... Uh, doodling some comic strips inspired by the play. It's basically about this baron and this junk dealer who uh, they're both fugitives and they're, they, they each buy secret passage on a massive spacecraft, a cargo ship. They're both on the run for different reasons. Ship uh, malfunctions, crashes on the planet, and they are the only two survivors. And the play is about what happens next. And so the comic strip was sort of without spoiling anything from what happens in the play was sort of set in the world of the premise. And then an animator named Jay Mark said, Hey, uh, you want me to animate some of these? So uh, he very quickly and uh, very capably uh, started animating some of these things. And we made a little uh, three minute short film. Uh, And we're going to play it now as a little reward for everyone who's been uh, donating and helping out the play. This is just a, uh, a fun little uh, animated cartoon. Stranded on a desolate planet, all alone. I am also here. Blah, I am stranded on a desolate planet with someone else. I never imagined I would find myself stranded on a desolate planet. Maybe I'm just not a very imaginative person. Oh wow, there it is. How is it that a sunset can be so beautiful and also completely boring. Hey, Baron. Do you think we will ever be rescued? Gee, I hope so. Or are we going to die here? I don't want to die. I guess there is no way to know the future. All we can really do is study the past. You're right. And in the past, we were never rescued from this planet. Nope. Eh, but also in the past, we never died here either. This is true. Dying here would be an unprecedented event for either of us. Maybe we will live here forever. Maybe we will. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Look at that. And um, uh, it came together very, very quickly. Yeah. How long did uh, how it was like 10 minutes? I mean, I uh, close to it, not close to it, because I put those uh, comics online in June and uh, Jay contacted me, I think, at the end of June. And uh, and it's been done for a few weeks. So oh it's, not, it's pretty small. Time wow. stamp. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, um, and uh, so, we, yeah. say we, we yeah. are all sold out of the big posters. All sold out. 
And we are currently at $85 for, for SME. Uh, plausible deniability T has it. If someone wants to go higher, they can. And maybe we'll end it in about a minute. There Very good. Um, Amazing. Have you ever been part of a festival, Colin, like a theater festival? Was that ever cool or anything? Uh, theater festival? No. I mean, I would do Sketch Fest up in San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been a while, but yeah, I've never really done any um, like fringe festivals or anything like that. What is your advice for George? Because he's got to do how many shows? 20... 30. 30? 30 shows? Yeah. Between the 20... talk show, the one-man improv show, and the play. 30 shows in the next month. Wow. Well, the, the improv shows we'll just be pulling from the improv I did on the motion capture studio. So it, for everyone in the room, it'll look like I'm there. It'll feel yeah. like I'm there, but I won't need to worry about my voice because it's yeah. all in the, it's all the, that's just the data is already there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Um, throat lozenges for sure. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to do that. Uh, I would do uh, some stretches mm -hmm. uh, just so, you know, you don't know, pull a hammy mid performance. Mm -hmm. um, don't want to do that. Yeah. Everybody knows that's that's just death to uh, performers. Um, maybe carbo load just a little bit. Make sure you get your carbs in. Give you some energy. Um, potatoes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's about it. All right. Did you ever, you when, you were, when you were on Broadway, did were there ever any flubs? Any goofs? Anyone ever miss a cue? Uh, yeah. Um, I was doing a play called This Is Our Youth. Mm -hmm. uh, with, that's uh, Kenneth Lonergan? Kenneth mm -hmm. Lonergan, yeah. And I was doing it with Kieran Culkin. Mm -hmm. And the very beginning of the play, I'm talking like page four, his character is supposed to say that he has a little weed in his pocket. Mm -hmm. And he had told the prop uh, master not to tell him which pocket mm -hmm. the weed was in so that he could like discover it. Yeah. And one performance, uh, the prop master put it in a pocket in the back that Kieran didn't know about and would have never like would have never put anything there. Mm -hmm. And so he said like, Oh, I have this character's like, Oh, I have, I have some weed. And then he like went to do it. And then he said, Oh wait, no, I don't. And we have about five more pages of dialogue all about that weed and me rolling it and it being good and us, you know, smoking it and, and yeah. like, a whole thing that then was just not like <laughs> part of the show. Uh, and it was, this was literally like the beginning of the show. Um, and somehow we were able to, to do it. I don't really remember. I really don't remember what I kind of blacked out. Uh, oh yeah, there we are. Now, Colin, um, do you know who was originally in the role that you played this on the West End? I know who I took over for the original. Yeah. Hayden Christensen. That's right. Hayden Christensen played Dennis and then uh, Matt Damon. And I yeah. took over for, uh, I took over for Matt. And then Chris Klein. And then Chris Klein uh, took over for me. That's right. Look at that. Um, but yeah, that was like literally the beginning of the show. So I don't really have much memory of, of, of that show. I just remember waiting for intermission and I just looked at Karen and I just went, know where it is next time. <laughs> just yes. act like you know where it is. And uh, and he did. Now I, I saw Karen, I saw Karen in the revival playing the part that you played. Oh yeah, with uh, with Michael Sarah. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they did, they did that in uh, in Australia and then they brought it to New York. I yeah. and I was bummed. I really wanted to see it because uh, Kieran's a fabulous dentist. Yeah, it was very fun. It was very good. Someone uh, also Red Hawk Way made this. This is Colin yelling at George. 
Uh, hey, George, slow is the new sexy. It was safe is the new sexy, but oh, I no. will accept slow. I will accept slow. <laughs> I will accept slow. <laughs> amazing. That is amazing. If the DMV starts encouraging slow driving. <laughs> slow is, uh, yeah, you slow jam it. You know, you don't want to yeah. be quick. Drive yeah. slow. You want to take your time. <laughs> hey. This is the DMV telling you to drive slow. Yeah, that's why they they certainly drive slow. No. Snail's pace. You ever gotten a speeding ticket? Uh, yes, I have gotten a speeding ticket. Even though you're a safe driver? Even though I was a safe driver. Although, to be honest, it was really unfair. I had was driving back from Texas. I have a story for everything, guys. I was I coming it. back from Texas... And I had stopped and I had eaten lunch and I got back on the highway. And as I was basically getting on the highway, I was just trying to speed to like catch up with the flow of traffic. And then, yeah. whoop, whoop, and then I got pulled over and he's like, do you have any idea how fast you were going? And I go, no, sir. I literally just got back out onto the highway. Yeah. And uh, he, he was like, well, that seems unfair. That feels like, yeah. And then I had to like call the judge. Like they, he was. They were like, "This judge is a stickler. You're going to have to call them and really apologize." And, and I had to, like, a few months later, call some judge in some part of Texas. You you threw yourself at the mercy of the court. Well, I can't drive 55. Sure, you can. But who can? You who can? Me and uh, Sammy Hagar. That's for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. You're, you're safe as a safe as a new sexy campaign. <laughs> the great thing about this is you started out regionally, you started out in your home state, you started out in California, you started yeah. out in a place that, that you know, a place that knows you. Yeah. But then you got 49 other states, uh, plus the territories that all have DMVs that all mm -hmm. want want safety. They all want people to be safer. True. This thing could spread so quickly. If it works in California, it can work everywhere else. And, you know, the, the public service, uh, that's an area of show business we could talk about. I mean, are there any residuals? I don't think so. Because uh, remember Dick Van Dyke used to do the um, fire safety uh, mm -hmm. commercials where he'd say uh, he'd have, like, as a matter of fact, Patrick, see if yeah. you can find one on YouTube. There's the one where... He has like decals on himself as if he's on fire. And yeah. uh, he says, what happens when you're on fire is stop, drop, and roll, dick, roll. Oh, my God. I and we can watch this. these because they're just public service announcements. I remember this. Very effective. And who, uh, you know, it feels like these days everything has like a, you know, every opinion has a counter argument. This feels like one that, it's truly a united front. Nobody wants. No one is against on it. fire. Yeah, no one is like, against it. If a kid is on fire, we want that fire put out as soon as possible. Absolutely. You, you see it, Patrick? Yeah, yeah. Patrick is on that. He is so. Like, Don't uh, rush me. He's, yeah. he's like, I, you want this quick or you want it done right? Well, I had to wait for the ad to go to be done, and I didn't want to bring That's it up right. before that. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Here, let's take a look. Uh, Learn not to burn. Now, of Ooh. course, my computer is freezing. All right. I mean, this, this is courtesy of... Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm crawling. I'm showing you what you should do if your house is on fire and there's smoke all over. Down here, you'd be able to breathe. Up there, smoke would knock you out. Then the fire would get you. And not just your house. You. See, the smoke will be up there where your mouth usually is, and the air will be down here around your knees. So crawl out of a fire with your mouth just about knee high, okay? Oh, well, well, learn not to burn. Now, now let's crawl let's get, out of the fire. Now let's get to the one that I asked for, though, Patrick, because there's a different one where he's on fire and he says, "Stop, drop, and roll, Dick, roll." roll uh, Dick I roll. really like the way he explained where your mouth normally is and where the air is, and that fundamentally. You want those two places to be the same place. You want your mouth to be where the air is, not where the smoke is. 
Because if your mouth is where the smoke is, your mouth is going to treat that smoke like air and breathe it right in. I feel like not enough people on TV talk to people that way anymore. No. And it goes, is the, it, actually, you know, there is someone that is actually against this. Who's that? It is the person that sang the song Dance Into the Fire. Dance Into the Fire. There's some movie, Dance Into the Fire. I'm trying to remember what movie it is. They sound like they're, yeah, they're positioning themselves against that. Put your mouth where the smoke is. Keep the air away from your mouth. That's what you have trouble? God, what movie is that from? I, f- I found a different one. A different oh, well. one. It's a different I, rolling one, but he doesn't say it in it. Well, did I ask for that? Well, that's why I was still looking. All right. Uh, I never go to Patrick's restaurant, by the way. <laughs> Whatever you order, Patrick will come oh. out and be like, oh, this is one I ordered. Well, I made a different food for you. Dancing to the fires, Duran Duran. Duran Duran. Duran Duran. I and you know, and maybe this was an opinion they held decades ago. Maybe they've mellowed. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt that there may have been a time when they thought uh, learning not to burn was not uh, their position. Their position was dancing to the fire. Duran Duran perhaps perhaps made a series of un- wisely unreleased PSAs in the 1980s, encouraging people to dance into the fire. Maybe the sand in Rio is so hot oh. that when her when name dances Rio, on she dances it. on the sand, it's like dancing into that fire. I'm going to try looking for this thing. Oh, no. Here, you got it? You got it? I'm excited. Let's pretend my clothes are on fire. Oh, oh, what do I do? Boy, don't panic, Dick. You know what to do, Dick. Uh, stop, drop, and roll, Dick. Roll. And keep rolling until you roll the fire out. Or out. So remember, if your clothes ever catch on fire, stop, drop, and roll, Dick. Roll. <laughs> Drink, Dick. Wait, the dog's name is also Dick? I was yes. wondering, why is there a dog there? <laughs> Maybe he got paid to bring the dog in, too. He, like, brought the dog from home, so we got that fee as well. This know. this commercial should be running all the time everywhere. Still. Yeah. Dick rolled, by the way, is, is you've been dick rolled is great. Um, the continuity is all off, though, because that dog was not on fire. <laughs> it's true. Well, you know, that's the thing. When you're, when you're working with practical effects, they weren't able to do that. They could special edition the hell out of that commercial right now. That dog could realistically be on fire. Your next episode, someone is going to have that dog in flames. They're going to send it to you. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. If with digital effects, and I, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm like a broken uh, MP3 on this, but with digital technology, uh, I'm like a corrupted MP3 file, uh, a, a, a corrupted wave file on this. Um, but that dialogue, let's pretend my clothes are on fire, is totally <laughs> unnecessary if we just open with Dick Van Dyke on fire. <laughs> That's true. I feel like he could do those now. Like, he's still spry and he's dancing and everything. If they were like, we want you to reprise your role, remake the commercials, I bet he would do it. I mean... Roll, Dick roll. Roll. And... and yeah, and when you see that dog, and you're like, why is that dog there? And boy, do we find out. <laughs> You've is been this also on fire? Ugh. I mean, was the was the most recent film that, that Dick Van Dyke was in, Mary Poppins Returns? I think so. I'm going to assume yes. Yeah. Oh, God, I shouldn't have said it. Bleep it out. Bleep it out. I forgot. I, I, I got caught, lost in the haze of... Uh, you're, not in, you're just asking a question. You're just yeah, asking, just asking a question. Smoke. He's in... He's no, no, voice. don't say it. Don't say I'm it. Don't not, say it. I'm not. I really I'm, not. I'm not. He's a voice in two episodes of a of a thing of a of a live action show that is no longer on the air, and he's in some other musical thing that I don't know what it is. Well, I just love that that the last time, the most recent like film that his appearance was like getting up on top of a desk and dancing around because uh, I'm not sure I could even do that at this point. I'm about to do 30 shows in a month. Wait. His second to most recent thing is something starring him, Kate Winslet, 
Robert Redford and Angela Lansbury. I think I could say this because this is not a major release. It's called Buttons, a new musical film. I don't know what it is. This is, did you get this on IMDb? Because this there's, is, there's this photos. Is someone who watch bullshit right here. It's a fathom event. There's photos. It's a fathom event. Hey, pull this off. This is on Prime Video. Well, you can watch Patrick. it there. You're going to have to bleep it. it. You you can't chill for Amazon in the middle of a strike. You got to bleep that whole thing. You got to blur it. <laughs> Patrick. All right. You think, so, what do you think? Fath Fathom Events is a struggling little indie? Well, it's not one of the big guys. Well, it, only, really shows big. One, it only shows once. It's a live event. That's yeah. True. It's, it's true. technically theater. Sure. I, Patrick, I can't fathom your judgment in this, this circumstance, nonetheless. Can I read the first paragraph of a review on IMDb? I mean, go ahead. I, I hope you're not getting a commission to promote this thing. Honestly disappointed and confused. I am honestly confused and disappointed. I love Mrs. Potts and Bert and Touched by an Angel and Henry the Time-Traveling Doctor, but couldn't figure out what this movie was trying to do? Parentheses question mark. We hear Robert Redford for a minute narrating. Then Angela Lansbury is the narrator reading a story, and we bounce back and forth and all around. It could have used a lesson in show, don't tell. Wow. Well, this really doesn't count as promotion because we are burning this film to the ground. Yeah, we've no done them no, missing. we've done them no favors here tonight. That's mm -hmm. for certain. You know who's missing? Who? Oh. oh, you know, Jersey Dave. Oh, because Jersey Dave just popped up. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Jersey Dave, how have you been? Been good. <laughs> yeah. Just in general, or like since we just last? Saw since each we other. just last. Since we just last saw each other. Uh, it's been it's been a little rough. I mean, just all that Jersey Mike's talk is not something I like, kind of going through again. But yeah, uh, I'm sorry, that was inappropriate of me to bring up. Like having just met everyone you, asked. I was so frightened. And everyone scared. asked. Yeah, no, and it's I was, okay. I was discombobulated. It's yeah. really made me want Jersey Mike's. Well, do you have a way of order? We've talked about Jersey Mike's a lot on the show lately. I do Rachel Zegler asked immediately when I said I was from New Jersey, she said, what's your Jersey Mike's order? Yeah. Which is not something I've ever heard anyone. Like, it's always like, what exit? Never heard yeah. anyone say, what's your Jersey Mike's order to well, prove that you're from New Jersey? These are changing times. I, I think you're going to be hearing a lot more of it. Damn. Getting left behind. You know, I've Dave never noticed before, Jersey, Dave. Maybe I have, and I've, maybe I'm just repeating myself. The way that um, those two uh, racquetball court doors that you have there. <laughs> um, Do they lead to the so, same place? <laughs> um, go, show us, Dave. go show us. At the moment, yes, they lead to the same, they lead to the same place. At the moment, moment. Let, let, me, let me just observe this before you open them. It's just before a closet, you... now. Little door. It's just a closet under the stairs. We got some extra food in there. We got a little mini fridge. It used to be a lot more complicated, and I don't really have time to explain. Um, Why? Why not? It, because it's very, very complicated. They they led to the um, – is like a kind of interdimensional world called the Beef Pudin. Um, <laughs> that was part of another show on. It was a different show that was on Planet Scum, which is yeah. this logo. Uh, yeah. That show doesn't exist anymore, so yeah. the, the, the portal dried up. Sure. Can, sure, I, sure, can sure. I just say, if you, if you just move out of the way for a second, because the did you build those doors? No, they came they came standard with the house. Well, you see how like if you look, imagine those are eyes, like cartoon characters' eyes. Yeah. That the pupils, the dots, are a little bit off center in a way that makes them a little goofy. <laughs> Dilbert, you know, it's a little. You can make a Dilbert out of those doors. <laughs> yeah, those are some Dilbert <laughs> doors. <laughs> They are a little mm -hmm. off. Huh. Yeah. I don't understand why there are two of them right next to each other. <laughs> Dave, Dave, can you go in one and come out the other? Uh, oof. There's a lot of shit in there, but I can certainly try. I well, let's make there. it a stretch goal. Let's, uh, Patrick, let's make people pay for him to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you're thinking, George. Because it sounds yeah. like it's not easy, right? No, there's like a shelf there in there. There's yeah. tons of 
yeah, stuff in yeah. there. So okay. it's going to be a little bit of an ordeal. Look, there's yeah. 360 of you here right now. If we can get 500 more dollars in the next five minutes, yeah, let's see what happens. That's uh, the price of this. That's the absolute price of this because I think people really want to see this, yeah. and yeah. and I think it's going to be spectacular. Great. Plausible I deniability, think. you did get the Shmi. That is yours. Congratulations. Um, that does not count towards the $500, though. Uh, that's all yours. So 745 uh, West, uh, Pacific Time, 1045 uh, Eastern Time. We will, we will check in and see if they can go through the doors. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and like that, he was gone. Yeah. It was as if he was never here. Mm-hmm. He's the truly the Kaiser Soze of uh, <laughs> of the show. Oof. He's a mysterious and unexplained figure in this world. Yes. Oh, um, oh wow. We we got, well, no, we got a new piece of fan art. That's a good one. It's a good All one. Right, let's see it. Let's see it. Hang on one second. <laughs> While I'm playing for the sound. How is that possible? You know How the is that possible? You know Can I hear it again? Can I just hear it one more time? I don't want I don't want it to not be able to get monetized on YouTube. And that will happen. If we play it one more time. I'll play it for think... one I'll play it for one second. That's great. I didn't hear anything. Wait, it, wait, wait, if you play it again, it'll yeah. get monetized? No, we want it to be monetized on YouTube. But if there's music in it that we don't own, YouTube will not allow us to make money off of it. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. And now, what I wonder is, is, what I wonder is, Patrick, can you, yeah. how do I access that? I'll mute myself and just watch it on my own. It's on, it's on Twitter. It was tweeted to you. I, I don't know what I don't know what platform you're referring to. Oh, it's on X. Oh, that sounds like a garbage platform. Oh, oh I think I'll delete that from my phone. <laughs> Colin, you lucked out because you're not really on social media too much anymore. Oh, you got out while I get was good. Yeah, the lights are on, but no one's home. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, it's I a good deal. Myself. How does it feel? Felt weird. I'm not gonna lie. I yeah. It felt weird for like a week yeah like there were literally like withdrawals not like oh my god i'm in pain but it was just like oh um but yeah it, it was it was definitely odd i was actually joking with my wife this morning because i read some article in reference to somebody's instagram posts and i told her about it and she goes Honey, that happened like a month and a half ago. I'm like, well, I don't have, it. I don't have these apps, so it's new to me. Yeah, a new hope. Yeah. There, there's a, there's a, a crazy thing that's that seems to be happening right now, which is that the the people who decided I'm not going to be part of these social media things all seem to be having a pretty good time, <laughs> and everybody else is sort of like signing up for like twelve different things, sort of like. Yeah, blue sky. We'll go on hive. We'll go on mastodon. We'll go on and know. and and really like um, trying to like partly. Have you, it's out have of you the... signed up for Quip? What's Quip? What's Quip. Quip? The... Quibby. The, oh, Quibby already shut down. No, not Quibby. Quip. Someone was telling me that um, it's uh, uh, oh, that's right. It doesn't exist. It actually <laughs> doesn't exist. I'm googling it. I was searching. <laughs> I rest um, my case, Your Honor. I I think that's a good thing to do. Is um, every day tell a friend or a stranger about uh, a social media platform that doesn't exist and really recommend it to them. Hey, why didn't you accept my friend request on Quip? I don't. <laughs> oh, I'm not on it yet. I guess I'll have to look. At, it's not my app store. Oh, I, maybe I mean, I'm spelling it wrong. No, I mean, I seriously, I've been all of my quips have like not been getting the traction that they normally do. Uh, yeah, it's like Twitter, but you're supposed to be joking. Like it's just for jokes. It's just for jokes. Just yeah, for jokes. you can't be serious on it. 
That sounds yeah, if you get serious, they shadow ban you immediately. Um, <laughs> unless you're being serious as a joke. Mm -hmm. And they have an algorithm that's fantastic. They can, they know if you're joking. Then they, they come so quick too. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, have you signed up for Yippee? No. Yeah, it's actually it's spelled Y I P E, so it's spelled like Yipe, but it's pronounced Yippee. Interesting. Yeah, and it's just it's just it's like Twitter, but for uh, enthusiastic statements. No. Um, it's automatically cap locked, and every every uh, every well, because when you like the equivalent of a tweet on Yippee is called a Yipe, it's a little confusing. So when you Yipe on Yippee, um, it's automatically all caps is it, and every Yipe ends with an exclamation mark. What was the um, the one for? Uh... It's not for uh, well. It's not farmers because that's farmers only. Farmers only. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is the one for cowboys? I'm trying to remember. I don't know. Oh, yeehaw! Yeehaw! yeehaw. Are you on yeehaw? I'm not. I'm waiting for an invitation. Yeah, I don't I, know I, any I signed up. I I I've signed up for the daily lottery, but I keep getting a lot of sorry partners. <laughs> um, Dave, I have some bad news. Oh, what's the bad news? The people don't want to see you go through these doors. Wow. Yeah, really Wait, hang on. We are one minute late and we are only a couple dollars away. So if anyone did not give, we are very close. I'll, I'll, you know what? Out of the goodness of my heart, I'm going to extend it another two minutes. Okay. I don't, I, I almost don't think you should. You don't think I should? Yeah, I, I wonder if people really really want it. Like, we don't want to inflate the value of something if people truly don't value it. And sure. I get the feeling that of the hundreds of people who are watching now, that they 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 have spoken. They do not want to see Jersey Dave try to go in one little closet door and come out the other. What is um, what what are you raising funds for? Well. You see, the thing with Edinburgh, the, the shows we're taking to the Edinburgh Festival Fringe, mm -hmm. um, I thought as a billionaire that uh, it would cost billions of dollars. Turns out it costs trillions of dollars. And the initial decision to take these shows to the Fringe was made at a certain budget. Mm -hmm. That budget immediately <laughs> doubled at a point where we could no longer uh, afford to uh, uh, not do it. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, normally when we've done fundraisers on the show, we've raised over a, a quarter of a million dollars for charities and causes. But for these few recent one time only live streams, we are raising money to get ourselves out of debt. Uh, so that, I'll, so that uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to put in the private chat, how much the Airbnb alone cost. Trillions of dollars. Well, it's in the private chat. It's there. That's a lot of money. Okay. Yeah. We're doing yeah. this, guys. Yes. yes. So and then also, so, you need to get posters. Who wants to buy this? <laughs> Seriously. Are you, you watching this off right now? I will okay. say to the think, think carefully about this, Colin. You don't want to part with something that I'm later totally on you'll spend okay the rest of your life. I'm totally okay with it. Okay. Here we go. Let's start. All right. We are Here starting we now. This show now. This is a real auction. Okay. I see because. a sixty-nine dollar. I see a seventy-five dollar. Let's keep going. I see a hundred and twenty dollars. Smart overcoat. One hundred and twenty. Uh, let's keep this going. This is one twenty-five. This is not many people have this this no. year. You know it's what? Just Mila Kunis. <laughs> yeah. Evan Rachel Wood. Yeah. 200 and, good Kumar. And someone else. Hayden Christensen. No, he didn't get it 2002. Oh, oh, oh that's true. That's true. Greg uh, Greg Hoffman? What was his name? Greg? The other guy in the picture. Um, yeah. What's it say on the bottom? Um, the we are at. Crystal-like plastics. <laughs> Uh, made in Burbank, California. Wow. Burbank. American made. This could literally fit in a cup holder in your car. Also a great question. Will you sign it if the person wants it, Colin? Uh, Up to you. 
You can sign the bottom even. It has your name on it. Yes. It has my name on it. I, 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 okay, I don't want it. It's okay if you don't want it. I don't want to. Okay. Great. Right. I think it's more valuable. Sell it for more money, and that's not going to help with the that's trillion dollar cost of your rental. That is a good point. That's a good I'll point. tell you this: we're gonna, and I know this is just the honor system, but we generally have a an, an audience that is really good about this kind of thing. If you're bidding on this, you have to promise you're not going to resell it. Yeah. It has to be. That. It has to be for the love of the game. You know. I think we can this. And yeah. I really and 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 building off what Patrick said or what what Colin said before. Um, I would highly recommend if you drive, if you own a car, you drive a car around, keeping it in the cup holder so that when people get in the car and they think like, what's this? Yeah. They think you, they think it's a beverage. They pick it up and like, that's not a beverage. I never put a beverage. Oh, yeah, that's silly Gilbert. <laughs> Finally, something that actually looks like it was made in two seconds. <laughs> that's good. Oh, I see, I see 300 from TF Stevens. This is great. Wow. People uh, are hungry for now. Here, here's a question that I think doesn't get um spoken about very often is the the one of the things with awards. Yeah. And there are a lot of different awards that happen in different different places. Um do you remember? Did you have to pay anything for your award or they just gave you the award? Uh I don't recall. I, I'm sure I I would not have paid for it. You would not have paid. You know no. yourself. You know that like that they needed to give you that. I did. I mean, maybe some. Maybe you know some angel, some, some angel said, benefactor, someone on my team. I doubt it. Yeah, someone at the studio. One of the studios might have paid for it. I don't know. I I doubt it. I, I mean, Movie Line, it's a magazine that doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah. Which the, is why uh, it needs to go for more than 300. No, it should. True. Well, I'm not going to say anything. Now, uh, what month, or what, what, when was that award? Uh, movie? I want to see what was who was on the cover of Movie Line magazine around that time. Oh, geez. Uh, sure well, Hayden, Hayden was on a, a cover in, in 2002, that's for sure. Beyonce was on a cover. Wow. Yeah, uh, summer of uh, July, August 2002 had Beyonce, Jessica Simpson, and more. I'll say this. We're at 369. I think we can get this to 400. I think we're so close that even if someone wants to just chip in 30 bucks to get blog up to 400, I feel like we can definitely get to 400. Was Beyonce on Movie Line because of Austin Powers' gold member? Probably. You look. Yeah, it there says Destiny... Destiny's wild child turns on Austin Powers. There it wow. is. Yeah, yeah. So well done. I wish we had. I wish this was a game show. You just would have won our uh, whatever we would call that question in the part of the game show. Our speculative shout out. Uh, it's a game show where at certain points you you shout your own question with an answer included in the question. Amazing. And if you're right, you double your score. Yeah. Blog has I'll bumped it up to 420. That is where we are at currently. Blog that outdid himself to bump amazing. it to 420. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, Clearly uh, well, not on strike. Yeah. That's true. Movie Line uh, went out in 2009 is when Movie, Nine, Movie Line stopped. And it went until online in 2014. Ah. So. Right. So um, in, in both both in the Obama era. That's true. I, I don't Thanks, think there's a direct. Obama. I don't think there's a direct connection, but uh, you can't deny the timing of it. <laughs> first, his first term killed off the print edition, and then the second term went for the <laughs> went for the website. You can't deny the timing of it. No. it it's unfortunate. No, you can't. Me, You're right. There are, I literally cannot. I cannot it, deny the timing of that. <laughs> it, it happened on Obama's watch. Mission accomplished. The big banner. I, I, I would love to. I would love to see a journalist ask him about that, <laughs> Mr. President. I have to ask about Movie Line. 
You didn't mention Movie Line once in your campaign, nor did you mention it once in any <laughs> official capacity as president. Well, you know who did mention it a lot, mm -hmm. like ad nauseum, was Sarah Palin was really going hard <laughs> on him. It's really? Yeah. And McCain was like, why are you wasting your time? I don't want you to do that. But Palin was yeah. just like... Well, there was, like, that well thing, there was that thing when they asked her what newspaper she read. And she said, right. I can't remember. Movie line, line. Just movie line. Movie line. Movie line. Movie line. It's just movie line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never uh, <forgiven. laughs> It's... Uh, yeah, I miss it. I miss Premiere Magazine. Mm-hmm. Premier, that was a good one. That was a very, that was a very, um, felt like you were getting a lot when you got an issue of, of Premier Magazine. Yeah. Um, they put out a little, um, a soundtrack Premier that was called the Premier Movie Music Collection. And it was all kind of uh, iconic, but also sort of semi obscure. Like it wasn't a collection of like, blockbuster uh, themes but it was all like critically acclaimed uh it wasn't just from... your friend john williams uh music from your films he's no, not on it at all i'm looking at know? the list right now yeah um i just love that you literally you brought it up in two it's seconds my, it's my job that's my that's job, job. he doesn't do that if he doesn't do that he knows we will hire an, a robot that will AI. no we hire wouldn't really See, the thing is, the reason that we would never replace Patrick with a robot is because Patrick uh, provides us with a human a human quality mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I think keeps the show relatable. Yeah. Would you say? Yeah. I'm like a real person in, in this. So Alabama similar to a real person. It's amazing how similar yeah. he is to a real person. And if you honestly, you log on to Quip. Yeah, oh. yeah, hee haw. You know, yeah. not so much on Yahoo, which is weird, but yeah. they all say it. Patrick I, is like a real human. Con, I've been meaning to ask you, do you Yahoo? <laughs> uh, no, I do not Yahoo. You don't Yahoo? Interesting. Interesting. I do not. Um, what's but your search I, I, engine? I yeah. am, well, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm AWOL. From Yahoo mm -hmm. without the W. That's right. Oh, okay. AWOL, AWOL would be a great social media site, but it's just for deserters. It's just it's just people like, that aren't there. It's yeah, it is just a social media site for people who uh, did not report for duty, and the the military is actively looking for them. But it's like, who do we who do we talk to? It's like, well, okay. sign up for AWOL. And it's like. Nope, I'm sorry. You were active duty, and you've you've done everything correct. You cannot get an AWOL account. That's what Hive or Mastodon or Blue Sky should have called themselves, because it's all the people who left and were looking for something else. That's right. They should have called themselves AWOL. I mean, somebody can. I Why don't you do a little startup, Patrick? I don't want to sign up for another thing. No, it's create it. Be the be the change you want to see in the world. Quip. To quote the guy who killed Movie Line. <laughs> Obama, Obama. Yeah, that's right. Is that an Obama quote? Well, he no, he quoted other. I think it was a Gandhi quote. Okay. Plagiarist, so lazy. Uh, uh. Couldn't even put it in an uh, yeah. AI. And when <laughs> I say Gandhi, I mean the person. I'm not promoting the movie. <laughs> that's right. Don't come for me, um, gentlemen. This has been absolutely fantastic. You're the best. Uh, Colin, your generosity, I, I'm still in, so incredibly moved that you have sacrificed, I think you said, the only award you've ever been given in your life. Uh, except no. For, except for the, the major award that is illuminating you right now. The, the, that and yeah. just, yeah. The, uh, you're looking at another, this you're looking at the other award. You're you looking at the award. Say what? We said you're looking at some other ones over yeah, here. Yeah, there are a few up there. Patrick, but what you actually yeah. said, Patrick, what you actually said, and what I think Colin reacted with the appropriate amount of shock, but is you, say, said, you said, you got to show us the other ones. <laughs> oh, is that what like, she said? She said, you got to show us the other ones. <laughs> using, the, using the language of a home invader. <laughs> he doesn't have to show us anything. He donated one of his awards. 
to help us yeah, actually, get out of hold on. No, 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 no. Right. I want to show you one. I'm getting cocky, George. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got to show us it. Oh. I did notice how he looked over when we said when I said okay, no, 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 no. I, no. <laughs> so I have this. The Vanity Fair it Award. Just says, it just says Vanity Fair International Award for Cinematic Excellence. And uh, you won this? this was not actually awarded to me, nor was it awarded for a movie. <laughs> is this a riddle? What is this? This was, uh, there was a, uh, um, oh, the murder weapon was an, an ice, it was made of ice. <laughs> Vanity Fair Italy was a, a sponsor for a noir festival, like a festival celebrating like noir as a genre. My brain is breaking with every and word. they wanted to fly me to Italy to accept this award on behalf of Fargo. Oh. Oh, okay. And I've held on to it because it literally just says Vanity Fair International Award for Cinematic Excellence. There's not wow. this, it wasn't a movie. There's no cinematic, yeah. it was a TV show. Wow. Now I'm, we're I'm getting sorry, I can't even talk about it right now. I can't even talk about this. this. I shouldn't even be talking about this. Conversation. Yeah. <laughs> This is God, we, got, we got sucked into almost promoting something. That Jersey is Dave, what's horrible. happening? That is horrible. But you want to know what's not horrible? <laughs> yes, what is this? It's 1985 Tri League uh, T Ball Award. That's cool. There that it is. I held on to. Now that's see, because the thing is when I when I, I implied nothing else from this era of my life that I held on to this. When I implied before that you would only ever won the the movie line one to watch uh, award, yeah, you you had such a tell. You look, you went, and you looked over almost as if to make sure they were still there. <laughs> you had such a look of almost like, have I been robbed? Like, have <laughs> I? Is this all been a long con heist? Oh. To get your the things that you truly your your rosebud that's over on the uh, that trophy means something to you. This one, this one does. Yeah, that's so yeah. I don't have anything else from uh, the year nineteen eighty five. Whereas, whereas the Vanity Fair Award is such a baffling, a wonderfully baffling artifact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that they they flew you to Italy. No, I ended up. I didn't even go, and they shipped it to me. <laughs> <laughs> they did asked they me, it? wait did they just give it to you or did they give it to yes, everyone they gave it to me i don't know why but it doesn't say like to to it just literally yeah. just says what it is That's so weird i'll say i'll say, th I'll say this uh, tv has become cinema in a, in a way that it wasn't before and there are mm -hmm. certainly shows Especially in for those those dark italians those noir italians Mm -hmm. Yeah, nor, nor on television is just bumping right up against uh, the, the, the rules of cinema, you know. Um, but that's a wonderful, a wonderfully inexplicable award because it's yours but not yours. It's real but not real. Uh, it feels weighty and yet there's no one in the world other than whoever's looking at it at any given moment who even thinks of it. I, honestly, you know? it's just on a shelf because it's the highest shelf. I'm like, what do I put on here? And it was I it, literally, it, it was just like, oh, oh it, I got this t ball thing. I got this <laughs> thing I got in 2002. And this thing that Vanity Fair Italy sent me. Oh, I'll just throw those up there. That's the best. Well, what a wonderful, well, this has been a wonderful share to, to well, end your, your this video on. To, OMG yeah. kitties. OMG kitties. Yay. If that was a real bid, let us know. Uh, because I believe you're winning right now. But Colin, before you go, I think there's only one thing we have to see. Because we did get there. Oh what? yes. Let's take a look. No. No. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Close the door behind you. Close the door behind you. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> Do it. It doesn't have a handle on the other side. <laughs> Can't top that. Oh, that's 
just like that truly was like something out of a, uh, Ryan. You can't top uh, that. That's yeah. That's like something out of a Buster uh, Keaton film. It was really, I haven't it was, seen anything it like that. It actually oddly looked uh, edited for some strange reason. <laughs> <laughs> it weirdly looked like it was like like trick photography. Uh, I, oh. I got to clean up this mess. Oh. Oh, I did. Man. All right. Um, all thank right. you. Thank you, Jersey Dave. Thank you, Colin. It's been beautiful uh, hanging out with you on the stream. And uh, we'll, I'll see you on the other side of the strike. Thank and you I will, very much, Mr. Lucas. This was an absolute honor. And Patrick, uh, I will, I will let you know about, about that. This. We'll figure it out. All right. All right. Godspeed, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, sir. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Well, Patrick, how are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling great. How are you feeling? Um, I do want to say oh, my, OMG Kitties, yes, uh, that was a bid for the T-ball trophy, which he was not selling. So we are back to blog at 420. If anyone wants to go higher, Let's do it. That's great. Um, Colin, that was great. That was what, great. A, what a what a wonderful guy. Two um, very fun guests. Yes. Uh, and what a delightful conversation. And and you know the we managed to do you know it's it's hard not to mention things because we're on so long that you you forget about it you lose yourself so we have mentioned a few things but I'd say the promotional value of of these occasional slips is minimal because i also want to reiterate not that we're calling for a um the the the, the unions haven't called for a consumer boycott or anything no. but i don't think anyone's going to hear us mention something and then no. uh, if you hear us mention something uh and you think "Ooh, i i wouldn't have thought of that i might want to watch it what no. i'll ask is please just wait until the, hopefully the AMPTP uh, come to their senses and decide to be reasonable uh, and pay I, people I fairly. Say, I've seen people confused online about that. About They have not called for a boycott. The, they, they want you to keep watching things because it helps uh, to be like, hey, look at these numbers. These numbers are big. People do like watching these things. So it, it does mm -hmm. get used against them as a bargaining chip if you uh, stop watching things or pirate things or whatever. At this point, that might change. But yeah. Um, uh, now, hey, Dave. Hey. Um, we did have this piece of fan art I wanted to bring Ooh, in. Forest. Look at that. Forest. <clears throat> Forest did that. That's oh, I one. love that. That's an incredible likeness. Yeah. Here, let's hang on a sec. That's pretty good. good um, right? so we're at 420. If anyone wants to hop in higher for the Colin Hanks original 2002. Uh, what is it? One to watch award presented yeah. by movie magazine. You're the one I watch. You are the one I watch. Who, 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 who? Um, send it in now if if you want to uh, one up that. If not, I think we have some more friends that we should. Yeah, I think a good transition would be from this. You can see the the head of Smee. Yeah. Let's see the body. Let's see the body of this figurine. What happened to the body of it? I agree. I Smee. me. <laughs> mini Smee. Mini Smee. It's Mini Smee. Uh -huh. Now, oh, I, that's Jersey amazing. Dave, I feel like this is classy. Now, you did not attempt to put the head of <laughs> Smee, Smee Skywalker on to the body of Smee. And I'm guessing it's because you're a classy guy. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to call the trophy for... For blog, blog, send your. I, I think I have your address already, but email it to me again just so I have it. Uh, we are currently at sixty nine for Mini Smee. Mini Smee is very funny. Very I was good. at Comic Con last weekend, Dave, and I saw a Scott Evil figure, and I was so close to buying it. Oh man! Because I've I seen those. Like, I've seen those online. I don't have a fun joke for those. No, but. but it, uh, well, I mean, it's funny not, by itself. This thing's not released, but it so I can talk about it. It could be a fun, like, detours action figure, you know what I mean? Um, oh, and who it's sorry, it's it's Scott Scotty 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 Scott 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 Scotty. Uh, we're at 75 from Butts Janitals. Um, it could be you could put it okay. on oh, Will, uh, Willie Scott. From uh, Temple of Doom? Yeah. Did they make 
a, a national figure of her. I'm trying there's to remember. Some, there's some old ones, not yeah, not yeah. the new ones, but there's some. Old we didn't ones. do a lot. We didn't do a lot for this. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, seventy five. It looks like we're holding holding strong at seventy five for Minnie Smee. Very good. Let's call it in. Let's all count down from ten. You ready? Yeah, I'll count up. 10, from ten. You can get one. Nine. Two, eight. Three. Seven. Four, six. Five. Five. Six. Four. Seven, three. Eight. Two. two nine, one. one zero. How, how did That's you do? Okay, great. 75 butts genitals. Uh, when you guys win these and you email your address, just remind us of the one that you bought. It makes it oh, the one that you bought. You are the one that bought. You're the one that I bought. You are the one I bought. Butts genitals. Love writing that out. Yeah, that's a good one. Have you packed yet, Patrick? I'm mostly packed, yeah. I'm partly packed. I'm mostly packed. What uh, nightmare. I did text you today that I'm bringing two uh, two tripods so we can film the talk shows. Yeah, I'm bringing. I'll bring if I can a couple of little tripods. I think. Okay. It's gonna be a lot. We got some cool guests though. We have some good people doing the show. Yeah. Um, some fun, some American friends, some uh, European friends. It's gonna mm -hmm. be fun. Um, uh, we haven't released those yet though. Not yet, because. I mean, it doesn't matter for here. You know what I mean? Like most people, if you're gonna go, you're gonna go. It's not right convincing anyone here. Uh, all right, Dave, you want to do the next one? Uh, yeah. So I got a little fixated. Uh, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> kind of just kept going with the the same same kind of ideas over and over again. Oh uh, wow, that sounds like my career. <laughs> oh yeah. Well. If you like rhymes, this rhymes, I think. Uh, yeah. This one I'm calling Sminny Me. <laughs> Magic asked me, how do you feel about this crop of friends? I was like, uh, it's, pretty it's, pretty fun. <laughs> it's also, it also feels a little bit like uh, on the show Survivor when they've done the Survivor auction and you kind of don't know, like, do I want to bid on this? Because you don't know what's coming. Mm -hmm. That the appearance of this is, uh, how do you pronounce this one? Smitty Me. Smitty, Smitty Me. me. Smitty. So we had Minnie Smee. Oh, Plausible Viability is uh, offering one million dollars. Whoa. Wiz Beth said it. My edible just kicked in. <laughs> Is that what that was? That's what she says. Oh, I thought you said that. No. <laughs> Although my eyes look bloodshot. I need some that's visine. Why, that's why I was asking. I have not smoked any weed. And I would tell you. Ever? Mm, today. Oh. 69. Anyone want to go higher than 69 for Sparkly12789, which is a name I don't know. So welcome to the show. Is it? The same person that's been saying 69 every time. This is a real bid, right? I think it's a real bid. Yeah, Sparkly. Sparky, you wrote it. Real also bid. said 69 for the last one. Sparky. Sparky, Sparky you're real? Speak up. Is this a real bid, Sparky? Sparky are you I mean, real? I mean, it's a Sparky, good opening Sparky, bid. Real? It's a funny opening bid. Sparky, you real? You real, Sparky? I really want Jersey Mike's. Yes, it's real, says Sparky. Sparky, this is real. Uh, Sparky, is this real? Um, I'm not happy to know Sparky's real. Yeah. Me too. I wonder what that those numbers mean, though. I always, there's a lot of numbers. I imagine they were born January 27th, 1989. Wow. You are probably right. That's a pretty good guess. Yeah. I imagine they were born December 7th, 1989. <laughs> yeah. That would be the oh, other one. A day that will live in infamy because it's your birthday. Uh, okay. Looks like 69 might be holding this one. Okay. Okay, Four, Sparky. 10, 9, one, two, 8, three, 7, four, 6, five, 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 4, four three, three, 2, two, two 1. Two. Sparky12789. Uh, just donate to the PayPal and then email us your address and uh, remind us of the one that you won. We love it. 
Should we do one more, Dave? Or do you want to just keep going? I feel like we maybe keep going. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> we might as well just get all the SMEs out of the way. Get all the SMEs. <laughs> no one's going to buy. Okay, well, I think we might be SMEed out. But we'll just give it a shot. Sure. Why not? Sure. I think there's, um, some, there's some people out there. Because it also could be that some people are like, I guess I collect these SMEs. Could be. I don't know anyone that has a, you know... A, a, a SME collection as as large as what I have in front of me right now. So, yeah, uh, this is SME three PO. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I feel really great about it. That's, that's a fun. That's funny. That's, <laughs> I, I, I want to say that's the best one yet. Really, I yeah. think so. Gold is one really. dollar. We're starting the bidding at to ship it. So, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, I, I think. Honestly, lives. honestly, I'll say this: If Disney made Smee three POs, I think they'd make a million dollars. <laughs> We're at seventy-five. Everyone who's bidding other numbers. Um, I think I should maybe do one more after this, and then and then then I have another um, set. Sure, I would. I'd call it a set. I don't know. We'll see. But the, we'll. The Chuck Hogger show says pirate cyborg relations, which I think is very funny. Pirate. Pirate cyborg relations. That's good. Dan Angler, three dollars, seventy-five dollars. We are at Anna Maria five two three asking, do you come up with the name uh, the name ideas first or buy the toys first, Dave? Great question. That is what a good do you question. write first, the music or the lyrics? <laughs> I write the lyrics first. Well, I have I have a bunch of toys, so yeah. if I just like dig through and I see something that sparks if something, you, you then... me something. If I see something. You smay something. I, yeah. What did you say? You smay you something. something. If you smay something, you smay something. Smay something. That's right. Yeah. Um, but usually it is a, a pun that yeah. comes into my brain. And then I'm like, well, I have to go spend $30 on something on eBay to make this happen. It's a really dumb thing that doesn't financially make any sense for me to do. Yeah. Um, right. But... Um, I I just use the 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 that good wait where is it that good planet scum money. Mm -hmm. You know we had took donations and I I never touched my planet scum money. Oh, you uh, like Leno? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just <laughs> use it to buy shit on eBay. Like uh -huh. I didn't have to have a SME. Yeah, and then I bought like three or four of them, and I had pieces left over, and that's how this came up. I was like, I just need to get rid of the SME body. Important question, Dave. Wizbeth yeah. asking, do you write off those purchases? Because you absolutely should. Uh, if I was still... The answer is no. Because uh, I don't... It's complicated, but uh, if I were to be filing as a freelancer, then I would. But yeah, I'm not anymore because... I mean, also, this is like not making me any money. It's not a business expense. It's a technically just a, a really expensive... Yeah. This show, does not, yes. this show does not make us money. We should be very clear. <laughs> um, and also, you well, know, we're rich with love. Yeah. Uh, all right. It's me, 3PO. I think let's 10, 9, 8, oh, 7, two, 6, 3, 5, 4, four five, 3, six, 2, seven, 1, eight, 9, 10. Blast off. Thank and you, that's plausible, a, variety. plausible. All right. Of that, save on your thing. That's where well, I, I not. I don't think this is true, but there's a chance that Uau just bid bid twelve thousand three hundred and forty five dollars. Uh huh. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, Shark Repeller bringing up a great comment: If Norman Rockwell plates were money, we'd all be billionaires. That's true. I mean, the oh, price is I, rising. It, By now. Uh huh. The, it truly does mean the world to us. Anyone out there who owns a butter boy or butter girl plate, and the, and the fun thing about those is, if you go, you know, if you live anywhere near, or if you're going on vacation somewhere, and you go to antique malls in America, yeah, you will find Normie Rockwell plates, and sometimes you might be lucky enough to find a butter boy or a butter girl plate in the wild. A reasonable price because that is not a market that is aware of the increased demand. 
And there's nothing like the satisfaction of finding a, a butter girl or butter boy plate or bell or um, Figure. figurine or yeah. tray. Yeah. Or copper plate. Or copper plate in the wild. Yeah. Um, truly is something. Dave, what so, do we got? Jersey, I got one more. Another, is this part is of a collection for, or a new? Is this for now or is this a one more for tonight? For now. I do have another um, two collection. that probably Second. should be a set because, um, well, you'll see. We trust your we, judgment on us. Yeah. I think it would be a set. But, but this sort of rounds out this this particular collection. So this, uh, if we were on QVC or the, or the Home Shopping Channel, this would be like, and we're counting down. This is the last part of our, our SME collection. Uh, this is the last song in this particular series. What do we have, Jersey Dave? We have for you today a lovely, because why not, SME 3PO. <laughs> what a payoff. What a payoff. Because he loves his mother and he would have made it in her image. You know? That's right. This is Anakin's oh. whole family. Right here. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I asked that question earlier about how you, why you opted not to use the Shmi, the Shmi head on the Shmi body. And I said yeah. it was because you were classy. What I should have said is because you were brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> You're because very these just keep getting... Also, just the pacing. I, I have to uh, express pure admiration for the showmanship with which you have paced these out because this is the exact right order for maximum impact. I truly thought that you were not going to be able to outdo uh, Smee 3 <laughs> po and, and this is masterful. I like the way this one looks. Like it, The proportions sort of just like make sense. It lines up. It yeah. like doesn't look you know uh, where is it? Where is this one? This one, like, oh, the head's too yeah. big. That's yeah. fun. This yeah. one's like, this could. This is a. This is a real person. Now that's a. Yeah. Is that a Power of the Force figure? Is that why C three PO looks like he has muscles? Um. No. This. Well. This is a Power of the Force head. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Which is maybe why it matches up with this body. Yeah. I don't know. This is a. This is um. Whatever. Nineties. Uh. This is my original like C three PO from when I was a kid. That. Oh wow. Yeah, this is my now, personal. That's still, power, that's still power of the force, though. Mid I thought power of the force was like the 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 smaller. No, ninety six, ninety seven is, is power of the force, and it was the ones where they all had muscles. You now, um, people, I don't know. Now uh, were, like, the, the now the, the prequels that were like seventy five percent of the of the size of the like. Um, when they did the re-releases, they had yeah. the I think it was a three three yeah. seventy five three point seven five yeah. inch, and then yeah. they did the smaller versions that were sure really not fun to play with. Like all of the joints were not very good. It was all sticky. Like it's amazing I, how George just checks the hell out as soon as we start talking about this. Yeah, I can care less. Know. I cash the checks. It's fine. The checks all cleared. Um, I, I will say, if you hold up um, uh, um, Smee Skywalker, I'm talking about the proportions, a lot of famous people, a lot of celebrities, that's their proportion because they'll have that sort of like big head and like surprisingly small body when you meet them in person. Uh huh. So Anyone you're thinking of? Yeah. Just like there's sort of like a lollipop phenomenon uh, with some celebrities where like their head is. is because that's what often looks best in, in on camera. Big big head, little body. Big head, little body. Like a tennis ball on a stick. Yeah, more or less. Yeah, like let me look up and see if there's a name for this phenomenon anywhere. Um, let's uh, let's give thirty more seconds in this one, and then it goes to Grendel's arm at one one three point eight, which I assume is a real. Bed. Uh, okay. There's the decimal point. It is. I appreciate. It's a good joke, Randall's arm. It's a great joke. Yeah. Um. It's a good joke. It's a good joke. It's a good joke. Grendel's arm. Grendel's arm. It's a good joke. It's a good joke. 
Davis, good to see you. It's good to see you. Good to see you. You guys excited for a big trip? Or are you stressed? Mostly stressed? Exhausted. Just exhausted. You haven't even started. You have 30 shows to do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so bad, yeah. George, what we should talk about this, George. Uh, what time do you get in? Like 10 a.m. Tuesday. Oh, okay. Can I get into the uh, the place we were staying before that? Because I, I get yeah. in like two hours before you. Well, I don't think we can check in until like late afternoon. Oof. We can check early. We can check with the person early. Yeah, maybe we do. Just to see. May. You're maybe. giving them a trillion dollars for the house, so I think you probably should get in. Yeah. Early. Yeah, we um, should. Let's message him and see if I can get in earlier. Oh, yeah. Uh, people asking, do we have direct flights or layovers? I'm flying through Logan International Airport in Boston. Oh, that's where the, some of the 9 hijackers flew through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. So maybe... Uh, Patrick Sennel. Patrick Sennel. But just for historic things. It's not a value judgment. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. You just said it was such flair. I had to take it down a notch. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, the uh, here's the thing, and and uh, Patrick, anybody? Uh, um, well, I guess I can check that um, to see if anybody's. Um, we are, even though we had schedules on Star Wars Day, some of which we we weren't able to meet, and some of them. It's almost a relief that we're not having to do a daily podcast about yeah. the process and what's going on. That was yeah. one of the stretch goals, but we never met it, so we won't be doing that. But we do want people, because obviously we're taking this major project, uh, major by our standards, um, over there, and we mm -hmm. hope that it goes well enough that we can bring it back here and do it. Yeah. Um, Watto had a great way of putting it when someone asked him, are you going to come back? Are you going to do it? Um, back in New York, you come back and do it in uh, California, etc. And Watto's response was, if you only do it in Edinburgh, you will know that you didn't miss anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> it will have gone, if we only do it in Edinburgh, things that went badly, went wrong. Um, yeah. Which is possible, who knows? Maybe who knows? people will hate it. But um. The hope is that we do want to um, uh, be keeping uh, uh, keeping in touch with uh, Drew Porgies, uh, keeping you uh, updated um, yeah. on and our we, Instagram in particular. Yeah. We will see uh, how exhausted we are there. There's a chance those Edinburgh shows go up on YouTube while we're there. We'll, we'll see. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe the, uh, the, you mean the talk shows. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying I may edit them if yeah. I have time. We'll see. Oh, Patrick, I think you're going to have lots of time and oodles of energy. <laughs> no promises. Um, I'm going to call this for Grendel's Arm 113.8 unless anyone has last second bids. Uh, I appreciate uh, all of your bids, though. Um, someone is saying... Uh, Baron of the Junk Dealer for SF Sketchfest 2024. I would love to do that. I, I would hope that we're going to do the show there again at some point, hopefully next year, right, George? Hope so. Yeah, they love they loved having us there. I just saw some of the people who ran it. Uh, okay, I'm calling this for Grendel's Arm 113.8. I'm going to show this again so we can. If you haven't, uh, if you'd like a signed. Can we call it a lithograph? I think we can, right? It's a definition of a lithograph. I don't know. Well, let's not call it something. Let's find out. Hold on. A lithograph. I think it's like a limited run print. I feel like that's what they call them. Hold on. I feel like the a lithograph oh. is like the way it's actually printed. All is right. It? When you look up lithograph, it says uh, a lithographic print. When yeah. you click up lithographic, it says related to or produced by lithography. When you go uh, lithography, lithography is an original piece of art. A print is a duplicated copy. 
The process of printing from a flat surface treated so as to repel the ink where it is required for printing. What is the difference between a lithograph and a print? Okay, a lithograph is an original piece of art directly from the artist. A print is a duplicated copy of said lithograph. I say it's just a print. Okay. Well, we have some prints. This is a limited run because after this show, probably will not be making other ones. Um, uh, posters will ship anywhere. Post if you want to toss a couple extra bucks on, if you're in another country, that would be very nice. We've gotten uh, some of those that uh, I did want to say, like that's super yeah. nice. Yeah, they've, they've yeah. all the international, um, you know, purchases have been with extra yeah. on it, which is great. I'm happy to happy to ship it anywhere. Uh, uh, Grendel's arm, you contribute to this bit.ly slash Baron Junk. Just put in the comment section what you won, and then for, send us your email, um, or send us your mailing address, and it will get to you. Toys might get to you before, but these prints will be mailed out in September. <clears throat> um, this is by Steve Dressler, this picture. Friend of the show, Steve Dressler. They're great. It will be signed by all three of us, and it will be mailed out in September when we are back from Scotland. Um, yeah. Thank you all for... for Thank you all right. for... Um, George, what else is going on? Um, hold on one second. I just want to check something. Should I go to Jersey Mike's? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Should I? Um, I absolutely think uh, you should. Can you stay on the stream and go to Jersey Mike's? Yeah, probably. What do we say? People, should you do it? Should I go to Jersey Mike's? I'll have to drive, probably. Okay, you got. It. Well, you know, safe is the new sexy. I've heard safe is the new sexy. That's whatever. Okay, all right, we'll do it. But here's the thing: if I'm yeah. going, we need some donations. Like, we need to like actually get some stuff here, just because this is what. So you uh, can buy your sandwiches. Donations for your sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. If we're if I'm going, let's uh, yeah. Let's do, let's go on an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? I'm gonna leave my pajama pants on, George. Badger? Yeah, yeah, George. What are you are you packing to go to Jersey Mike's? No, oh, I'm looking. I have to get a phone charger because my uh, battery on my phone is dying, and I packed all my chargers. Mm hmm. Look at him. Look at him go. He's yeah, really, yeah. really excited to get sandwich, isn't he? I'm excited. Oh, don't bring a silencer. Oh, I thought that looked like a silencer. Um. Funny, in America, you can't do a joke like that. I know. All right, well, I'm um, going from... Okay, you can mute so you get a nightmare. No, I know. The second Patrick's off the stream, I'm going to co play copyrighted music so that we get... No, don't do that. Uh, yes. Don't do that. Who wants to hear a copyrighted song? Who wants to hear a copyrighted song, huh? Let's play a copyrighted song for you to hear. And we have got some music, and it's owned by people, and they charge money to play the music that we play on here. Now, I will play some public domain music. Let's play a Sousa. Let's play a Sousa. It's Sousa time. Uh, um, public domain Sousa. Here we go. No, but That's George, a... George, the problem when you play public what? domain stuff is that the song is public domain, but the recording will not be public domain. Now, if you search for old seventy eights, it still will. It still will flag it. Seventy eights from the nineteen twenties. Yeah, just sing whatever it you will want to flag sing. It? Yes. No, I'm gonna. They're not copyrighted though. The robots right. are wrong. No, He's right. I'm right. That's right. We've actually. That's I think we've actually. Right. I feel like Patrick, didn't you? We 
come up with uh, we we had something that was like a really old recording that George played. Like I feel like this is this actually has happened. This isn't theoretical. Like we know it. It flags it. Why it shouldn't though? It's the world we live like, in. A recording from 1905 is not under copyright to anybody. But the YouTube robots will still catch it. Just don't do it. Just make my life easier for once, George. For one, like done is make your life easier. You ungrateful wretch. <laughs> Jersey Dave. Yep. Don't you think that's a sign of how bad the robot technology is that they are flagging copyrighted uh, uh, strikes on 78 RPM shellac records from the turn of the 20th century? Nobody owns a copyright. Probably programmed to be overly conservative with that kind of stuff. So I think they're doing wow. exactly what they're being told to do. Well, nothing's ever gone wrong in the country by being overly conservative, certainly. I'm not saying I like it, George. Ooh, I'm not I, agree. I don't like it either. I'm a San Francisco liberal. I hate uh, right-wing reactionaries. Always mm -hmm. have, always will. Jersey Dave, how are you feeling? I thought Patrick was going to trip the Jersey Mike's. Yeah, I don't know what Patrick's doing, but it is. A lot of it seems talk. to be a lot enough. Of talk. So far, it feels like nothing has happened. Um, I don't think this is what the people the, want. Uh, oh. Oh, here we go. On the go. Okay. All right. And you want to go okay. Okay, there I was surprised that he went uh, um, vertical. But now this is the thing. Although maybe his signal is going to gonna, um, fall Probably out every now and then. From Wi-Fi to cellular. His phone's but not probably going before through. making his screen the biggest. I did that. <laughs> that, was a, okay. that was on me. I actually don't know if Patrick can do that right now. Oh, he's I powerless. I can hear you. Yeah, we didn't say you can. You don't yeah, have the ability to control screens. Oh no, I cannot do that. Yeah, and if and you'd have known that if you could have heard us. Yeah, that's the one thing you would have known for sure. Yeah. Oh, it's a lovely Los Angeles basement mm -hmm. parking garage of an apartment building. Look at the trash for an address. Look at the. Look at the trash and also those dumpsters in the background. Come on, George. That's just a little silly joke. You know, it always comes from a place of affection. Uh -huh. You know that. You know that, right, Patrick? I guess. I don't know if I have a choice right? in doing it. Patrick, I have some costume items that I'm uh, packing for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, what are they? Well, the, your costume for the Baron and the Drunk Dealer is very exciting. Um, <laughs> I've heard some of it. I don't know all of it yet. It's really good. Okay. This camera angle is perfect. This camera That's angle like, is great. I mean, it is. It is. It will be fun if I get into it. You get into an accident? It'll no, it won't be. Patrick, we care about you. It won't be fun if you get into an accident. Drive carefully. Don't worry about the... You got up a I am driving carefully. Don't hold the keys up like that. Don't worry that. about what? That's not how you drive a car. Don't hold the keys up like that. To, That's not how you drive a car. You have, in the ignition, turn it. George, I have a key. I, have a, I don't have an ignition. It's a touch-to-start touch car. And I had to open up my garage door. What kind of car do you got? I got a 2022 Kia Soul. Mm. It's a blue you Kia Soul. That commercial. I know, I know, but mm. you can't. Um, did you know the house tonight? Everybody has a feeling all right. And we gonna maybe lose your mind. Can't be, can't be, gonna have a good time. Rum, boom, 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 ring, 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 rum, boom, 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 ring, ring, rum, boom, 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 ring, 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 rum, boom, 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 ring, ring. Um, it's great when we can see the stars through your sunroof. 
or the lights or whatever. Yeah. My, uh, my dish, my angle. Watch the road, Patrick. It's still a red light. Look at that. Now we're going to see. Yeah, we see that sky. Although I realized you I was like looking it? at the. I was looking at the star on the stream yard backdrop. As if we were, I thought you we were, were joking, the George. <laughs> no, I genuinely was like. It was it blended together so perfectly, but I do like the way that night sky looks. It's very moving, nice. And there's once once this dang red light is over and we get to see some motion in the shot. I, I know. I don't this. know why a car, a car standing still is like a dead dead body. Uh huh. I well, don't we got know a green why. Light. We do have a green light. We also have a guy who shouldn't have made a turn, but he did. Not me. A different guy. I love the way the lights reflect over the outline of the sunroof, you know, as you're yeah. moving. Don't you like that, Jersey, yeah. Jersey Dave? I do like that. Really? And we are starting to see a little bit of, like, things up in the sky, even if they're just, like, little um, overpacked things. Yeah. Be careful on those free freeways, Patrick. I'm not going on a freeway. I live very close to a Jersey Mike's, just not close enough to walk at 8.30 8 p.m. Oh, you're afraid someone will do something? I mean, you never know. You know? You don't ever know. I'm, I'm not in charge of what everybody does. I just don't want, you know. I got, I, I'm, not, I'm not dressed to go out into the world, you know? Oh, it's a fashion issue. Pants. I got pajama pants on. Mm -hmm. Um, Until the sun comes out on a Santa Monica Boulevard. Boulevard. Yeah, I'm on Hollywood Boulevard, though. Who is for Hollywood? Um, are you stopped in another light? Patrick? 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 George. Patrick? 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 Wow. You see him doing anything, Jersey Dave? No. He's doing jack shit. I'm driving. Yeah, you froze up. You froze up, boy. And then uh, your car's broken. You're not moving. Yeah. For a second, I thought I was watching Olaf's Frozen Adventure. I was I was on Wi-Fi, so I think it was messing up my service. Mm. Patrick, what are you going to eat? Uh, what are you going to order? And are you willing to let the chat for money, for donations, pick what you get. Absolutely not. Uh, I'm getting wow. a I'm getting a ham and provolone regular, uh, not Mike's way. Lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, and mayonnaise, and maybe a little chocolate chip cookie. Maybe. Um, if they want to choose my drink, maybe I will do that. How about that your dessert? Fun. I was going to get a little chocolate chip cookie. They usually don't have anything else. It's usually just that. Well, let's see what they have that's uh, a possible dessert. Okay. Great. Or or like something that's a miscellaneous item that they might have that you wouldn't normally even notice. Sure. I don't want chips. I'll make that clear. I really want a chocolate chip cookie. You really want a what? Chocolate chip cookie. Do they have chocolate chip cookie? Usually. They usually do. You do. I know that about you. You love chocolate chip cookies. Especially when you I get do. them with sandwiches. Yeah. Uh, we used to go to, um, where did we go? Uh, Pop Belly all the time. Yeah. We used and to go to Pop Belly. Hale and Hardy. Hale and Hardy. You'd always get the cookies there when we were at Marvel. Yeah. Dave and I worked at Marvel together. Did you know that, George? Yeah. I know where you used to work. No, but Dave did too. I was there. I was there for not not very long. I don't think I knew that, Dave. A couple months in the summer. It was fun. Yeah. Summer fun. Once it be gone. Oh, uh, um, I was gonna go park down there, but I don't want to do that. Go to the drive-through. Uh, my I was there. There is no drive-through. Um, Go through the drive -thru. There is no drive through George. Why not? Uh, why is there no drive through Because it's next to a grocery store. 
and it's on a main drag, so there's just not an option for a drive through. Wow. That is one thing that I've never seen before is a drive through on the main drag. Well, it's like in a grocery store parking lot. I feel like it has more to mm -hmm. do with the food that you're ordering it takes time to make. That's also probably true. I would not have thought of that. It's like 100% of the reason. Yeah. Um, oh. well, well done, Tracy Dave. You solved the case. <laughs> Jersey Dave, you did it. Uh, there's no parking here, guys. You should have walked. You shouldn't have been in New York. This stinks. There's no parking uh -huh. in New York either. Yeah, but you know that here. We're in L.A. That's the one thing everyone promises is you can park here. <laughs> yeah. That's the only culture That's advantage in L.A. Mm -hmm. You drive your I market. Know. I'm not the only. What's the other one? Uh, they're not getting out. Um, the heat, the summer, and the sand. What'd you say? You're not getting out? No, I said they're not getting out. I was trying to move into a spot. I'm gonna go park under the grocery store, guys. A lot of good things happen under grocery stores. Yeah. Yeah, you guys don't have parking garages under grocery stores. Is this fun? Someone's asking, what? Someone's asking if I'm in New York. Patrick was in New York. He lived in New York. I would come to New York to do shows. Now when I go to New York, yeah. New York to do shows, Patrick also goes to New York to do shows. Makes no sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. It's it's uh it was a choice that I made. Yeah, everyone's asking what what you ran over. I didn't run anything over. Wow, that denial came a little too quick. Mm. I, I did it. That's like you had your story prepared. Uh huh. It's, a little, right. it's, it's, not, it's not a little too convincing for my face. Well, now they're asking, oh, who my. did you? Yeah. <laughs> That's how. I didn't now. bring my. I didn't bring my wallet. That's so funny. Let me see if I can Apple Pay. I might be able to Apple Yeah, they might have Apple Pay, but then you'd have to go off the stream, which you're not allowed to do. So, yeah. looks like we're going back to your apartment. I mean, I'm not going back home, but I'm, I'm going to check to see if they do Apple Pay. Oh, that's funny. That is really funny. So, you don't have your license either. No, but don't you have 24 hours to turn that in? Really? Over? I think so. I don't think you need not to turn you, it. Not if you ran over somebody. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll cross that. I think that changes uh, things. We'll cross that bridge when we run over them. Wow, LA looks beautiful. Um, also, let's see. Plausible deniability says that you can order it online. Wow. And pick it up. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you moved to LA where there could be a, where you could finally find a Chase Bank. Is it everything you dreamed of? The answer to this question will determine everything. If the answer is good, yes. You got a good neckline going with your beard, Pat. Great neckline. Yeah. Great he neckline. Hear. Oh, you can't even. Great he, neckline. He didn't break your headphones. We're just going to watch a neck order a sandwich? Let's listen, let's listen to the answer. Hold on. He did He did this. He, he said he can't hear. I'm sure he turned down the volume because he's in a public place. But I want to hear okay. what they say to him. Do you do Apple Pay? Do you do Apple Pay? Yeah? Oh, great. Okay, great. They do. You gonna get? What are the miscellaneous options? So I'm gonna get a ham and provolone, regular, with lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, mayo, and that's it. 
What, what are the miscellaneous options? Look for the weird part of the menu. Any cookies. Show us. Okay. Hey, well, it's just chips, and I don't want chips. Hey, well, you made yourself clear. You don't want, you want chips. Show us the menu. Hang on. How's it going? Yeah, can I get a regular uh, ham and provolone? Uh, lettuce, tomato, onion. I'll let you know. What it's oh, white bread? Do you have white bread? Yeah, regular. <laughs> Got some chips. He doesn't want chips. No. It's a bummer because there's a lot of different chips. It's exclusively chips, and I don't not, I have chips at home, you know. You ask? I can ask. Can yeah. ask for cookies? I'll ask. Hang on. Yeah. Can ask for cookies. Hold on. The cookie brownie. Um cookie brownie. Life water. Gatorade. Yeah, I see where the cookies normally are, and it's empty, which is a bummer. Kid, kids meal. Kids meal. What? Kids meal. Oh, kids meal. Kids meal does come with the cookie. That is true. Get the kids meal. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask. Okay, can I just get a partial kids meal? I do see some cookies on the table, so I wonder if those are fair game. We'll find out. Yeah, ask about the cookies on the table. Table cookies. I will. Say, I'll ask. Order one order of table cookies. What? One order of table cookies. Okay. And when they ask what that is, just say, I see cookies on the table. Are those table cookies? At, keep referring to them as table cookies. I can't hear you. Keep referring on. to them as table cookies. Someone uh, type it in the chat and, and Jersey may put it on the screen. Lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, and mayo. Thanks. Table cookies. Yeah, table yeah, cookies. Yeah. Thank you. Table cookies. Table cookies. Call them table cookies. Patrick, look. Patrick, look. Keep referring to them as table cookies, Patrick. Patrick, look at your goddamn screen. What could possibly be so fascinating? They might be a okay, to-go gotcha. order. Someone might be going to pick those up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Ask if they, those are called table cookies. Should I get a drink? Yeah. Okay, I'll show you the drinks in a second. I will, I will, show up. If they ask you, if they ask you, hold on. If there's any confusion, say my mom always called them table cookies. I'll try. Please do this. If there's confusion. If there's confusion, say my mom used to always refer to those as table cookies. Okay, I'll ask. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, not my sweet. Can I get lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, and mayo? If I get some extra pickles, that'd be great too. Do you guys have any more cookies? Oh, no. I was excited. I saw the table cookies over there, and I got excited. <laughs> I know. My mom always calls them table cookies. They don't have cookies, even though they have table cookies? Yes, please. Uh, nope, that's it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a drink. Can I get a salmon? Um, yes. 1235? Great. Let me get up my. Oh. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Oh, that makes sense. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hey. Do you have any cookies? 
Do you have any cookies left? We, I did ask. I, I asked about table cookies. Oh, okay. I, I was looking on the website. Do they, do they have table cookies? What? Do you have table cookies? Like the kind that, like, they you leave them out on the table? No, we have no cookies at all. All right. Thank you for checking. Yeah. Bye bye. See, that's, that's how you, how you do it. <laughs> I called your Jersey Mike's, the one you were just in. Is that true? Yes. You're on Hollywood Boulevard? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they've just had two different people asking for table cookies. <laughs> the thing now. <laughs> That's so dumb. Hey, you're the one who invented it. You said you see cookies on the table, and I said call them table cookies. I know. Uh, they must I want you to cookies. always ask about those and always tell people that your mom used to call them table cookies. I will. I will. Oh boy, look! If anyone's ever want to see, to, if anyone's watching and wants to come hang out, I'm right here. Come find me, you know. Oh God, the last thing smart? we ever heard Patrick say. Is that smart? No. No, it sounds like a challenge. Who lives the closest? Who in the chat lives the closest to where I am right now? I mean, where are you? Give exact locations. I think they, if I... they live near here, they know where I am. That was the last time we ever talked to Patrick. Uh, uh -huh. I actually can't watch the, even though the table cookies became our most popular viral video, <laughs> everyone's finding the table cookies now. Um, that was the last we ever heard from Patrick. <laughs> I can't watch it. I, it always makes me sad when people bring up table cookies. Do you think Wada would be sad or happy to have not been here on my last show? Um, chaotic neutral. Yeah, mm -hmm. that tracks. Back in the car again with Patrick and his dear ship. Lovely music. Are we going to get a copyright strike for that tone? I don't know. I guarantee you that tone is more copyrighted than a shellac record of a Sousa March 1901. <laughs> Stupid robots. Yes, and it caused us issues. Um, all right, here we go. I'm sad they didn't get you any table cookies. I am too. I really wanted some. I'm trying to remember if there's anywhere else around here that has cookies. Um, I think they sell cookies at a grocery store. Mm. Great point. But I don't but I don't want 18 cookies because I'm leaving on Monday. Or give them to all your yeah, friends. Like single cookies like towards the front. Say that again. They probably have like single single cookies uh, at the front, right? I just I just moved my car. I can't park again. Mm. All the single cookies move up to the front. <laughs> Is that a TSA officer? They have a bakery. Oh, no. Plausible deniability. Deniability. Has this is bakery. Okay, great. I'm out. Of, I'm in my car already. You should have told me this a minute ago. Ooh, someone really didn't wow. really want cookies. Also, this Ralph is not about how they want cookies and then didn't get cookies. I don't know. What do you want from me? Cookies. Cookies. Glug, 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 glug. I had dinner unfrozen and ready to cook, and I thought that this would be easier. <laughs> Love that color Looks scheme. Like... Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Are people enjoying this? Is this fun? What? How many viewers are we at? We haven't really lost anyone, which is astounding. It's astounding. It's astounding. What are we at? Three oh nine. We've been about here the for this whole saga. Pretty satisfying. Do we want to go drive down Hollywood Boulevard? And just watch your, your chin? I mean, are we yeah. going to see? You gonna, can we see the town? Can you take us out on the town? Yeah, hey, okay. oh, oh! Hey, Jersey. No, give us that shot that we just had. Patrick. Patrick. Give us what we had. How's that? Am I back? Your point of view. My point of view? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we want. 
Yeah, I down. know. Jersey Dave. Jersey Dave, let's try. I know, but I okay. How's that? You could see. Great, great. Oh, this is amazing. Change like lanes every now and then. This feels like a like a YouTube dash cam of an Uber before an asteroid strikes in Russia. <laughs> are we going straight or are we going to turn? We're going straight. I think we go straight. This is a you know what I call this? Jersey Dave, you know what I call this? No. Double driver. Two drivers. Oh, no. one car. Whoa! 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 All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Patrick, you just concentrate on the road. We'll do the driving. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> he was getting close. Yeah. A little too close. A little too close. This is more fun than it should be. Here we go. Is it? You're, Thanks, you're having a good time? I'm having a great time. This is... Uh, Honestly, it's some of the most fun I've had. I feel like I'm going really fast. <laughs> I never feel like I've done this fast show before. I mean, we're only going 30 miles an hour. But it feels like we're going a million miles an hour. Yeah. Um, we're coming up on Amoeba. We will be at Amoeba in a moment. Ayuba? Ayuba, Amoeba. What's the chat saying? They like it? Yeah, they think it's intense. Really? Yeah, safe is the new sexy. Safe is the new sexy. I'm driving safe. I'm feeling very, uh, there's a sexuality about the way you're driving. Because it's so safe. Oh, inter interesting. Yeah. We're driving Jersey Dave. Patrick's just sitting in the car. Yeah. All right, we're we passing Amoeba. Right? Amoeba is on my left right now, and the Pantages Theater is on my right. Currently playing Beetlejuice, starring friend of the show Anthony King. Or uh, written by Anthony King, I mean. Read yeah, Dan's starring. What, you what is Dan's comment? Read Dan's comment. Dan. <laughs> Read Dan. I'm scrolling up. Look at Dan's po What? <laughs> I, will a I will donate $1,000 right now if Patrick drops his sandwich out the window. <laughs> no, he won't, though. I know he won't. Good for it? I don't think he is. I think Dan's a little stinker, and I don't think he'll actually do it. Whoa. I, I don't think he would do it. I think that that's just an easy way out to eat your sandwich. Oh, stop. Here we're going to stop. Like, he's, oh, whoa. Is Dan saying he will actually do it? I mean, he's said it more than once. I need him to like be real about it, though. I will do it, but I need him to really do it. Really say he will do it. Do we know... How well do we trust Dan? I mean... Is this Dan? Seems, who is this? Dan who? Dan who? Dan who's my older brother. That's it's, his nickname. Oh, uh, but this is Dan Angler? Yeah, he seems he seems pretty serious. Wait, you can okay. always turn around and get a new sandwich or eat your defrosted dinner. Yeah. Um. Okay. All right. Let me get out of this busy area. I don't want to be in the middle of cars when I do it. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Uh, I just amazing. I want to I want to see Dan say it one more time that no he did it he did it he said I just did it he did it he did it. He did it. He did it? He did it. You have to throw that out the window. I mean, um, do it, do it in an area know. where someone do it in an area yeah. where someone can eat that sandwich. I will. I will. Be safe. I will. Oh, man. It's got to be in the driver window because we got such a good view of it. I know. Yeah. I know. I feel like it's Do it where you're going to get arrested because the court fees will right eat up the, the money. I know. I need to get out of this busy-ish area. I will do it in a good area, but not right here. Wait, Dan, yeah. does he have to throw the soda, too? I'm drinking the soda. Dan, 
Dan's reasonable. It's not going to be a crime. It's not going to be a crime. Yeah, I don't. Dan says yeah. sky hook through the sunroof. Yeah. Okay. Dan says. Okay, but it doesn't matter where. Like, I can do it in a reasonable area. Yes. Like, where you okay. are now, it's not reasonable. It's not safe. We don't want to cause yeah. a wreck. We don't want to cause an accident. Yeah. Um, yeah. It can, okay. be on a, it can be on a, Dan, it can be on a road where no one is, right? I yeah. know where I'm gonna do. I know where I'm gonna do it. Okay. I love I like that. Your car uh, has to be you never order sandwich on a GLPS stream. <laughs> I really want Dan, that. You're okay with... What? I said I really wanted that sandwich. That's why this is valuable. Well, Dan, thank you for the thousand dollars. If you want uh, one of those Baron and Junk Dealer posters, let me know and we'll get it to you. Dan, I need you to. Um... No, no, it's not going to be littered. Don't worry. It's a sandwich that someone who can't have a who does a sandwich is going to enjoy tonight. Yeah. Oh, there's a fight going on at. It's like a UFC fight. Maybe they're hungry. Dan, <laughs> I want your input in the chat here because if you, I just threw it into this open yeah, over this, we're we're coming to the table with with reasonable uh, propositions for you about how we can do this in the most socially respond away while still giving into the chaos of what you paid for here. Yeah. I mean, really what you paid for is look at that feeling in Patrick's expression. <laughs> he really wanted that sandwich. And I hate that this is there. happening again. I hate that this is happening again. And it's happening to We've you. Already it's never happened to you before. Well, George, you know what that means, George? You're next. That's why that's why I order such as on the stream. Yeah. Okay, for the people who are saying do not throw food, do not litter, etc. like that, uh, let's just take it as red that we're not going to commit crimes on the stream. Yeah. Right, Dan? You don't want a crime, right? You'd be in prison, right? Same as Patrick. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be liable, Dan. Because if you, think, if you think Patrick wouldn't go right on the stand and testify, he'll drop your name the first second the police say, say Dan Engler paid for me to do it. Dan, Dan, you already sent the money. You already sent the money. Your name's your name is in the record. Also, that Dan just said I want mild amounts of crime, and the sarcasm doesn't always come through on a text format. Okay, I know where I'm going to do this, so don't worry about it. All right, Dan, are you feeling good? Here's now. Here's the fun thing: if there's anyone in Los Angeles right now who wants to come get this sandwich when it gets thrown out the window, that would be a fun thing. Yes. If anyone in Los Angeles, here's what we'll say. If anyone in Los Angeles wants to come pick up the sandwich on stream, we will send you the link to join us on the stream while you're driving. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Ooh, Ooh, baby. This really, you know, I thought table cookies was exciting, but this is really uh, chopped into a whole new world. And listen, if we're, if we're, <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know exactly, where, I, I don't know exactly where it is now. Um, uh, I have a feeling I might be a far drive. Yeah, I do too. I think I, I have a general idea and I think it's too far. Um, if you're enjoying this, toss a couple bucks towards the show if you haven't tonight. There's 300 of you. You know, if each of each each of the three hundred of you donated, you know, three bucks, that's like another thousand dollars, and it's very, very helpful. Because George, let's talk about the other things we have to pay for. We got to pay for publicists to help get the word out about the show. We got to pay right. for a lighting person. We have to pay for our our producer Allegra. We have to pay for posters that we're going to be flyering during the whole month. We are going out every single day and handing out you know flyers to people to be like, come see our show. Um, what else? What are things I'm not thinking of? Costumes, uh, settlements, um, props. There have been everything yeah. has been, um, even the cheap things because we the, the costumes are designed uh, by Mary Ellen DeVivo, who uh worked miracles with a very low budget. Uh, the costumes yeah. are really exciting, which you can see a little bit in the uh promo photos, but you still haven't seen Patrick's costume. Um, yeah. 
which we're not going to reveal until we actually get the thing going. Um, yeah. And the, uh, but every little thing has been um, <laughs> more expensive than what we had originally planned for. Which orig originally our plan was, well, we can lose this much money and then maybe we'll get back to zero over the course of Fringe. And then uh, it just kept spiraling further out of control. Uh, yeah. Not because we were changing anything, just because everything is more expensive than uh, we anticipated it would be. Currently um, driving by the Dolby Theater, where only a year and a half ago, right. Rachel Zegler called us from live inside. Yes. Um, Patrick is in the play. Um, yeah. He has an important uh, uh, function in the play. And... Wadworth keeps saying things like, you're a piece of shit if you toss food, don't commit crimes, give the food to the hungry, etc. I want to establish, Wadworth, that we, are, we have done this before. Uh, we always do it in the most responsible way possible. Um, the... Patrick has been is putting a lot of thought into how to dispose of this sandwich in a way that is going to cause problems for anybody. And it's still going to live up to what Dan Engler has paid for. Is yeah. that right, Patrick? Yep, I'm working on it. Yeah. Have you heard from anybody who wants the sandwich? I can't see the chat. No. Oh, this is the... Um. Okay. Where am I going to go? I know where I'm going to go. I think. Do you know? Do you know anybody who lives nearby that you could um, throw the sandwich on their property? Yeah, hundred percent. What about Will, Will Hines? I do. You want to call Will Hines see if he's around? I will give. I will throw it out my window to him. Yeah. Well, you can throw call it out on the street. And I you can do it. Hold on. Yeah. Let me call Will Hines. Okay. Well, Hans, you're on a live stream. This is George Lucas. Oh, he didn't pick up yet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he picked up. He's probably he probably has a show. Well, do you know you don't know Phil's number, do you? They don't. I don't think I'm not blowing up in our own spots. Oh. I don't believe they live in the same spot anymore. Okay. No answer. No answer. I don't know. <clears throat> Here, Will Hines is at the Ween show. Wow. I can go throw it at the Hollywood Bowl. I'm pretty close to that. I think that's where the Ween show is. Oh, we have... Someone says, I live in LA. I can get to that part of Hollywood in like 15 minutes. Let's do it. Okay. Hell yes, Brandon. Um, I'll meet you at... Uh, I'll meet you at the Rock and Roll Ralphs, Brandon. Is that good, Brandon? I assume, I assume you know what that means. Let, let us know if you don't. Yep, I know. What is it called? Rock and Roll Ralph? The Rock and Roll Ralphs. It's, uh, it's because it's, uh, it's where all the rock and rollers used to hang out. There's like a bunch of recording studios and stuff down there. And it's just a Ralph's grocery store. Oh, he knows it. Rock and Roll Ralph's. Copy that. Tell him I'm gonna... Um, Tell him I'm going to throw it out the window at him. Still, though. Yeah, got Tell it. Brandon, uh, if you're paying attention to what Dan Engler has just uh, additionally uh, offered, just be aware of that. What? Not, what it's is not that? A you, it's not a message for you, Patrick. It's not a message for you. I hope. Hell yes, Brandon saw that, though. Brandon says sunset near La Brea, right? Yep, yep. Yep, yep. 
See, we all know the Rock and Roll Ralphs. Hell yeah, yes, Brandon. I... Also a name I don't I don't recognize. That's a new name. Yeah, someone said, can anyone... Uh... Watchworth? Watchworth is saying Skid Row needs food. I'm not going to Skid Row, Wadsworth. Let's be Wadsworth. realistic here, Wadsworth. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to... I'm going to respectfully ask for us to stop freaking the fuck out about this incident. George also, is there saying are lots this? Of things what? George is saying this? Yeah, I'm saying this. Yeah. There are lots of Hell documentaries yes. on PBS. You could be supporting public television right now. Yeah. I'm not going to skip row, guys. Uh, well, I'm here, so... We're just waiting on Hell Yes Brandon now. Wait, I'm at Ralph's. I could go in and buy a cookie. You got some time. All right. Everybody wins. Everybody, Everybody wins. Oh, but shit. I still don't have a fucking money. You still don't have any fucking money. <laughs> oh, I like that. What? That you don't have your wallet. You know what to say when you're in there, though. Well, yeah. I do, but they'll probably have pre-packaged cookies. Like, I'm not going to be... Well, you have to find out if they're table cookies or not. Pre-packaged or not. You just need to have a conversation with the person there about whether these are table cookies. I feel like I'm in fucking jackass or something. I feel like I'm doing a prank. It's not a prank. It's a conversation for fun. No, I know. It's just, it's not a prank. It's a conversation. It's just fun. Um. <laughs> Are people still having fun? Uh, yeah, Are everyone except people? one person. <laughs> Bakery. I found the bakery. I'm going in. All right. <clears throat> People are saying that they like this, Patrick. Do they? That's yeah. good. Yes. Yeah. I'm seeing it, it's thrilling. It is. It's bizarre. Entertaining. It's bizarre how. Uh, Very fun. How we could just they'll they'll take whatever you know. No, that's true. This is very specific, what we're doing. Okay. Remember Looks like you got for. What? Looks like you got about 15 more minutes, Patrick. Okay, Brandon. I mean, he just left. Okay. Yeah. You need to get his stuff together. I get it. All right, let's go, Brandon. And look where I got them. On a table. <clears throat> I feel like you the, the fun is not, wait, Patrick, sure. Patrick, can I explain to you? The fun is not you telling us they're table cookies. The fun is telling someone who doesn't know what the origin of table cookies is, asking them okay. questions and telling them about table cookies. All right. Let me try to find someone because the problem is there's no one working around you. Let me just try to look. They might not know what you mean, so you might need to explain that your mom used to say, call them table Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to clear have, Those are genuinely the table cookies. I have the story. Don't worry. Oh, you had the story last time. You didn't ask, so. Well, I couldn't. Yeah, I had to call them. Up. There was yeah. like five We're people behind me. Behind. Okay, hang on a sec. Excuse me. Do you guys have any um the table cookies, like cookies that are on the tables? Yes. Yeah. Do you have? Where are they? Sorry, my mom used to call them table cookies because they were always over in the boxes over there. 
Oh, these guys right here. Perfect. Thank you so much. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay. Thank you so much. I only know exactly where they're at because I put these back and go back. I'm just like, yeah. where the hell are the table? You got to look for the table cookies. I know. And it's where like, the you find the table and then you get the cookies there. You know? Yeah. Uh, do, you have, do you have a favorite one? I'm looking at these guys. I think these guys. And now we're watching a segment we call Pat's Pocket. <laughs> Awesome. What's that little? What's that little? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stick with these guys. I think. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hats pocket. But yeah, you know, you know. Thank you for your help. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Which Ralphs are you at? How's that? Which Ralphs are you at? Rock and roll Ralphs. I know. North or South La Brea? I don't know. The one you near know? the one on Sunset, Sunset La Brea area. George Anne Maria says, uh, "Looks like Anne Maria has the number." If you look oh, up on screen. Jesus Christ. George, do you see the number on screen from Anne Maria? I think so. It's different than what I'm seeing on here. Baker, bakery's closed, though. No one is in the bakery. Doesn't mean no one's on the phone in the bakery. Why do you have a different number than all these other Ralphs that I'm looking at? Oh, man. I just got really hungry. Because I'm in a grocery store? It's closed. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you for calling Ralph's in Hollywood. How can I help you today? You can say things like refill a prescription, order status, pharmacy hours, or even tell me the name of the department you're trying to reach. Full cookies. You're looking for a product in our store, right? Yeah. All right. One moment, please. Uh -oh. I'm sorry. They play music on. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going? I don't, I don't need a receipt. Actually, you know what? No, I will take one. Thanks so much. Thanks for the cookies. Could they hear us, Patrick? Could they hear us, Patrick? He can hear us. Okay, here might be a trade-off. There is a guy here who I could give this sandwich to, and then Brandon and I can share a cookie. Do you want me to try? You still got to throw it out of the car, though. Oh, fuck. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, you got to huck it. I forgot about that. He had he had a lot of food in his hand, so I'm sure he's okay. Yeah. Just I chucking forgot. a sandwich through a sunroof at a person you don't know is it like I know. nice. I forgot. I forgot. You got to huck it. Yeah, you got, you're going to need to huck it. Everyone's saying you got to huck it. I, I understand. I will huck it. Do we have any updates from Brandon? Uh, um, I'm sure he's driving. Okay. I hope he remembers what kind of car I'm driving because I don't know what he looks like. <laughs> That's a good point. I have no idea who this guy is, you know?
expected the night to go. <clears throat> Not how I expected it. Um, George, what are you most and least looking forward to for this show? Uh, I'm looking forward to getting it on its feet in the theater with all the things. Uh, yeah. I think I'll feel a lot better once we've like been in the space. It's been really hard to uh, predict how it's going to feel without yeah. ever having been in the theater before. And um, so even though I'll be very, very tired on Tuesday when we do our rehearsal, I think yeah. I'll feel much better once we know certain things. Because there's certain things that we just um, we just won't know process wise until we are have have gone into the theater Here. and done it. And yeah. I'm looking forward to. Uh, we've been anticipating this for such a long time now, and uh, the um, it really is a. Uh, weird feeling to just be days away from the beginning of it because we've been, we worked for such a long time on this project to get it in shape and get it ready. And, yep. um, so that will feel good. And, um, the, uh, what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, what am I looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to seeing the show in person. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm looking to actually uh, being able to rehearse it or something, you know, like being on stage while my thing is happening. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to, I don't know, just hanging out, handing out flyers. I heard there's a cool uh, mm -hmm. little hill mountain to climb. I'm going to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's like a real old castle right in the middle of the city too, right? There's a, there's a castle. There's also something else. There's a castle and there's a... Uh, I don't remember what the other thing is. It's like a, I don't think it's a museum, but I can't remember. Um, yeah. So it will... Uh, it will be fun. It'll be fun. Um, I think the handing out flyers to people will be a lot and will be a little exhausting, but uh, I think it will be good. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think you're right. Doppelganger. I feel like I'm not the same. Uh oh. Should you go back into the other one? It's impossible. There's so much shit there. Can't you can't it. go that way. Yeah. There's so much shit there. I had to fall. I had to. Yeah, there's no yeah. way. Yeah. Uh,. But I could certainly yeah. try. Yeah. Uh, I mean, look, I'd love to see you try. You know? Someone, here's the thing I'm nervous about. In the yeah. next 10 minutes, someone is going to come up behind me and go, and I'm going to freak out. Well, we also, well, man, I don't, I, I don't well, think this person is still on in the chat. Yeah. So the, we did not coordinate this well at all. No. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to like make yourself visible. It's the only way this person's gonna find you. Yeah. Uh, you head out yeah. that that out that sunroof for the next ten. Well, minutes. how did Brandon say that they were seventeen minutes away? I don't know how long ago that was. Um, in maybe yeah, yeah. five minutes. Yeah, that was can... eleven minutes ago. That he said that. I can pop my head out the sunroof. Hang on. Yeah, put your put that head out the sunroof. I put my head out the sunroof. I'm playing my favorite tune. I know. The sunroof is very frustrating. There you go. You have to get it just right for it to... Uh... Can't play any Beatles. Yeah. Uh, is Hell Yes Brandon... Is that who it is? Yeah. yeah. Oh, just okay. got off the 101. Yeah. On one. Hang on. Remember, okay. safe is sexy, Brandon. And if you're texting and driving, yeah. say that again. Just telling Brandon about just one. Just off one, one. Okay, so we're probably, I would say, five minutes away is my guess. 
the hell yes, Brandon knows where I am. I'm in a blue Kia Soul with the lights on. With your head out the sunroof, right? But, yeah, but there's like people. Yeah. You can know, like, you know, wait until we actually think. I, I think just wait until Helios Brandon will will let you know when they're there. Sure. I mean, my head's out the sunroof right now, and it's fine. Great. It feels good? I like this better feels, for you. It feels good. Yeah, like we're on, sun, we're on Sunset Boulevard. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. Great. Uh, we do want to uh, just clarify... What's up? No, I love this. I, I was able to put my phone down. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Wait, 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 you are gonna huck, and you're not going to toss. You're going to huck. Right? I'm going to huck. Huck. Yeah. I'm going to huck out this sunroof. We'll probably not do it in this parking lot. We'll probably go to another street. But yeah. Yeah, you want to a, go to a second location, definitely. Mm, that's smart. I, I have another. I know another spot where there's not as many people. That'll be fine. Yeah. You want to go to a good huck spot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, he knows a good hug spot. He's been there for how many months now? I know, uh, December first, I moved. So what is that? We're coming up on nine. Mm. So you know most of the hug spots, at least around you. I know some hug spots. I know some hug spots. Um, I'm glad that Helios Brandon still watching though. Yeah, that is awesome. That's good. What were you? Have you thought about what that sandwich would have tasted like, Patrick? Of course, of course, I have. What was it going to taste like? It was going to be delicious. It was going to be so think, good. It was going to be. Uh, you, she put you think so Brandon's many. going to like it. I hope so. Do, do we want to see him eat some of it? <laughs> That's up to Dan. Dan, do you want that? Could this be hell yes, Brandon? I don't... Uh, no, I don't think it is. Yeah, be very wary of anyone you think might be. We'll get confirmation. Someone was slowing down near me. Right. Yeah. This is interactive TV. I want to be clear. It, really is. This is, it doesn't get more interactive hey. than this. Okay, we got the update that it's a blue Prius with fish stickers. Of course it is, hell yes, Brandon. Of course it is. It's it's, it's three um it's three minutes away. The car. Okay. Okay. So is the sandwich. The sandwich is right here. The sandwich is at zero 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 minutes away. Yeah. Because you're a point of view character. It is really funny because the car that I thought was Hell Yes Brandon was a blue Prius. <laughs> oh boy. How many fish stickers? Zero. Mm. That's how you know. That's the tell. Uh, Hell Yes Brandon, we are going to a second location. I want to be clear. I just want you to know that. I didn't I didn't plug that this is a Bring the Noise shirt. Great. So, original, go buy shirts from Bring the Noise if you have not uh, ever bought something from her. She makes great quality shirts, and she's got a ton that you can get on uh, her website, which I assume is sympatheticanchor.com. I'm not sure, but um, I assume that is what. Dan Angler requesting uh, for you to stay in this location, Huck and Roll Ralphs. Here's my thing with Dan Angler right now. I don't know if he can keep adding things after we've agreed to it, you know? It's true. It's true. He doesn't the power right now. We're in the courtesy spot with him. Yeah, I we also I played before obligation. you ever actually said yes. So this is. I mean, all bets are off. That's true. Here's the I, thing. I, I don't want to hit a car that is not hell yes, Brandon, by accident. Yes, and this parking lot totally is false. Because uh, there's two things that we like in like this, right? Yeah, and we know what they are. Yes, chaos. Yeah, and courtesy. Yeah. Yes. We like both. Hey, uh, yeah. With courtesy. And it's yes. not courteous to throw a, a sandwich at a car that's not expecting it. That's not way how we huck it. I agree. It's hucked up. <laughs> I, it's hucked up. I agree. I agree. 
we don't want to. We don't want to huck this up. Dan, I don't want you to worry about Brandon's time investment. Brandon got into this knowing that we were in the fourth or whatever, a fifth hour of our show. I don't think Brandon would have gotten involved if Brandon was like, I want this to ha be done promptly. Yeah, Brandon knew what he was doing. Also, the place we're going is, it's like a street away. Yeah. Um. Oh, you know, through your brows. Uh, um, sheep lover saying Patrick has such nice brows. Oh yeah, I never actually really looked at your brows. Yeah, Ooh, I'm nice. a I'm a hunk, guys. Get on board. Okay. It does feel like it's after dark. It does. I mean, yet it's not. This is still the regular show. Regular show. Still the regular show. Oh, okay. I, you should be. A, oh, oh. No, it's not. I thought it, it was. It might, feel, it, it might feel unbuttoned, but it's. Pro, I promise this is much buttoned. This is about as buttoned as it gets. This is buttoned? This is buttoned. Whoa. Is this what storm chasers feel like? <laughs> this is exciting. Uh, Possible diability makes an excellent point that Melissa will see the YouTube video when it goes out and be shocked that it is six hours long. <laughs> yeah, I was going to put this up tomorrow, and now I'm like, it's going to take too long to process. <laughs> I uh, yeah. I th I thought we were gonna wrap up around three thirty. Honestly, wait, Dave. You know what we should do? No, nope. I think we should auction off those last friends. Sure. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. We... Should, should we wait till the, let's wait till this is done and then we can do right. that? Yeah. I mean, he's these should be there pretty soon. I think. Hmm. We are in the final moments of uh, the sandwich hucking. Uh, uh, I don't see him. I'm just standing up to make sure. Yeah. yeah. We are We are two minutes past the ETA we were given. Yeah. <sighs> and now... Now things are starting to get, there's a, an added element of tension because now I feel like we are truly in the unknown. I hope Brandon's okay. I do too. I assume he is. I see a purple PT Cruiser. I know that's not what we're looking for. Oh, blue. Blue Prius. See a white ghost. I'm gonna be right back. He's gonna miss Jersey it. Dave. Jersey Dave's gone. Jersey. He's gonna miss where it. Where did where did Jersey Dave go? I don't know. Where did Jersey Dave? Go? I don't know. That's right. What? Patrick. What? Where did George go? Where did Jersey Dave go? I don't know. Where did George go? I'm right here. Why do you keep turning your camera off? Because it adds to the oh, tension. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. God. Are you ready to huck? We see the huck when you huck it. Hang on. Come, he's got a hell yes, Brandon. Got to come around that corner, baby. Ooh. Brandon, how are you? It's so good to see you. Uh, I'm going to come over to you. Stay right there. No, you got to hack it from the car. No, no, no. I'm going to explain. We're moving. We're getting out of this parking lot. Okay. Hang on one second. Okay. Hey, George. 
Hi, Brandon. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Brandon. Um, oh, yeah, this is the Super Yacht. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> nice. Wonderful. Yep, yep, yep. Great. Great. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Y'all feel better that it's a real person now that we're giving sandwiches to a real person? <laughs> there's, only, there's only one person, and I, I, I fear that they may have perished. I don't know. Um, they're gonna uh, follow you. Uh, yeah, but now there's a car pulling around and it's being too much. There's a guy behind me, so we'll figure it out. Exciting! Didn't anticipate a, a third car. I think they want the sandwich. That would be so okay. funny if there's another person watching the stream. I would love it. I would love it so much. Okay. We are getting there. Now we got to figure out camera angle for this because I want to make sure you guys can see it from inside. But I mean, also see me. Angle. I know, but I want you to see it get to him too. Yeah. I mean, I could send him the link. That's true. We could do that. Is I, I feel like that might be the way to do it. All right, so I'll park up here and then we will uh, we'll get him the link somehow. All right. Um, maybe if it goes through a social media DM, I assume he's still listening, but I don't know. Oh no! Could just if if he's listening, you could email. Yeah. I'll send, I'll send it to you. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm turning onto the street now. This feels like a, uh, <laughs> like it's become so rehearsed that it feels like a Nathan for you thing at this point. A what? Like a Nathan for you when he does the talk show mm -hmm. anecdote. You know what I mean? Oh, no. right. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Nothing. Why would you promote something? I forgot. He doesn't care. Well, a lot of bleeping. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Why don't you go over here, Brandon? I actually really do like it more prepared and feel like it's more professional because we're not looking to cause problems. Yeah. This show has never been about causing problems. Trying to get it just so that everybody wins. And it's just like, if you want to do something like this and be a professional about it, mm -hmm. you got to plan for it. And it's Dave, he's going uh, to email the George Lucas Talk Show at Gmail. Cool. All right. Um, so I would say just pull Okay, George or uh, Dave, he is emailing right now. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we will be good to go. Um, the second location thing is the creepiest part of this to me. For sure, but it's, it is it's so much darker than the first location, Patrick. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, it's, it's sent. Okay, okay, it All should right. be sent to you, Brandon. Beeping ass, Patrick. What happened? Uh, nothing. So, we, so uh, Dave, you and I should probably be off the screen and just be uh, Patrick's camera and Brandon's camera, right? Yeah. Yeah. More lights are better. Okay. We're getting close. I see him. He's he's getting there. 
Brandon, do you have a sunroof? I don't. Okay, that's okay. This is exciting, right? This yeah. is exciting. Yeah. Dave, you're going to have to... Oh, wait. Is someone able to let him in? Dave, yeah, you should be. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, Dave, we'll be able to let him in. Okay. All right. I believe he is joining. We are uh, sitting outside of a, uh, a Jewish preschool. Um, All right, we got Brandon. Okay. Can Brandon, yeah, hold your camera sideways. Hi, everybody. Turn down hey. your uh, volume. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Brandon, maybe go outside. Okay, let's see both. Let's see both. I, I think I can catch you through the window. Okay. Right, Brandon, you All turned right. off your, uh, your camera, though. There we go. Okay, here we go. You ready? <laughs> Oh, it was not expecting okay, Dan, turn off. Looks like Dan Engler just got a double hucking for his money. Oh, well, now we have to just wait till we get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Three hucks for the same amount of bucks. Okay. All right, here we go. You ready? Oh, so close. We got all night. Wow. Hey! Oh! Hey! We did it! Wow. wow, wow, wow. The only thing I can say to that is hell yes, Brandon. Hell yes, Brandon. Oh, oh he's enjoying it the right there. Fantastic. I hope you enjoy it, Brandon. We've got table cookies. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Brandon. What a good boy. That's fun. I think that was worth it, right? Yeah. Guys, if that was if that was enjoyable, send a couple bucks. Oh no. Or a couple hucks. Or a couple hucks. Send either. Oh, what did I buy a ticket for Coco in 2017? Have a safe trip. You too. Thank you again. Sorry about that. Oh, thanks, that Dan Angler, who sponsored who sponsored that segment. Is he happy? Thank you, Dan. He's thrilled. He's thrilled. Yeah, and he's getting lots of gratitude uh, in the chat. Everyone's very happy with that. I mean, three, was that three hucks or four hucks? There's a fourth huck, I think. Right? You got on the fourth huck? Yeah, there's a fourth huck. And that's only the Patrick to Brandon hucks. There were some return hucks yeah, in there. Right. We got some return that's hucks, true. yes. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to quip about that tonight. That was what I called it when Dommel Gleason was in The Last Jedi. It was some return hux. Some return hux. What sounds I'm hearing? Is there a demon in your car now? No, my windows were all open. My windows uh, were open. Yeah. There's a demon outside called Hollywood. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, don't let right it in. Right past the AMTP. I don't know where they are. Nobody knows where they are. They won't show their faces. <laughs> that was very exciting, Patrick. You have your it was frozen fun. food still at home? Uh, yeah, I do. I well, there's do. always that. Yeah, I mean, it's not as exciting, but it's uh, something. 
You know? It was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it, though. It was. I don't regret it. Um, thank you, thank you for your sacrifice, Patrick. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Um, here's the problem. I turned on my lights so you could see them all, and yeah. now I, they're not turning back off. Oh no! Yeah. Not even with a little clicky click. Not even a little clicky click. I'm clicky clicking all over the place. What happens if you turn the whole car off? Well, that's what I think. It will probably happen. Uh, I think they will go off when the car goes off eventually. Hmm. Um, yeah, someone suggested your your car got hucked. Maybe my car got hucked. Maybe. I see four lights. Uh, yeah, there's one, two, three, four back here. Yeah. Currently driving hmm. by the El Capitan Theater. Where George People are worried you're going to get pulled over now because of the lights. You should pull over and turn off your car. I won't get pulled over because of the lights. Oh, there you go. I got it. Oh, there we go. We did it. That's you just needed better. to turn it off? Huh? You just needed to turn it off? No, there was a there's a button. It's not clicking the actual lights. There's a button next to the lights where if you hit them, they will go off. Or if you hit them again, they all go back on. I just didn't know about it. Okay. Now you know. So we all learned something. We did. We did. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, Dave, let's let's auction your friends. Yeah. Okay. Um. So also, yeah. A reminder that if you uh, donate thirty-five dollars, we'll send the uh, Dan. Uh, uh, excuse me, Dan. Jesus, Steve Dressler, uh, art from the Baron the Junk Dealer. <laughs> We will sign it. We will mail it to you. If you haven't seen it, you can see it on our Instagram. I can't hold it up right now, obviously. Um, uh, but thirty-five dollars, and we'll get it over to you, and then send us the um, your address in an email. Well, let's take right. a look at it. let's let's see this. This is a set. What's that? Oh yeah, is this yeah. one of the sets? I think I think it has to be. I mean, you could you know make that call, but I think we it has trust to be. your we trust your judgment. It, it's a it's a it's a long walk, uh, so I wanted we to. We have the time and we love it. We love it. It's great. I wanted to do a, a, a. Sure, yeah. I wanted to do a um a, a character from a certain movie that you created uh, that we haven't seen a, 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 a an action figure for. So I want to see. I want you to just just tell me what you see here. Um, that looks like it's biblical. Um, it's biblical, but, then, but I think that is that Joey Pants up top. Uh, yes, Joey okay. Pants. Joey Pants. Um, is the actor right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is that in robe the, supposed to be? Can I just ask? Is that robe supposed to be made of hot fudge? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not supposed to be. It's. I've never seen a robe look more like hot fudge robe. Uh-huh. It's just a it's just a robe robe man, but you know he's got the lightsaber, so obviously, yeah, yeah, he's a Jedi. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. he's a robe uh, a robe man. He's a good robe man. Now, is this a real character in the movie? Sorta. Sorta. Is it a pun on a real character? Yes. Okay. So Joey Pants. Yeah, I can't remember what his... Uh, Cypher? Is that his name? Yes, it is. Cy- oh, is it Cypher Diaz? <laughs> yes, it is. Is it Jedi Master Cypher Diaz? <laughs> it's Grand Master Cypher Diaz, <laughs> who is often spoke about. <laughs> you don't see him. Yeah. I think you might have seen him, must have him in, a clo- in, a, in a cartoon once. Yeah, you see him in Clone Wars, but not in the movie. That's very funny, Dave. Yes, this is Grandmaster Cypher Dias. And then the body that I used for was actually a Jesus. I just needed yeah, a robe. Of course. It's actually a Jesus. Yeah. So it is actually Grandmaster Cypher Jesus. <laughs> yeah. And, and I think for the... Possibly it might be Grandmaster Hot Fudge uh, Cypher Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm seeing 100 bucks already. So that's wow. making me feel good. Wow. Yeah. 
Um, and then, so the set is just that I then took Jesus's head and put it on Cypher's body, and it's just John Wick. <laughs> and I don't know if this could be auctioned by itself. I mean, we sure. could try, but it just feels like what you know. What yeah. is this without this? Is, is anyone interested in? Is anyone know. interested in just bootleg John Wick? Joey Wick. I just call him just Joey John Wick. Wick. <laughs> Joey Wick. Joey, Joey, Joey Wick. Wick. Joey Wick. <laughs> uh, Black Devil says, "If I didn't buy an award, sky's the limit." Yeah. If anyone, yeah, I mean, if anyone's interested, see, but I think otherwise you could put them together, and that's funny. Yeah, it's probably yeah. Wait, oh, so uh, you feel like a Ish says just Wick. Yeah. <laughs> But Ish had the highest bid for for Cyber Jesus. Ask, ask fifty bucks Ish. for just the Wick. I'm seeing. Well, okay, Ish, what do you want here? Because if you're giving a hundred bucks for just Wick, we'll go back to Cypher Jesus. You know. Oh, this is Ish. Oh, he's saying Just Wick is the name. Just Wick is the oh. name. Oh, okay. All right, so we're at a hundred bucks. So, for... so. Yeah, one BB, one BBBR. I never, I never, I always stumble over that. Uh, yeah. Just for Wick. So I think we're we're taking Wick off the table. That hundred bucks was before Wick okay. was even introduced. Yeah, yeah. So right now we're doing Grandmaster Cipher Jesus, <laughs> and this is a Jesus figurine that I've had since I was like eleven. I don't know where I got it, why I got it. You're really just giving up all your childhood toys tonight. I went to my parents' house to the attic, and I got yeah. bags and tubs full of wow. old action figures that I didn't think existed. So, listen, if you guys like bullshit, there might be yeah. some more bullshit coming. That's great. Single walk run. Yeah, you're right. I know. I should just say single walk run. But I say uh, one B B B E R. Oh, I never put that together. It's baseball. Yeah, I never thought about that. He's explained um, it to me before, too. Okay, so we're at $100 for Cypher Jesus. Does anyone want to go higher than 100 Anyone want to go more than 100 for Grandmaster Cypher Jesus? <laughs> Character that not only is it we've never seen before, I don't think anyone's even thought of it, because why would they? Arguably, though, one of the most important characters in the space. Uh, Absolutely. The space the battles space franchise. Skirmishes. Space skirmish. Um, all right. Do we call it? I think we're ready to call it. Okay. So that's that's for this. And then single walk run. You said 50 bucks for, for Just Wick. Yeah. Or Joey AKA Wick. Joey Wick. Joey Wick. Uh, does anyone want to beat fifty bucks for for Joey Wick? It is funny when we do these things and you say stuff like that. It makes me feel like I'm supposed to like you're asking me. You know. Um. Well, I'm like, let oh, me ask no, you this, no. just off the off the off the cuff, in reach, and the answer is probably no. Uh. Is there any kind of dog toy nearby? Like a, a toy of a dog? A screen of a dog? Oh, of a dog. Um, Probably not. Most people just yeah, have a dog. Yeah, I mean, I'm the, sure. The yes. Up, not, not, not reachable. It's up, upstairs. I have toys of a dog. Yeah. I was just saying, sometimes people might want to pay more for a, for a Joy Wick that has a dog. <laughs> or maybe he has a cat. Or, or is there anything within reach that could be a pet? For Joey Wick. Well, again, not in reach. Within reach is best. Within reach is best. Within reach is best. George, is within reach best? Is that? Yeah, within reach is best. Yeah. <laughs> put him on all fours. Put him on all fours. Yeah, put him on all fours. Dave, make sure that the red snaggletooth is not the expensive one, because either the red or the blue is the expensive one. I think the blue is, but... Yeah. I kind of like him anyway. I don't know if I want this to be. Yeah, him. don't give up, Snack. Yeah, you might not give that it? away. Uh, it, can, it can be any kind of pet that is in, within reach. 
It doesn't have to be good. This is just Joey Dave, Wick. Dave, he, could have a, he could have a pencil as a pet, Dave. It can be a cotton ball with some dots on it. <laughs> it has to be within reach? Like, yes, that's the main thing. Or, I don't wait, want to wait, see wait, you wait, going anywhere. About, it could okay. be within reach or within your closet. I have just a straight-up Sebulba. Whoa. That's a pretty good stand-in for a little puppy dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good. And this is apparently an, uh, uh, an eraser. You can you can erase with it. Uh, I read the package, and he says you have to uh, erase like on a piece of paper that you don't care about just to get the paint off. And then once you get scraped the paint off, then <laughs> underneath is an eraser. That's so funny. There's a whole series when of When you really want to get rid of what you wrote in pencil. <laughs> Smear paint all over first. I think this is a handsome pair. I think I that's good. Too. Sorry, I have not all been right. looking. He's a he's not a dog. He's a dog. That's he's right. He's a dog. That's he's pretty close dog. though. Like that's good. Joey Wick and his dog. Yeah. <laughs> that's too perfect. Um, I have not been looking at the chat. I don't know if anyone has beat fifty bucks. I think that I dog haven't makes either it. Been looking. That dog should add a little bit of value. Oh, pizzazz. Are, anyone can beat 50? I think we're still at 50. They can still fit. Wow. Going once? I think Pot still race. run. Pot race is very funny. This is a, this is a, I think this is a great deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and this is this is uh, a person that has been very supportive of her time. So going twice, I don't going twice. Know. I feel like we going. I feel like we're about to go three times, right? Hey, you don't have to do that, but that's great. No, yeah. no, you, no, you don't allow bids against oneself. It's we so do fair. allow that. We should allow we? that. Yeah. All right, we allow it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the first time that's happened tonight. All right. We allow All right. it. All right. And look, you can hold it. Yeah. Whoop. You can give her little belly rubs. They love each other. They love each other. They well, they so love much. each other. They love each other, but something might happen to one of them. Don't you say nah, that? No, not, not Joey Wick. He's not unlucky not like John. He's thinking of his brother. You think of John Wick. Joey Wick lives a charmed life. Never yeah. got in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. They probably like snuggle that. together. I for Jesus. Oh, it's ish. I guess yeah. chin scratches. Patrick's made it home. Almost. What's for dinner, Patrick? I think it's salmon. It's not a bad backup meal. Not a bad ending to your night, Patrick. Well, Patrick. Have you frozen? Have you frozen? This looks like a, a shot they put on the news when they say, like, we... We have one shot of this guy <laughs> through a sandwich out of his car. Police are looking for this. Oh, wow. There you go. Oh, he's back. He's, he's back. back. Back in action. Well, uh, Patrick, I guess the next time I see you, we'll be in Edinburgh. I mean, it would be weird if I saw you before then. It would be super weird. It would be super weird. And um, I'm going to see you all month. I know. You're going to get sick of me. Get? Mm. Oh, boy. That's the kind of, that's the kind of razzing you're going to be getting. Oh, boy. For to a month We're of gonna that. Razz I'm sure I'll love it the whole time. <laughs> hey, Patrick, you, you know they're just showing Bambi at a theater in Edinburgh? I didn't know that. We, uh, George, aren't, you're introducing some movies in Edinburgh, aren't you? I think just the one. Oh, I thought there were two, but okay. 
you know, there's going to be a screening of Koyana Katsi, which is the prequel to the movie I produced, Paolo Katsi. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, it's going to be screening with one froggy evening. So Academy, though. So Academy. It's so Academy. Um, no, but Bambi, I think Bambi's on in a theater in an era one day that we have at a time that we can go see it. Great. That sounds great. Drip, drip, drop, little April shower. Um, Wait, uh, leave that part. I didn't mean to promote it. I'm getting so tired. Let me, hang on. Let me go through and uh, we can look at some fan art that came in really quick. Okay. Yeah, we'll look at the fan art. There's that. There's General Hux. Very good. Dave, this is a good one. Oh, you guys like this? This is my my Google Chrome uh, thing that blocks anyone with a blue check mark. So it's just going through blocking people who have paid for blue check marks. Um, my mom always called them table cookies. This <laughs> oh, Forrest, we I want to make this a shirt. Yeah, make this a shirt, Forrest, that's really good. Yeah, oh, I miss Forrest. I miss Forrest all the time. This is good. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderful. Red Hawk Way. Beautiful. Wow, that's beautiful. Uh... <laughs> oh, it's <that's> <laughs> oh, funny. Is that it? Oh, here's a good one. Oh, boy. Watto. Oh, my goodness. What are we, what are we doing, Watto? Watto, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, oh my gosh. Red Hawk Way. Wow. Oh, that huh? Wow. Patrick Hawk. is played by Ben Affleck in the movie. <laughs> Red Hawk way. Wonderful. That is fantastic. Well, thank, thank you all for watching. Uh, as a reminder, if you want to give $35, we will send you one of these signed. Uh, that covers shipping, that covers handling, that covers all the good stuff. Um, it'll get to you uh, probably early September um, when we get back because they all have to get signed. Um, $35, bit.ly slash Baron Junk, and then email your receipt with your address. Well, uh, we'll be uh, off the grid for a month, but also very much on the grid because we're going to be giving you updates of what's happening with our shows in Edinburgh. And uh, it should be some fun uh, online content uh pretty soon mm-hmm. and uh and you know we'll be back in we'll be back in our uh, uh home country in september so we'll hopefully have some exciting things to announce after that oh look at that that's <laughs> great i i i didn't see you make an exact face but i saw you make some faces that came pretty close pretty close pretty intense I love so it. Fun. Also, I want to. If you're watching this on YouTube uh, through the month of August, and you want one of these posters, you can still donate thirty five dollars, and we will get it to you uh, before September. And if you want to do it after that, I might have some extra ones lying around, and we could do it then. And, and really, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much for uh, helping to bail us out of this very silly financial hole that we got ourselves in by trying to be a little bit ambitious and do something crazy and fun. But yeah. the hope is that if it goes well in Edinburgh, that everybody who helped help make it possible and not uh, a total disaster for us, we hope that we'll be able to bring the play to close to where you are at some point in the not too distant future. So you'll be able to enjoy it uh, after being thoroughly, hopefully, road tested in the Edinburgh Festival Fringe. Yes, you're all the best. Yeah, we're, we thank you. you. Thank you so much for uh, uh, being so nice in the chat and being so helpful. And uh, and uh, may the force be with you always. <laughs>